I realized I forgot I should um put like a going live on Discord real quick, so I turn my computer on so I can do that real quick. I would to do that. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I always forget to put the like little announcement on Discord. I think kind of cool though. If there could be like a way you could schedule something to post it. I don't know. I might maybe a bot could do that. I have to like look into that. But yeah. So today we're gonna be making my infamous Fortnite loot llama. I'm actually in the middle of filming the video for it too. The tutorial. This is how far we got. Look. He's gonna look, he basically looks really weird before you put the fleece on. Because, you know, these are just all French knots. Like, I tried t doing like a bobble stitch in the round and I just couldn't get it. Maybe you could actually if you're doing it bigger, but when I was, you know, doing tiny stuff, it was just, eh, it was too much. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just crochet the whole thing and just put a bunch of French knots. Plus, you know, you can like watch TV or something easily when you do that part. So let me get the starting part because we're going to make the head first. Uh oh, I need to make sure I have enough of this purple. I might need to grab more. I might have enough. I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh, well, if I need more, I'll grab more later on. Oh, yeah, and also, here's what we finished. Um... And yesterday's uh, Twitch live stream, we were making the strawberry gown. I finally finished it. Look how cute. I think I'm going to make the eyes much bigger, though. I should have used maybe two strands. They're, like, a little bit too tiny for me. And, but, yeah. Oh, I forgot to add a tail. Oh, well. Whoops. Oh, thank you. I know I like it, too. And I made a, some strawberries to go with it. Someone in Louis chat had mentioned pink strawberries, and I was like, I need to make pink strawberries. Well, this one's technically a green strawberry, but I put, like, some pink blush on it. Like, look how cute these are. But I made them to go along with, like, the cute cow, so he looks like he's surrounded by giant strawberries. <gasps> Yo, what's up, Rebecca? Good morning, or good ad. No, it's, like, evening for you. Yeah, this is gonna be a long stream, because this takes a while to make. <laughs> but I was like, you know what, since I'm, like, filming the tutorial for it, I might as well make, you know, do it live. But I would, eh, it doesn't like, probably take that long, just, you know, when you crochet small stuff, sometimes stuff can be fiddly, and it just takes a little bit longer. I have this for the eyes. Okay, let me get my, still have my little tools out. Is there a way I can, like, push this down a little bit further? There we go. I'm gonna put this over here. But yeah, I'm, fine. I'm so glad I found my notebook, too, because I kind of couldn't find it for a while and I'm like, ugh, I don't wanna like remake the pattern all over again. I hate that. And plus I mean I knew it was somewhere in the house. I was like, it's not go it can't be gone forever because I never took it outside this apartment, so I was like, I knew I'd eventually find it. So yeah, I was really happy because like I wrote this down like a long time ago. Like I think I got this like two years ago, this notebook. Oops. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh it's uh Touring 14 p.m. So it's like, so it's like good night. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god! I just like tossed everything. Let me make sure none of the tools fell in here. 
No, all my dust plugs are getting mixed in with the keychains. You can't be having that. That's like getting peas mixed in with your mashed potatoes. Alright, now I gotta pick up all these needles. That's the problem. With these needles, I cannot pick up needles at all. Like, it just will not. There we so yeah, see, it's like, it will not let me pick them up. Sometimes I'll get it, but this is really, really hard. I think because they're just so blunt at the end, and not like natural nails, which kind of, you know, taper off and are a bit more thinner at the end. Oh my god. There we go. Like any thin stuff, I... Well, that I could have picked it up. Things like this, like, that are like really flattened in, like, oh my god, they're like impossible to pick up. And, oh yeah, these are like the special needles I was telling you about last time. I think someone said Louie had one, it's like they have like this little... You can see like it's got that little notch, so you can just like run it along. You don't have to like worry about putting the eye through it. The only problem is this is I'm on my fourth one. <laughs> they break so easily, and uh, sadly you can't you you can't use it through the amigurumi if you're going through if you stuffed it with fiber fill. For some reason it just kept catching onto the fiber fill. But if I fill with yarn scraps, it doesn't do that. It's weird. I actually thought it would. It was funny because I chose the fiber field thinking that would be the better option because I thought it would hook onto the um, yarn scraps, but no. I guess because the fiber field is so tightly packed. But okay. Oh man, these scissors are already getting old. I mean, to be fair, they were like two bucks on AliExpress. I mean, I mostly just got because they were pretty. But I might need to get new eyes soon. Not eyes, um, scissors. Okay, now I can hear Discord on my computer. I didn't turn my computer off. Uh, next time I get up, I'll turn it off. I mean, I almost forgot the most important thing. Our little buddy Ryan. He's so cute. Okay. So, I'm going to try to go a little slow with this. That way, maybe someone can, like, watch along. Like, here's my instructions, but they're in, like, my terms. Like... I put like a V to mean increase. And actually it turns out that's actually how some Korean patterns do it. If they don't use any words, they'll just use V means increase and X just means single crochet. Like they just use the little symbols. And that's all it will be. It'll be like a symbol, like XX, and then we'll put like a number by it, like do it this many times. And then they'll put a V meaning uh, increase. So that way you don't get confused. Because I know like sometimes when people say do six single crochet, they might, unless you say in, you know, usually people have to say one single crochet in the next six digits, right? That's a quite, that's quite a long sentence, so I usually just say single crochet times six, and I had to put, I had to put that in my notes, like, that just means one single crochet in the next, each of the next six stitches, because I just cannot be bothered to say that long ass sentence. So I'm going to start with, um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, that's too much. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start with six single crochet in the magic circle. Probably the head was the trickiest part to make, honestly, because everything else is just a box. Um, let's see, I'm very done with my first parent. God knows if it makes sense or not. I know, right? It's so weird. Like I like and we each have our own like little flavor when we're like, trying to make our own patterns, and then, like, you get, I get always, that's why I haven't sold any patterns yet, actually. I'm just worried someone's not going to understand it, and then they're going to get mad, and they're going to want their money back. <laughs> Even though I want to totally be open, I, like, like, I need a way, like, hey, if you're having trouble, contact me, and I'll help you. I wonder if I could do that through Discord, like, uh, we could do, like, a video call. The only problem is then I'm, like, I always feel worried, like, any time of day, you know, someone would be, like, just randomly call me and I'm like, uh, I can't, I have to have, I have to schedule stuff, you know. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And I'm also debating should, if I should do this before we move. I, I think we should, I probably should wait for this after we move, but I really want to start doing like weekly um, crochet togethers on the Discord, like video calls, like where we show like what we're doing and just chat with each other. I've been wanting to make that a regular thing for a while, but... I think probably waiting till after the move is best because that's what that's when everything's gonna be normal. I'm not gonna have 
you know, I never know when someone's going to be like, hey, we're coming by to check your apartment because they do not, they do not give 24 hour notice. They have shown me that the, the shortest amount of time we got was actually 30 minutes. And that was like, what? So yeah, I'm just like, this is like a jumpy kind of time where I could just be chilling, minding my own business. And so it's like, John calls me like, hey, they're coming over. Like, oh, great. You know, then I have to like, not really clean, but like put everything together. I try to make the house look kind of put together and nice when people come over, like hide any like things that you just have out. Kind of make it like a showroom, I guess. Because, you know, we want someone to hurry up and take it. That way we'll feel less guilty when we leave. Let's see. Wait, I did do six, right? One. Let me double count this. I can't see it from there. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've been copying over loose uh, paper patterns into a notebook. I know, right? That's how I do it. I have like, oh my god, let me show you my like like little things. This one's nice and neat. Let me zoom out. Now that's zooming in, I want to zoom out. There we go. Like I have so many like, especially like when I do like a like on the back since it's like plain. Uh, I like do the visual patterns. Like I have so many. These are actually the nicer, neater ones. But like, see right here, there's like a scribble everywhere. <laughs> oh, this was from the. Numb walls I did back in the summer. Oh. Yeah, I have like a lot of just like loose. See, like I just scribble it out when I make up something new. <laughs> this one's got coffee stain on it. Go figure. Let me see. Uh, I, f I need someone to go through mine as well, half in English. Oh, that's right, because like, also you got the whole American term and uh, British term thing to do, to worry about as well. Cause like it's so weird. It's like it's just pushed. It's like you know, it's it's easy when it's like complete when the terms are completely different, right? Cause then it's like oh, you're just memorizing new language. But for the English and the American terms, it's like what means this in American term means this stitch in British terms. It's weird. <laughs> Let me see. I uh, would love that. Oh, got good news. No more eye medication. Heck yeah. Oh, that means you can see. Cause this coffee mug is blue. And you got to see the cute little Ryan on it. Are you still doing puzzles? Oh, is that for Rebecca? I was like, I haven't done a puzzle in a long time. <laughs> oh shit, my little yarn. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring the Fort Night with Mama so you can be like our little mascot. Okay, yeah, that was meant for Rebecca. <laughs> I know, because, like, the... I really wish YouTube would hurry up and implement the same thing Twitch does. Um, it's so easy to reply to people on Twitch. Like, they actually have a little reply button you can click. You don't even have to type their name, but in YouTube, it's like, nope, you gotta type their entire name yourself. Oh, you wanna copy it? Well, you can on PC, but you can't copy the name on when you're on mobile. It's like, oh, you wanna copy the name to be quick? Nope, you gotta type that out yourself. <laughs> I, re I don't know why they do that. It's just so annoying. <laughs> At least they highlight the name. Like, they both do that in Twitch and YouTube. Like, when you get replied, like, they do, like, that nice little highlight so you can see it better. Okay, I gotta restart this over again. Because I think I did five and not six. Gotta make sure I do six. Six single crochet in the magic circle. And that's another thing, too. It's like, I, like, I also consider, like, what... The very, like, anything in the magic circle, I consider round zero. And I always, like, get worried, like, someone's gonna get angry when I show as a pattern. Because, uh, I don't know, I could always, I guess, just move it to make it round one. Maybe, I guess maybe for, like, published patterns. But for my videos, though, I do want to keep it as round zero. Just as, that's what I'm more familiar with. It makes, I don't know why, it just makes more sense to me. Because it's like chaining, almost, in a way. Because, you know, you don't count chain as round one. And I didn't come up with that. I really want to find the person who, whose patterns I read that said round zero. Like a couple. It wasn't just one person. Like in my when I was learning amigurumi, I came across a couple of articles, like free pattern articles, you know, online. And a couple of them would say round zero whenever they meant anything in the magic circle. Or they would say six single crochet in the magic circle, right? Then, but say nothing. And then they say round one increase, right? That's, that's why I always have round one as my increase round. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I do on my YouTube. I put, I have like that big old thing of notes, which I don't know if y'all have seen, but I upgraded it. Before it was more like that cutesy city pop look, but then I was like, you know what? I kind of want to go for a more coffee shop look, and I like was really happy with how that turned out. Plus, I actually noticed I had um, I think I had misspelled something. Not mi like not in English, but in Korean. I was like, oh crap! I gotta change it anyway. So I fixed that up and made it like whole brand new. Let me see, one, two, three. Okay, this is six. Cause this is where, and I always get worried that like people will understand like what this is. Like I, I put like like little sets and brackets. So right, like I'm gonna single crochet, then I'm gonna do a three single crochet increase. Where you put like three single crochet in one stitch. I do that twice, and then you just repeat all of that twice. It looks like a little math equation, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, yeah, if I ever, that's the thing, if I am going to ever make, like, PDFs to sell, I'm going to be putting notes galore in it. Like, it's not going to be just a slap the pattern on there and give, like, no context. I've kind of seen that, too. Like, I remember a while back when we first joined Louie's Discord, someone was having trouble with a cat pattern. They paid, like, ten bucks for it. To be fair, it, it had, like, different versions of cats, so that's why it was, like, ten bucks. But when, I, when they would show me, like, little screenshots, it's like... The person didn't add any kind of notes at all. And especially because there's like a lot of like color changes and stuff going on. And they made it kind of confusing. Like it was confusing to me. So I could understand why the person uh, got confused. But then I've come across other like patterns that are like not the same price. But they have like all these like little cool side notes and explanations. And I love that. But it does take longer to make though. Okay, let's see. So now we gotta do a triple increase, basically. Two times. Because it kind of it kind of gives him that kind of like, the this part, like it's kind of like a square, right? But it's not perfectly like a cube. Because he's like, technically it's supposed to be a little bit thinner and gets bigger. Um, but just ever so slightly. It's not, not supposed to be that noticeable, but it's like better than just making a solid rectangle. Okay. This is always the hard part because there's not much to grab onto. Okay, next one, another triple increase. But how is everybody doing this fine morning or after the like, evening? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's finally, um, not that much, it's not that cold anymore, actually. Like, the temperature's already starting to rise. Um, oh, the sun's coming up, too. So, probably, hopefully maybe an hour so I can turn that lamp off. Um, but how's it in the UK, Rebecca? Because I know, like, the UK will be quite frigid for a while. I think that's, like, what y'all's main season is winter, I feel like. It's 70 where you're at? Oh my god, I'm so jelly. I'm so jelly. I love- 70 is like the, the perfect temperature. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's just perfection. Okay, there we go. We just did our triple increases. And before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and sew up that like little tail because that's going to get annoying. Where's the needle at? Oh wait, oh my god. Oh my god, that sounds like my hometown to be honest. So it was 20 yesterday, 70 today. That will happen because I'm from Memphis, uh, Tennessee, and our winters were weird. Cause like, they would either be like kinda cold. Usually it would be like 40 degrees most of the time. So it's like cold enough to be kinda miserable. Cause especially cause it rained a lot. But there would be like, like, literally one day would be so cold, the next day would feel like spring. Like, it would be like 70, 71, or 72, and it would just feel awesome. And then the next day would be like 30-something, like it jumps around. It probably explains why, um, yeah, this year, or ten technically last year, like during Christmas, there were tornadoes and crap. I was like, what? It was so weird. Like, my friend Tito was telling me about it. It was funny, too, because, like, before it happened, he's like, you know, it's been getting warm. 
And I'm like, it's December. How'd it get warm that fast? And he's like, you know what that means? Tornadoes are coming. And two days later, my dad <laughs> sent me a message like, hey, by the way, we got tornadoes here. <laughs> Yikes, it's negative four. That's, um, that's kind of about, oh, maybe, Korea, I wonder if Korea and the UK are same on temperature, maybe. Because that's about how much it would be here. It would be like negative two, I think it was negative two the other day, but that's because it's been getting warmer. But when it was like super cold, it would be like negative four or five during the day, and then it'd be like negative 10 to 12. Maybe sometimes it would go down to negative 15. I don't think I've seen it go past negative 15 though. So that's the thing is, I don't know if the UK gets colder than negative 15. Oh, uh, let's see. We're, we're still in the winter at the moment and we have a storm. Oof, that does sound terrible. Snowstorm. And that's the worst part is you guys don't get out. Well, I mean, you're not in high school anymore, but I mean, like. I always felt so surprised when I heard about kids in, like, northern states, like, uh, in America, or in just in Canada, like, they still have to go to school when it snowed, because when you live in the south, when it snows, you get a snow day, man. They're like, to be fair, it's because, you know, the people there are just not prepared, it's actually, I know, like, northerners like to joke, like, oh my god, you got a little bit of snow, oh, you cry babies, but to be fair, it's actually safer, because we're not used to, like, our, like, our cars are not equipped for it. And so, it's actually safer if you think about it, because you don't want a bunch of, like, people, like, just, like, sliding off the road and, you know, causing a bunch of these accidents. Oh, you never get past negative 15? Oh, then maybe the weather was the same here. Because I always thought I'd be, as much as I would love, probably, UK weather, because I do love some, like, a gloomy, stormy day. Like, I, I know people complain about the UK about that, but I'm like, I would love that. But at the same time, I do love sunshine, though, but... I do love, like, stormy, gloomy days. I like, freaking love that. Plus, also, overcast days are the best for taking product photos. But, um, I was always worried, like, I wouldn't be able to handle the winter. And I, I was able to handle this Korea's winter, even though I was miserable for most part. Uh, more, I was miserable last the last two years because we didn't have that bed warming thingy. The heating pad thing. That thing was a godsend. That thing has made everything so much better. Oh, and fuzzy slippers. I finally found a pair of fuzzy slippers at Daiso that will fit me. Because all, like, the cute little sli uh, slippers that had, like, the fuzz inside were for the girls. And they're always too small for my feet. Because I had to get my dad's big old feet. Isn't it weird? I look just like my mom. But I got all of my dad's weird... <laughs> attributes like I like he made he's the one who made my nose bigger basically because my mom has like a cute button nose my mom has cute not tiny but like you know the perfect like size eight feet and I go and get like ten and a half maybe eleven depending on the type of shoe I'm wearing <laughs> and I get all that from death and I also got his ugly big toe like oh it's so weird <laughs> oh I have size 10 feet I know how you feel I know right and um I think it's South Carolina right South Carolina, there are many snow plows, so it's dangerous, so to it do anything snow. I don't live in South Carolina, by the way, but we just have fam there. <laughs> okay, because I remember because you said you were 70, I'm like, it was 70 there, so I'm like, oh, because I think South Carolina is considered the South, I think, right? I can never tell about places like Virginia, West Virginia, South, South and North Carolina. I was like, what are they considered? Because whenever I hear people talk about the South, it's usually like Alabama, Florida, Sometimes Tennessee. I think Kentucky is considered the South, too. But I think South Carolina will be considered the South. Um, let me see. What's my next thing? Oh, shoot. I was supposed to go in the back loops. See? I know this is going to be a long stream. But I'm going to try to finish it today. I mean, to be fair, it'll be a lot quicker since I'm not filming it. Oh, my God. All the retakes I've been having to do. Oh, there was a part I filmed yesterday thinking, oh, I'm finally done. And it turns out it was paused the whole time. So it wasn't recording at all. And I was just like, no, ho, ho, I freaking hate that. It was so mad. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I feel up to filming today after the live stream. The only part, well, I have to give my phone a rest though for a good like hour or so to like recharge and not get overheated. Because I also, f I also film with my phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually not sure. It's something to me. Yeah, that would think so. It's like East Coast Southern. It's like a similar but like slightly different flavor of Southern. 
Because they, they talked very different over there, too. Let me see. So I've got a single... And the, so everything's in the back loops, and I'm doing a single crochet five times. So that was three. Four and five. Now what do I do? Okay, another triple increase. I'm gonna think I'm, think I'm gonna just call it a triple increase because it's like faster to say than three single crochet increase. Like that's so long to say. Maybe I should rename it that triple increase. At least, though, I got the hardest thing actually done of this, besides the filming, of course, is like, I actually went ahead and knocked out translating it. I just went ahead and did that, and also writing it out, because I also need to write it out, did, you know, like, on the computer, so that way I can, like, copy and paste whenever I put the, what, written bits. Um, like, the text part in the video. It's just easier to have it already typed down, copy and paste, rather than actually type it on there while you, as you go, because that, that takes forever. <gasps> Stranger danger! Long time no see! And guess what? We're making the Fortnite Loot Llama today! Oh, because I remember you were busy, really super busy with college. Oh yeah, that is getting kind of near, near, like... Well, I don't know how the semesters go, but if this was America, uh, you'd be kind of like getting near the end. Because I know like uh, classes usually end in May. But then again, in like Korea, it's like the opposite. I don't know about college, but like... Uh, school would be like starting, like it starts in the winter and ends in the, in the f next fall or something. I just remember it was like, yeah, school's a lot. And I remember you were having like funny sh shenanigans going on with your roommates. More like not your roommates themselves, but like what they're, that weirdo who kept trying to get in y'all's like dorm or something. Was that even like your roommate's friend? Was that a random dude? Oh, you're nearly feeling history? Oh, that sucks. That's funny, because that was, like, one of the things I was good at in school was history class. Then again, to kind of, to be fair, though, trying to remember, oh, trying to remember dates is really, really freaking hard. It's like, as soon as you, that's what I've noticed, is like, as soon as you bring numbers into the equation, that's when my brain goes, yeah, no. Because, like, it's, for me, it's easy to remember, like, fun facts and stuff. Of, or not, or just like facts of history, like it's easier to remember that, but as soon as you bring numbers and having to remember a specific date, that's when I go, oh, shite. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I just single crochet times four, good. Oh my god, I love how we're like 30 minutes into this and this is all I've done. <laughs> to be fair, I had to like restart it though. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, school is hard. Oh yeah, I'm probably most likely going to be going to college next year too. So this year, I think I'm gonna do... Yeah, it's starting in May. I'm gonna start going to like a language school, I think. It's at the same... We're at Busan Deakyo, so like Busan National College. And then next year, I guess, hopefully if my Korean is good enough, I can actually start taking classes. Just the sad part is I have to go there. At least for the, um... For the, the language class, which surprised me because I'm like, why are they not online? Again, why? Like, it's Corona. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't trust anybody. Not to mention, I just don't want to leave my house because I'm a hermit. <laughs> but at the same time, I was thinking, why not? Actually, language classes are probably the only few types of classes you could actually just do entirely online. Like, you kind of don't really need to be physically there to learn something. Let me see. Oh, your roommates are gone? Oh, so out of all three, you have one left. Oh, so it's, it's been a lot more chill lately then? I would hope so. And that also means more space for you guys too, right? Since now it's just two of y'all left, instead of four. I think... Oh okay, yeah, this round I just go back, resume both loops, and single crochet. Oh wow, this one's really starting to come up. And it's good, no more stupid annoying people. That's good. I would hate having to live with so many people at once. Which is funny because I come from a big family, but I think it's different when it's your family, right? Um, but like when you're living with people you don't really know very well, oh my god. Like, 
um, when I went to Korea by myself, I stayed at a hostel, and oh my god, that was hard, man. I stayed in a room of eight people. Because it was so cheap, it was $12 a night. Like, you could either get the smaller, like, only four people room. I think that was, like, $22 a night. Which is still really cheap, right? But I was like, I want to save this. I wanted more money to spend on, like, you know, souvenirs and stuff. So I'm like, I'm going to get the $12 room. But they had, like, four bunk beds in there. And, oh my god, those bunk beds were, uh, they were not made for adults. Those were made for kids. Like, because when I tried climbing on one, it nearly fell over. I was like, what the frick? And it was so funny, because they were, like, I think there was, like, a... I think he was from the Netherlands. Like, this really tall guy, um, from Europe. I'm not sure if he was Dutch or not. But, oh my god, he looked so funny when he'd lay on the bed. Because he was, like, it was way too small for him. And he just looked so uncomfortable. And also, like, I think after, like, my third night there or something, like, some kind of fight broke out with some of the people. Because apparently some of the, um, people say the hostel had apparently had brought drugs or something. I'm like, oh my god, this is Korea. Please don't do that. I, uh, you're just gonna get in so much trouble. Because, I mean, even the green stuff he here is, like, super offensive. Like, probably you would get... Like, more in trouble for, like, smoking something than actually stealing, I bet. Like, that's how, that's how hard they crack down on it. You don't even have to be in Korea. If you're a Korean citizen and they find out you did it in another country, you still get in trouble. <gasps> Takoyaki, what's up? Here's what we got done so far. We're, we're making the, uh, snout part. Hopefully this one turns out. Oh my god. This is the same yarn, right? <gasps> He's gotten so sun bleached. Look at that. Look at the color difference. And this is the same yarn. Yikes. He, Cause he usually sits in the window. Oh my god. <sighs> I guess that is the problem with having this spot right here is that all my stuff is getting sun bleached over time. They look so cute in the window though. Ooh, it's my favorite song. Maybe another sip of coffee. What do I do for this one? This is like a tricky one. Oh. Okay. I know that's the problem with this one. I have, like, with the head, I had to, like, very carefully watch what I'm doing. Because it's, like, so many different things I did. I guess to give it, like, that unique shape. Ah, shoot. Good enough. So I got to crochet six times. Or single crochet six times. So let's see. One. Three. Oh, Takayaki, let me show you what we made um yesterday in the Twitch live stream. I finally finished it because I, I plan to make this as a live stream eventually for the YouTube part because I wanted to finish it first because Twitch was like designing it. So we made the strawberry cow. I mean, I did not make these on stream. I made these like off stream, but I like put it together. So I thought it looked cute, like this little, little tiny strawberry cow surrounded by giant strawberries. Decent third quarter ended yesterday, so the stress is almost Ah, oh, yeah, because it is like, because yeah, you're in the US, so like, getting near, you're getting near the end of your uh, school. Oh yeah, I forgot you didn't get to see this uh, Stranger Danger. Yeah, it's a little, you know. And Stranger Danger, I don't know if you remember, do you remember Oat Milk by any chance? Because that's like, because I remember you were in the chats around those times when Oat Milk rated us that time. Like, um, he's like now a streamer buddy, basically. And his like little thing is cows. Like, those are his, like, little emoji, and he has, like, this adorable, like, uh, cow onesie, <laughs> like, you can redeem to make him wear it. Like, that's just his little theme. And I was like, he was the perfect person to raid. And actually, he's moving to Germany in August, so, I don't know, it depends if, uh, Korea's post office opens up to overseas shipping again. If not, then he, because he was like, he wanted to buy this. <laughs> I said, I will send him an army of strawberry cows. Actually, it might not be just strawberry cows, because people in the chat were like, Oh, you can make one with headphones, you can make one with a sword, like, all that kind of... So, I'm, I'm actually thinking to do that. I'm thinking to, like, um... Make a bunch of different, like, little themed cows, and, like, just put them on this, like, little box, and he just gets a box of these tiny cows. Um, I, I might put rings on them, so that way he can make them as, uh, the, the, the keychains. But, like, you can swap them out or something. Let me see, I did three, so I gotta do three more. 
Yeah, so it it all depends on Korea. If Korea is still gonna be like, no, we're not gonna do no more international shipping. I mean, you can't do EMS, but still, that's like ridiculously high priced. Oh yeah, and like so, the earrings are on the way to Queen MJ. Well, sort of. They're on they're on their way to Germany first. Then <laughs> Queen Queen MJ's um, she's my Dutch streamer buddy. Uh, she's the one who wanted the galaxy earrings and. Well, they're actually for her friend, I think, but, like, she's the one who commissioned them. And I couldn't send them to her for so long. Because it was going to be, it was going to cost $33 to ship to her. A tiny little package. $33. That's stupid. And guess what? Um, to, so, uh, Uche, it's called Uchiguk. That's, like, it's, like, Korea's USPS, basically. Um... They have a certain list of affiliated countries that they will still send to, actually. Those are the only countries they will send overseas to if, if they're part of the affiliation program. And most, it's like mostly other Asian countries and a couple, just a handful of European countries. I think France is on there and Germany. And thankfully she had a German streamer friend, so uh, Chivi. So we sent to her first. And then she's going to send to uh, Queen MJ. Oh, but oh my god, it was such a mess. Like, And guess how much the shipping was? Six euros. Or no, six. Yeah, about six euros. Basically the same as it would have been before. And freaking EMS over here like, It's gonna be $33. Fuck you. I know. All because the Netherlands is not part of the affiliation program, huh? And the US is, isn't either, which really sucks. Because that's where Oat Milk is living at the moment, too. But he's moving to Germany in a bit because he's gonna be singing some operas. I actually had no idea he was an opera singer. I was like, dang. Um, let me see, oh, four. Okay, now I do an increase here. Or triple increase. Help give it that nice square shape. Do I do... Okay, I, oh, okay, I don't go through the back loops anymore. I thought I had to go through the back loops one more time, but I don't have to, thank God. Because trying to go through back loops while streaming is really hard. And then single shade times six. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. I pre-counted, so I don't have to worry about counting now. I know, right? You're kidding. That's so expensive. I know, right? That's EMS for you. Because it's basically like your... Because EMS is like, what, different, right? They're like a private company, I guess? I don't know. It's kind of like if you went to USPS, like that's the United States Postal Service. Like, it's really cheap, right? But if you if I went to like FedEx or something, it would be more expensive. Oh, I still remember this stupid $9 shipping to Canada. Like, oh my god, I'm still mad about that. Because I lost money on that Etsy order. Because people in, like, Oat Milk's chat was like, you should sell on Etsy. I'm like, I stopped selling on Etsy because shipping was too much. So, you know, I don't want people paying buttloads amount of sh for shipping. And plus, I don't know how to pre-calculate, right? Because you have to put that in your listing before they buy it. So, I'm like, I never know how much it's going to be. I think I actually had put, afterwards I had put... I put like five dollars for other like places like Mexico and stuff, thinking it's gonna cost that much. Well, I don't know. I think Canada was different though, because Canada is like more of a customs thing. I think that's why it was so expensive. Random question: Would you guys like any trail mix? Oh, I haven't had trail mix in forever. I actually really would love some. Definitely M and M's. They always gotta have M and M's in it. That's the ones I've always had. Oh, but there was something else. It would have. Oh, I forgot what it is. Was it marsh? No, it wasn't marshmallow. No, it was some kind of piece of dried fruit. But it, it's like white like a marshmallow. I don't know what it's called, but it was really good. I always loved that too. That's the more natural part of the trail mix, because I'm pretty sure M&M's are not a very natural part <laughs> for trail mix. But it's some kind of like dried fruit, and I don't know what kind of dried fruit it was, but it was really good. It was chewy. I need to get back to crocheting too, but I have so much stuff to do. Ugh. I mean, I know, school. But I think summer break's coming up though, right, I think? I know, that's always exciting. It's gonna finally start getting warm. I mean, I know not everyone loves summer because, like, it, it gets really, really hot. <gasps> oh, we're in the single crochet round. Okay, I don't have to think anymore. I mean, I do gotta keep track of how many rounds I've done. So this is round five. So I can just crush single crochet now, thank God. That's, like, always the first bit of doing the head is, like, very, like, tedious. Like, I have to, like, keep track of, like, what I'm doing. <gasps> you haven't crocheted in two months? Dang. Is it, like, anything to do with, like, an injury or time or... Oh, raisins. 
That's true, actually, yeah. Uh, certain types of raisins I do love in trail mix. Actually, has anyone ever noticed, like, the raisins in... I think, is it called Raisin Brand Cereal, I think? Yeah. I actually prefer better over just regular plain old raisins. I don't know why, but they're, like, extra chewier and more delicious than just regular raisins you get out of a box. The part of me thinks is, I think now, when I think about it, it's probably because they're coated in sugar. <laughs> but I think that's because the sugar made it probably a bit more dry and a bit more chewy. Because, you know, like, regular raisins, like, out of the boxes are kind of sticky, right? But, like, the ones you would get out of the cereal were a bit more dry, but they're more chewy, like a candy, like a jelly candy or something. Ah, uh, mental health and family health. Oh, that's true, because I remember, like, your mom also had a little... What's the word? Not spill, cause I, but you know, she had a fainting spell a little while back, so I can imagine that's worrying. Plus your sister, <laughs> having to hide from that demon sister of yours. I really hope she grows out of it though. Cause sometimes some kids can, like out of moodiness, angry, you know, like constant, being constantly angry and stuff. Sometimes they can grow out of it. Or, or like they probably won't completely grow out, but they'll grow out of how they handled it. Like throwing tennis balls at people's faces like I hope she grows out of that like she can still be angry that's a valid emotion but like just don't throw crap at people hmm <laughs> oh she's doing better than one that's good maybe see that's maybe a sign because I think she's what 16 now maybe it's beginning I was like even my sister Sarah she said like you know we used to be really super angry all the time and would like lash out and stuff but like she's a lot calmer these days and i think at some point you just do get like i don't know like maybe I, like you develop the tools emotionally how to deal with anger and stuff and now she like has more like rational arguments rather than lashing out which i think is like so happy she's grown up so much like that <laughs> i still i still don't want to ask her why she destroyed my poor uh I had like this little box of Jane, um, I don't know how big of a brand Jane is, it was just something my grandma bought me. Some kind of like, like three, no, yeah, three or four tier makeup thingy, like a box like you lifted, like there's a blush, another like cube, there's like a little, kind of like how this is, right, like you can stack them. It was like that, and she got angry at me for some reason, I have no idea what she was angry at me about too, she didn't say why. She was like, I was just mad at you, and she had clawed it all out, all the makeup, I'm like, you know, grandma bought for me that, that for me, right? That was, that's what I was more upset about. Because I actually didn't really use the makeup in it that much. Because they were like just really weird colors. Um, But I was more upset because it was something grandma Helen had bought for me. Um, Let's see. It's funny because I eat raisins by itself. But when we bake it, it's something I don't like that. <laughs> oh, wait. It's I think. um, I don't know if you remember Swiss Knee or not. Uh, the other streamer. Um, <laughs> He likes putting... Uh, Salt, I think, what are they called? Sultanas? Yeah, he said he likes putting sultanas in his, um, bolognese? Is that how you say it? It's like some kind of, like, spaghetti tomato -y thing. And people were roasting him, and I'm just sitting there like, what's a sultana? <laughs> Apparently they're, like, similar to raisins or something. That, that made me think of that. Oh, and Stranger Danger. I, I read, like, a, I, you know, like, I like listening to Reddit stories, and one of the Reddit stories was talking about how this girl made mashed potatoes and she put raisins in it. And apparently that's, like, a thing, actually. She didn't come up that with her on her own. Apparently, like, the explanation, like, the end of the stories update was, like, apparently the girl didn't really know how to bake much, so she just looked up a recipe and what to make, and just happened to be the first recipe she found had raisins in it, and that's why she put it. And she's like, what the heck? I've never heard of putting raisins in mashed potatoes. Is that like a Midwestern thing? Because I do know the Midwestern folks be a little, do they do be a little weird. Let me see. So I, um, when I was little, my dad told me that raisins were dead flies. To be fair, he doesn't like them. Oh, that's so gross. That would make, as a kid, that probably would have made me hate them. I know, right? I would have thrown up. There were other, I think. Like, some curries have raisins in them, too, don't they? I've never had curry with raisins in it, though. Let me see. Don't mind me if I have a... Well, a ra ah. Reply late. Finishing up this week's Space Marine. Ooh, what's a Space Marine? That sounds like a lot of fun. <gasps> Wait, is it like... 
Okay, that, that it made, like, made me start thinking of Subnautica, because Subnautica's like space, not space theme, but you know, it's like you came from space and now you're in the ocean. That's what makes me think of that. I didn't like them for a while, but now I do. That's true. Uh, let's, my favorite, though, are like the uh, dried persimmons. Um, those are just, oh my god, those are just lovely. Oh, I finished the box. I have no more dried persimmons. I finished it last week. Oh, so sad. I mean, they would have been done by now anyway, but, um, those things were good. That was, like, the best, <laughs> one of the best gifts Jones ever got me was, like, the huge, big old box of, per of dried persimmons. I've got, what they called? Gamgyu? I think they're called Gamgyu in Korean. So good. Uh, what round am I on? Let me do a double check. Is that Caesar? One, two... Okay, I'm on round six. Okay, gotta keep trick. So I don't want to go too far. Oh, dried what? I'm sorry. Oh, the 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 persim Oh, persimmons. Um, I guess they're kind of. Are they like apricots? I'm not sure. It almost looks like an orange. Almost like they're very bright. Um, but yeah, I don't know what you guys call them. Um, but in Korean, I think they're called gamgyu. I think. If I remember correctly. I sometimes forget because that, that was like a new word for me, so I'm hoping I'm remembering it right. The blue soldier. Oh! Okay, so there's. Oh, I thought that had a different name. Ah, uh, what was it? But yeah, I know what you mean though. Those like little soldier guys. Also, they're space marines. That's actually pretty dope. Man, though, I, I would imagine having to do all the detailing though for their armor is like gonna take a ton of like embroidery. But I guess, well, I don't know, some of it could probably be crocheted, though, actually, like, any, like, trimming. Oh, just imagine if you could, was it gold or silver? I can't remember. I thought it was gold. Wasn't it, was it, like, they're blue with, like, gold trimming, or was it silver trimming? I can't remember. Oh, I see, I didn't understand it first, so, yeah. <laughs> probably, uh, because I'm still kind of waking up, so probably a little bit of my words are a little bit slurred. Like, don't worry, I don't got anything extra in my coffee. This is not no Irish coffee. <laughs> I'm just still sleepy. Because so I basically woke up at like 5.45. And I, this is, uh, what time is it now? It is 7.18. Because I started this at 6.30 was when I started the stream. Because I kind of figured it's actually better if I start much earlier. Um, because you know, like for Rebecca, like when I used to start at 10.30, it would be like super late for Rebecca. I kind of felt bad. I'm like, so all my Euro European peeps, like, are having a hard time watching. And it's actually a lot easier, t too, for, like, uh, the United States, I believe, too. Because it's, like, what, the after- I think it's the afternoon for you guys, right? Right, uh, Crochet Cat? It's, like, I'm not quite sure what time in the, uh, afternoon it is. But it's, like, it's either afternoon or early evening. I guess depending on where in the U.S. you are. Like, if you're West Coast, it's probably, like, afternoon. I know, right? I hate time zones. Okay, so it's currently five. So that means it's like, yeah, it's like three. Is it three o'clock? Is, is it either three or two o'clock? Let me see. Oh, because you're, I think you're East Coast, right? Yeah, because, oh, it probably is three because, no, not three. Two o'clock, I think, because uh, when I was in San Francisco, I remember it would always be my sisters and family were two hours ahead of me. And that was for central time. So it's probably one more hour. So it's probably like 2 p.m. and uh, where Louis is at. Uh, same, but I have uh, voice cracks in the morning. Oh my god, yes, I hate that. It probably didn't help when I was in high school. Like my very first year, uh, my very first class was Spanish class. And it would still be dark outside because our school started at 7 a.m. Started at, which means we had to be there at 7, which meant... Uh, we had to be at the bus by 5.45. It was atrocious, man. Good thing, though, we got out early, though. We got out at 2 p.m., which I did like that, to be honest. It was really nice getting out an hour earlier compared to, like, being in elementary school when you get out at 3. But still, though, man, on mornings, and we'd have to, like, you know, in Spanish class, you have to, you know, sometimes we'll have, like, presentations and stuff, and we're just all, like, tired as shit <laughs> and didn't want to talk. Even the extroverts didn't want to talk. Okay, some of it are gold and silver, yeah. Imagine if you found, like, some gold thread or, like, gold, uh, something to, like, kind of weave it through. 
Because I do know there's probably some embroidery flosses that have like a really nice sheen to them. We have another. That's why I got my Ma Dong Silk right here. I mean, not my, more like the actor Ma Dong Silk. I got my Kodong Sun. Oh yeah, I finally put a, a speaker in for five minutes in the Twitch thingy, like a, as a channel redeem, channel point redeem, and no one's used it yet. Mmm. Also, I finally got new emojis. And actually, let me see if I can show you guys with this phone, because this phone is still connected to my Gmail, so I should be able to see the, um, what do you call it? Like the picture, like they show you in your um, like what you ordered. Where is it? I, cause I wanted to make all the emojis myself, but I did want to just go ahead and buy some sub badges, cause I found these really adorable uh coffee sub badges. And let me see if I can just zoom. In. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, this is what I bought, cause I was like. <gasps> They're perfect, they're both pixel and they're corgis because we're eventually going to get a corgi, so I just went ahead and bought them. I was like, heck yeah. They're so cute! Let me show you the sub badges too. Let me see. Uh, oh, I would die. Yeah, I would be dead if I had to do that as me <laughs> to sleep and get up early. Nope, wouldn't even function. Definitely, yeah. Here are the sub badges I got. Uh... So I think like the, that's like one month, two month, three month, six month, nine month, and one year, I think. But yeah. I was gonna actually make my own sub badges, and I actually had a picture saved of that, um, as like reference, and then I thought, you know what, why not just buy them? I mean, trying to make everything myself was just, um, it was just too much. More like I want to have more time for like actually streaming and stuff. I know the core guys are very cute, and they finally pended, like when you put new emojis up on Twitch that you have to pen for a while, like they have to approve it. And actually the crying one got appended, I mean got approved really quick. But the other ones are pending all freaking day and I was going back and checking like, did they approve it yet? Did they approve it yet? I don't know why they approved the crying one first, that was so weird. Cause I most, I really wanted the corgi butt one to be, you know, hurt them to be approved. Cause that one was so cute. So for our eventual corgi, Ah, oh, we still don't know if we can get a dog, though. We, um, Dong's gonna try to talk with the, um, people he signed the apartment contract with to see if we can pay an extra, like, wallpaper fee, like, 300 or was it, I can't remember if it was $300 or $500. Something, something around that amount, like, pay that much extra when we leave for the wallpaper change, if we have a dog. Whether or not if the dog destroys it or not. I hope not. Like, I would try to make sure, I would probably try to keep my dog away from the wall. And then again, it's so weird though, because like, I, you know, like, our dogs never scratch up the wall ever. But apparently a lot of dogs do that in Korea, and I'm like, why? But that could be just because, you know, maybe they, you know, they leave the dogs alone a lot when they go off to work, but I'm going to be mostly home, because like, most of the stuff, my work will be from home, like, it's the streaming, hopefully the uh, selling on Idis, so it's going to be all like, at home stuff, so I'll be, uh, be home with the, the doggo. So we're going to hope they agree to that. And if then, we can get a dog now. If not, then we need to wait until we move to another apartment. Which would suck. And oh my god, though. <laughs> Every time Jong said, I thought, so when you walk up to the apartment, I thought it was just a hill you have to walk up. But Jong said, no, it's like walking up a mountain. I'm like, uh-oh. He actually, you know, like, Jong's in more shape than I am. And he actually would get so tired every time he went to go visit the units to like look around and then even the time when he came back to uh sign sign the pre-contract and then the he had to come back another time to sign the other contract he would get so tired just for walking up the big hill to that apartment i'm like oh boy i'm in for a treat <laughs> really the only thing our dog rips apart are his toys yeah it's so weird but then again to kind of be fair most of the dogs people in korea have are like the really little like those little curly hair, I call them grandma dogs, because always grandmas would have those type of dogs. Even my own grandma had that type of dog. They're like those little yappy, I don't know what the breed is, but they got really, their hair is like really, really super curly. They're like a dog with a perm, basically. I don't know the dog breed though, but yeah, there's a bunch of those. And I'm wondering if maybe it's because of that. I didn't know if those dogs just, you know, were like that. 
And also, too, like, why not keep the dogs in a pen? Like, not a cage, but, you know, like, get, like, those little, the pen thing. And put it up, you know, just a bit away from the wall. That way they can't reach the wall, you know what I mean? But they still have, like, space to, like, roam around the living room. But they just can't get to the wall. Like, do something like that, I think. Oh, yo, what's up, little me? Long time no see. Yeah, we're making the Fortnite loot llama. Oh, my God, though, you can see, though. This boy's been sitting out in the window for far too long. Look how the color difference. You can see, like, this one's more saturated. This he's, it's like, he's got a little bit of sun bleach going on. He's still cute. We're still, this is gonna be a very long stream, probably. I'm gonna be here all day. Because <laughs> this does take a while to make. Uh, that was... I think we're on seven. Okay, uh-oh, there we go. At least I'm in the easy part where I'm just single crocheting. The first part's always the hardest, like, because I have to, like, make, like, this weird, not perfectly square, but, like, kind of, like, kind of like a small trapezoid kind of, um, I think that's, like, I think that's right, trapezoid shape. It's very subtle, though, because I was trying to make it as close to how he looks in real life, how the llama looks, but it is kind of hard to make, you know, sharp angular shapes in crochet. Oh, have I been? I've been pretty good. We're getting ready for um, a big move really soon, though. Like, at the end of March 28th is our move date. So, we actually don't have that much longer. Oh, and it sucks. Let me show you guys the, um... Let me unplug this real quick. I am going to really miss this spot, though. Like, this is, like, the perfect crochet spot. The sun's finally up. Like, look how beautiful it is outside. But yeah, I'm gonna really super miss the spot. Mostly because I'm gonna miss the cats because I see all the neighborhood cats out here. <laughs> I don't like Fortnite, but I want this llama as a plushie. Actually, yeah, so I'm thinking because this is pretty decently big, right? And I'm wondering how big he would turn out if you just do it over like regular yarn. I'm gonna try to have the pattern, I'm gonna try to have the tutorial out by um next week though. Or technically this week, because it's Sunday, so it's technically... I know for some of you guys it's still Saturday, but it's Sunday for me, so it's technically... So sometime this week, maybe. Like, with Friday or Saturday being the, like, mo like maximum, like, hopefully no not past that. I just need to film the legs. Making this... I gotta change the arrow, though. Uh, I did not... That was such a butt to make. I'm gonna put it in, like... If you just want your sanity, just get some felt, but I don't have any felt. But I made, I designed a new arrow to be more pointier. And I, I just gotta, I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, it's not on here. I had it down somewhere. Oh, well. I mean, I kind of know what I did, though. But yeah, I thought this looked much better than this one. Because this one is, like, really thick. Uh, but I, I gotta do it with brown, though. Uh, oh, actually, we'll basically try to do that, actually, at the end of this stream. <laughs> this is probably going to be the last thing I make. But, yeah, that would be cute. I do need to try to make a bigger version of him. But I need to get, like, more of this yarn. Or a yarn similar to this color. That's another great thing about our move, though, that I am going to really like, though, is that I'm finally going to have access to a yarn store. at the uh, Like, in a, in a market. It's called, like, the Maze Market. That's what I'm a bit worried about. Apparently, it's really easy to get lost in. <laughs> but, uh, Jung said he was walking around there for, like, two hours and he finally found it. But I can't wait to try that out. And hopefully... Uh, I want to speak with, the like, the Ajma who owns it. Because I don't know if she knits or crochets. I'm hoping she does either both or does at least crochet. That'd be nice. Because if she just knits, then I'm probably not going to have much to talk about. Because <laughs> I don't knit. It still amazes me how he can come up with patterns like these. Actually, he and it, it was really weird. I actually didn't have that too much trouble with him, the Fortnite Lulam. Like, ah, that's another thing too. That's why I'm doing this now. I had put this off for so long because it's such a, a maybe hard pattern to explain sometimes, like especially like the beginning part. Um, but then I realized this was like the first thing I made when we moved to this apartment. I'm like, and we're gonna move soon, and I didn't finish him or like the video. I'm like, no, I gotta do this before we move. Because this was the first thing I made when we moved here. Because it was really funny because I actually really didn't make anything in the other apartment. Like, on my Instagram, I have, like, an old picture of, like, the first apartment. 
like crochet setup and I actually ended up hardly crocheting there at all. I mostly did like graphic art there because that's when I got my QR tablet. So that year was more doing computer stuff. I didn't really crochet very much during that time. But as soon as we moved here, you know, I had my perfect spot. And like that's another thing I'm missing is like, you know, this is like this little spot just so full of memories and stuff. I'm gonna really miss it. Oh man, the beautiful like gold it's like the golden hour at the moment because like you know, like, when the sun comes through and it's, like, hitting the little coffee mug, it's like, wow, it's just, like, so pretty. Actually, though, the new spot, the new apartment actually does have a very beautiful big window. And it gets really good sunlight. Just the problem is the view, uh, is gonna be the apartment in front of it. The apartment building. Though, Jung did say, like, you see the top of the apartment building, then you can kind of see the city above that. So, I don't know how big of it it is. Like, how much of the apartment do you see? Is it, like, this much and this much? city or is it like this much apartment in this much city you know i'm like wondering what it's gonna be like uh he couldn't take a picture for me though because the person who still lives there um you know they had their stuff around so he couldn't really get a good pic you know he couldn't really take any pictures the pictures we have of the unit are from the listing that were online it was really funny because when i showed my dad he thought we had just moved in he's like because you know the place looked kind of messy he's like oh you guys just moved in like i see all your stuff everywhere i'm like no, it's not our stuff. This is the person who lives there. <laughs> to be fair, you know, they're getting ready to move. That's why it's a mess. And I kind of feel bad because, like, doesn't that suck to, like, people take pictures of your apartment when it's all messy because you're about to move? Because, you know, you got stuff out and you're about to be packing. Uh, have fun making your lawn. I'm going to go work on some stuff. See you. Oh, see you. Uh, Lumi, have a good day. Night. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is for you. Probably afternoon, maybe. It's morning time for me. But have fun with your work stuff. I'll be here for a while. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I will say though, Stranger Danger, the um the hardest one to make was the Timo. He was a butt to make. Though actually to kind of be fair, he would have been easier to make if I just went ahead and made the goggles in embroidery floss and not yarn. That was the hard part actually was trying to get those goggles to be small enough to fit on his head because but I was trying to use all the same yarn weight you know what I mean because so I was trying to make it easier for the person but now I sh now that I think about it I'm gonna be like you know what when I I might remake that pattern actually not remake it but like change it up a bit for the goggles and just do it with embroidery floss like I'm sorry you're gonna need another hook and you're gonna need embroidery floss because trying to make it that tiny was so hard I know where you paid off it looks really good and I have yet to make another one. I actually, you know, it's so funny, right? Because the, the Timo video was uh, the first video back. Um, Cause like I had started making, um, what do you call it? Crochet videos a long time ago when we lived in San Francisco. That was back when I, my YouTube was called the Korean Toy Box. I'm really glad I changed it though. Cause like, I was making more Japanese characters than I were than I were Korean characters actually. It was supposed to be like I'm gonna make all these like cute Korean and Japanese characters. That's why it's called a toy box. Cause like they're like toys basically. Um then I realized all the ones I had on there were more like just general kawaii stuff and I hadn't made any Korean characters yet, so I'm like, eh, let me just change it. And surprisingly, coffee uh coffee and crochet wasn't taken. Which is really weird because it's taken everywhere else. It's taken on Instagram, it was taken on Twitch, so I had to put a three E's. And actually that's what annoys me too, is that the person who is coffee and crochet, like perfectly coffee and crochet on Twitch, is not even a streamer, they're just a user, and it doesn't even look like they've used their account for a long time. And I hate that, I kind of wish Twitch or any kind of big social media platform would have a regular username, and then you make a separate account, and like the, you know, it's like completely swiped clean, right? Like you could technically have two accounts with the same name, but like, I don't know, there was to be something to differentiate, like, this is a business account, or this is, like, a creator account, while well, this is just a regular play on a user account, right? It really sucks that users and, like, business and creators have to share the same name pool, which really sucks. And also, yeah, there's, like, a person named the Perfect Coffee and Crochet, uh, name on Instagram. They haven't posted on their Instagram in a really long time, and I'm just like, ah, they're just hogging the name! <laughs> uh... I actually finally changed it too. I, I was, it used to be coffee crochet designs, but I was like, but I had coffee and crochet with the three E's perfectly for my gaming Twitch. Not gaming Twitch, I mean gaming Instagram. It's supposed to be like 
gaming crochet and game like it's supposed to be more for twitch but i decided you know what let me just make that same for the other one but put like the little dots in between so that way there's two accounts with the three e's for coffee and crochet but one's like the no dots in between one and the ones with the dot in between are my uh cro pure crochet instagram i should say i know right i hate it when you can't choose a name because it's taken especially if the person is just a regular that's what i mean like they're just plain old users like they're not even streamers like or businesses or anything so it sucks that we have to like share that with just regular people just using the account to like look at stuff right i think they should have made kind of like what like what um discord did right like we each have like that weird little number beside our name that's why that's how people can name whatever they want on discord because they have that like you have like that special number let me see like let me choose my name and give me an id or something i know right I know, it just sucks. I think this is the last single crochet round. I'm going to give a double check before I start decreasing. Because once we get the head done, it's going to probably be a little bit smoother sailing from there. Because these are just like, here's the un, un French knot one. So you can see what it looks like before. It looks like crap. <laughs> like, look how skinny his neck is, right? Like, But it's supposed to be like that because it's going to get all filled up. Like, they were just, like, I just crocheted a square, and then I went in the back, I gave it, like, a little edging. Then I just went in the back loops and just started crocheting the round, did, just did a bunch of color changes. That's all it basically is. Oh, the neck was a bit unique, because, like, I started out big and, like, slowly decreased, and it's also square-shaped. But I think it turned out good. Uh, but we'll have to see how that does. That's going to be the long part, is the <laughs> doing the French knots, probably. Uh-oh, why did it stop? My phone turned off. There we go. I know, right? All flat platforms should do something. They really should. Because really, businesses and just regular playing people using the social media for fun, like, you know, just as, like regular old Joes should have like their own separate, like, what's available, right? Um, like, have like a, well, that's the only problem is I think is like, they don't want to give a symbol, like the like, what little logo, verification logo thing just to anybody. But it'd be kind of cool if they could have, like, I don't know, or maybe they'd just be a different color, right? Like, if you're a creator, your username will be this color. That way you can different, that way people, when they see, hey, there's, like, three accounts with the same name. Oh, that person's just a regular plain old user. Oh, this person's a business. Oh, and this person's a creator, right? And that'd also be good, because that way creators could have, like, their own subset or something. Like, they can all use a name, but they're maybe not a business. I don't know. Or, like, give, like, the little number thingy that, like, Discord does. Because I'm pretty sure there's a ton of people named Coffee and Crochet on Discord, I bet. Yep. I know, right? Oh, my throat is getting dry. I need more coffee. I know, right? This, I should actually make a hydrate button. This is... But instead of hydrate, it's, like, caffeinate. We don't drink water on this channel. We drink coffee. <laughs> Though actually coffee is probably the more dehydrating thing. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to count how many rounds I did. Whoopsie. Let me give it a quick count. I can't see from there. I'm like an old lady. I gotta like look at stuff right up in my front of my face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I did perfectly. Okay, so this is our decrease uh, round. So, let's see. Oh, no, I forgot the decreasing was the hard part, too. Like, just the first little bit. Because it's like, I just don't do a, a general decrease. I do, like, let's see, crochet times three. Then I do a decrease. Then I single crochet times 14. Then I decrease. Oh, wait, no, I think that's just, it's technically just decreasing times two, but I, for some reason, wanted the decreases in a specific spot. And just for the, to make things easier, I'm just going to do like a regular decrease instead of doing the invisible decrease, because that's kind of annoying to do. But you totally should, lol. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I got, like, a regular hydrate button, but I need to make... That'd be kind of cool if I could have it, like, play, like, a... I need, like, to find, like, some kind of funny gif of someone downing, like, coffee. That way it plays when they redeem it. 
Cause I want I want more like Mimi type stuff. Like I finally changed. Um, oh, that's another thing too. A stranger danger. I changed all my um alerts. So like when someone follows, um, I don't know if you ever saw Schoolhouse of Rock with Jack Black in it, but you know the part where he's like, "You want to go get some coffee?" and like the teacher lady's like, "You want to go get coffee with me?" Like I have that play, <laughs> and then I have like a scene from King of the Hill of when Bobby gets coffee. <laughs> Uh, for if someone like throws, like if someone gives bits or something. Sadly, no one's given bits yet, so that hasn't played on stream yet. And sadly, also like when Queen's MJ, she donated as her like payment for the earrings. Um, it was really more for the shipping because I like, gave a pretty cheap price for the earrings, so that she's a friend. But uh, she paid offline, so it didn't show the sub emote. I mean, not sub. Uh, donation emote, which is like the scene from Pulp Fiction, where like. Damn, Jimmy, this is some good ass shit. Like <laughs> that coffee scene, <laughs> where they're like just both covered in blood, drinking coffee. Like, oh my god. But yeah, I have that. I've never even seen Pulp Fiction, but I do love that scene though. It's really funny. Oh, let's see, three, four, and five, and this is sorry, six and seven. I keep forgetting this is the one I gotta be careful with. Okay, I'll just, like, since I know I'm at 7, which is halfway, I'm just going to count to 7 now. <laughs> Let's see, that way I make sure everything's all even. So that's each one. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. I love it. And I think, like, if someone uh, hosts me, I have it, like, some scene from the old movie Airplane. And then it goes, like... I was just passing, I thought you could use some coffee, like, <laughs> like just stuff like that. I can't wait for something to actually finally get used. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, did I just do increase? Yikes. Definitely don't want to do that. Plus, I gotta stuff this soon, this is getting hard to work with. Because it's only problem like, when you, like, do flat stuff, like, right, it wants to go through, like, both sides. I'm like, no, I just want to go through this one little stitch. Oh, and also, like, when someone, uh, subs to me, it plays the... Oh, I, I think that did get to play, actually. Yeah, because Darioko had resubbed to me, um, uh, my Belgium streamer friend. And, um, what do you call it? It's the part of... I don't know if you've ever seen Elf with, um... Oh no, I know his name, but I forgot it. Like, I can't think of the name at the moment, the actor. But you know the guy who plays Elf, right? And, um, what do you call it? And he goes and like, yeah, you did it. World's best cup of coffee. <laughs> I have that as like when someone subs to me. It's so cute. And I just need, I've been kind of getting like kind of ideas from Swissney. Because I noticed Swissney's got a lot of good, like, he just has a lot of good memeable stuff he plays whenever, like, you come to a point in the game. Or whatever point of stream that's, like, a funny moment. Uh, what does he have? Oh, yeah, he's got a stream, a stream deck. I need to get one of those. I wonder how much they are. I think Kuma-chan makes his own stream decks, too, if I remember correctly. Because I remember I would watch uh, Kuma sometimes when he would stream. I haven't seen one of his streams in a while. But I do know he did stream not too long ago and I ended up missing it. I need to see how long ago that was. Oh, um, I looked up coffee drinking gifts and it's a lot of funny ones. I like Snow White photoshopped under a coffee tank and coffee just pouring out of her mouth. Oh, I need to find that. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, I need to find some gifts and stuff. Because I think gifts are safe to play on stream, right? Like, no one's going to get, like, all angry. Like, you stole this gift. Like, I see people using gifts all the time on their streams. And I need to do that. I need to... I need all the coffee memes. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank god. The next one's easy. I just do regular three single crochet and then decrease. Like a, that like little pattern. Thank god. No more having to count specifically. Probably after this decrease I'll also start feeling it. And then I need to embroider the nose. But I need that though. <laughs> I need that Snow White gif. <laughs> Oh wait, I can't, I can't remember, uh, Stranger Danger. Were you in our Discord? 
can't remember if you were or not. If you were, you could probably, like, just send it, like, pop it up somewhere, like, in memes or something. So we got a meme channel. Oh, yeah, like, the Grinch. Oh, yeah, wait, I think, was there some coffee ones? I know, I love the. It's so weird. I, I actually was hearing someone how they said the other day how they didn't like the Grinch movie. I'm like, what? Jim Carrey is hilarious. I love Jim Carrey. I know some people are like, oh, he's too much. But no, he's like fucking perfect. Like, he's just like really good. Especially when I saw the, oh, you deleted Discord. That's true. Because especially when you join a lot of Discords, like, it's really hard to escape the notifications. Because, like, you'll even put, like, what, mute at here and all. And you somehow still get, like, notifications from that Discord. And it's so annoying. I know what you mean, though. Because, like, I have some, I have to, like, try to mute. And even then, when I mute them, they still somehow, some notifications will still come through. And I get all excited, too, thinking, oh, some, I'm thinking it's coming from someone on my Discord, like, was adding me. Or, like, something I'm, like, all excited. And then just find out this, like, this little random Discord I haven't even been on in forever. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> like, the disappointment. I know, right? Jim Carrey is an amazing actor. Did you, like, did any of y'all ever see, like, the, like, it was, like, an interview when he was talking, at, like, showing the Grinch face, and then, like, he was saying the parents were like, oh, I thought that was makeup, <laughs> and it turns out, I thought it was makeup, too. I had no idea. I mean, part of it is, but, like, he actually does the facial feature of the Grinch. I'm like, what the heck? Oh, my God, he's got some, he can just, like, contort his face in any way. It's so weird, in a good way, like, a good weird, like, oh, my God, the man's got talent. <laughs> Let me see, we watched The Grinch in English, uh, German class, it was so funny. I know, right? I love Jim Carrey, he's so funny. And I think, uh, last, was it last year? I think I finally saw The Truman Show for the first time. And that was, like, really good. I think that was one of his more semi-serious films, I think. Wait, why is... Uh-oh, I think my count is off. Oh, you never seen The Grinch? Let me see. Uh, I think I messed up somewhere. Before I start, I'm gonna count how many current... I don't think I dropped any stitches back then because, like, the previous dec uh, decrease matched up perfectly. Let me check. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, I'm missing two stitches. That's interesting. Uh-oh. Well, let me, just for today, I'll just fudge it a little bit. Um, since it's at eighteen, that means I gotta decrease differently. Oh, this... Pencil's broken. I need a good pencil. Um, so I'm basically trying to decrease by four. So I think I'll just decrease by three instead. Um, which would mean I would single crochet. Let me see. Yeah, times I would single crochet times four instead, then decrease. So, instead of decreasing by 4, I'll be decre uh, decreasing by 3. I hope I did that right. I did it without a calculator. Well, I mean, it's just simple division. More, I was thinking, okay, like, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So, for decreasing, that means I subtract 2. So, that would be 4. Hope this turns out right. I don't mind the Grinch, but... Oh, it doesn't make the much favorite list. Oh, I finally watched, um, the Santa Claus, um, with, uh, Tim Allen in it. Yeah, I finally got to see it. I never got to see that as a kid. We just, we just never had it, even though I love, we would watch, um, uh, what's it called? Home Improvement, I think, right? That's, like, the funny t uh, show Tim Allen was on, Home Improvement. Um, we would watch that, though, as a kid. But just for some reason, we never had it. And I never, it was so weird. Like, I just never saw it in the stores to buy so we just never, it was just one of those movies we never had, and like never saw it at a friend's house. So I never just saw it, and I was like, I finally got to see it, I was so happy. Thankfully I was able to rent it on, um, 
Google Play, thank God. Oh yeah, that one does make my favorite uh, favorite list and um home, home improvements hilarious. I know, right? I miss shows like that. I don't know why this song is like a little bit louder than the other ones. Let me lower that a bit. Freshen up my hands a bit. That's so weird though. Somehow I dropped two stitches along the way. Oh well. Because it worked perfectly when I made this one the other day. I like how it says it's just like I'm gonna have his head little his little head just sticking out of the corner. Of him here. <laughs> Yeah, now I just need to see the... Were the other ones any good? Because I think he made, like... I think three or four of those? Was it three or four? I can't remember. Uh, I only got to see the first one, though. I need to rent the other ones. But I'm go I think I'm going to wait till next Christmas, though. Because it does feel kind of weird watching a Christmas movie now. And I also just finished... Um, it's so funny, right? I bought the Lord of the Rings trilogy pack last... Not the Christmas we just had, but the Christmas before. Like, our first Christmas in this apartment. And I just kept waiting for a good time to w sit down and watch all three. Not on the same day, but, like, in the... Like, one for each day. And I just never got around to it. And I finally was like, oh, no, we're moving soon. I want to at least, you know, sit down and watch it before we move. So I finally got to watch that. And I was like... There's a lot of things I actually had forgotten about. <laughs> or, like, I didn't, like, realize in the movie. When I was younger. Because I saw it. It's been a really long time since I've seen it. I wasn't like. I watched it when we were really young. But also we watched it again. But the second one. Our DVD got messed up. Because Sarah had poured Coca-Cola into the DVD machine. While the CD was in there. So it got messed up. And my mom was too heartbroken to go buy another one. Because <laughs> you know. At the time they were pretty expensive. Now. Like nowadays. You know. They're a lot cheap. Like movies are a bit cheaper now. I think. Or like older movies at least. If you can get them on DVD, like, she can probably find one off eBay now. But at the time, you know, like, we had just bought it. And yeah, that always sucks, too, when you just bought something and then it gets destroyed. But, yeah, oh my goodness, though. If I do ever have kids, I'm just going to have to lock everything away. Because I remember someone, like, was talking about, like, you know, I've seen, like, horror stories of, like, kids getting into their parents' yarn and stuff and destroying it. Or, like, destroy or frog the project they were working on. And the person, like, person someone I was chatting with on Twitch was like, yep, they will get into it. I'm like, no, they won't. I'm going to lock the door. I'm going to have a... That's the thing. If I ha if I can just have a separate room that I can lock, they're never getting in there. That will be the secret door they tell their friends, oh my god, my mom has this, like, room. She always locks. I wonder what's in there. <laughs> and turns out it's just my crochet soap because I didn't want them to get into it. I will not let that happen. I just cannot... Let me see, the third one isn't the best, but... Okay, so the first and second one are really good. Well, I mean, I saw I just saw the first one. I really liked it, so I need to see the second one. Oh, yeah, I think the second one's when, um... He gets, I think, like a... The, meets the Mrs. Claus, I think, right? Because I think I remember seeing it when the, someone in the trailers, he actually meets somebody. Was that a blonde lady? I can't remember. It's been a really long time since I've seen the trailers. You know what? I think I messed up somewhere. Hold on. More, I think I did three single crochet instead of four because I was kept thinking about the old thing. So I need to do. I keep forgetting to do four. I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely gonna have. I'm gonna be like the weirdo mom who like keeps her crap locked away. One, two, three, four. Because I just don't want to risk it. Probably better yet is to actually just have it where they don't even know it exists, right? Because if they do know, that's the problem with kids, right? If they do know something's hidden, they will try everything in their power to find it. I know, because I was a kid once too. But it's better, like, if I could get, like, those cool, like, what, those hidden closet type things. Like, where's it, like in the closet there's a, do a hidden door. I would have that locked too, just in case they ever found it. But yeah, 
I wanted something like that. Something that they just don't even know it's there. I think that's the best way. Oh yeah, he has to get married in the second one. Yeah, because I remember, I think it was a blonde lady, right? Mm. I'm trying to remember. Or is that like a different movie I'm thinking of? Okay, three. Here's where I made my mistake. In the second decrease, I actually did just three and not four. So let me put one more. Because I had like one stitch left over near the end. I was like, uh oh, something is not quite right. Oh yeah, it is a blonde. Oh, okay, so I am remembering the uh thing correctly. The trailer. I'm trying to think, what was another one of my uh favorite Christmas movie? Oh yeah, Annabelle was one of my I used to love the crap out of like watching Annabelle. I think I saw it in school first, and then I told my mom, like, I want this movie! I really just super liked Annabelle. I would just, like, binge watch Annabelle all the time. Yay! Okay, so I finally got a good, perfect decrease round. Like, no mess-ups. Wait, what? Oh, the... Have you ever seen Annabelle? It's, like, about a cow who wants to become a reindeer. Uh, that was one of my favorite Christmas movies. Wait, I want a basement that's actually like a normal room, not like a crypt that we have right now. Oh, I know, right? Like, uh, it's so funny, right? Because as a kid, you think basements just have to always be yucky and creepy, right? But then, like, when my aunt um had moved to Cincinnati, they had a basement. And it was, like, just a regular furnished basement, like... It just looked like a normal room. Like, it was all nice and cozy down there. Like, it was like their kind of like playroom den area. I'm like, I want this. <laughs> I want to have something like this. Or an attic. Because I think, I think I would much prefer an attic actually for a crochet room. Because then I can have a window that I, you know, get more sunlight in. Because if I'm in a basement, there's going to be not much sunlight coming through. And the window would be like so up high if there is a window. Not to mention like basement windows are probably very easy for people to break in. Cause that's another thing I'm kind of thinking about. Like I'm thinking about like how can how easily can someone break in? <laughs> now, of course, if you have a basement with no window, then you know maybe you'll get lucky. And not to mention, this basement floods a lot. And that always terrifies me. I would hate to have like a lovely basement I furnished and just for it to get all flooded. But that depends on. I think that just depends on the area you live in. Like if you have an area that. I think that's actually why we never had basements in my- I used to wonder, why do none of our houses in- like, our friends never had basements? Like, none of the- we always had attics, but we never had basements. And then I found out just some areas, they just don't put basements because it floods a lot. And it does flood a bit where I'm from. Let me see. Oh. I was thinking of something else, and I was like, wait, what, you been watching a horror movie? What? No! Wait. Oh, yeah! Oh, it is a it is a horror movie name, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god, imagine like if Blockbuster was still a thing, right? And like the owner somehow accidentally swapped the DVDs. Annabelle for the horror movie and Annabelle for the Christmas cartoon movie. And like you just have your kid home and you put the movie on. It's just like a creepy, scary movie. That would be awful. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot there is a horror mix. I don't watch horror movies. That's why I didn't. I forgot about that. But yeah, this was, to be fair, the Annabelle I'm referring to is the OG Annabelle because I think that came out in the nineties. Um, reven reven ah, reven ah, I cannot speak. We're renovating a house and putting a hidden door into the attic and a bookshelf that will come out and you can get into the attic. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. That'd be like the perfect chilling spot. And it's also, like, probably a great way to, like, hide and run away from kids. <laughs> like, when your kids are being too much, like, I'm gonna go off to my crochet room. You guys just handle this crap yourself. Like, if, like, you know, like, when kids fight over dumb crap and you just, like, run off. Like, I can't take this. Oh, uh, let's see. Our house is really old, like, a village farmer situation. Uh, and the basement is a mess because people store their plants and barrels down there, like, in medieval ages. I know, right? 
Yeah, probably best is like if you ever get like it's just to build a house with a fresh like that, that way you get like a fresh clean basement basically. <laughs> yeah, but I guess that's what yeah basements were more for that like doing laundry or like storing your f I guess not food or nothing but like maybe like your potatoes or something. Isn't that what all those people died from actually? Like I remember. I don't think it was a basement, but it was like a, some kind of like outside cellar. And they would store their potatoes down there, and then apparently all like a whole family pretty much died, except for like one person because they didn't go down there because the potatoes had gotten rotten. And I didn't. So now I'm scared of potatoes actually when they go bad because of the whole if there's too many, you can like get poisoned or something from breathing it in. Like that's just terrifying, man. And then not to mention sad. Like your family just walks in the basement and never walks down. You're just like. You, to know as a kid, you're gonna think there's a monster down there, but no, it's just like something a bit more realistic, but still nonetheless just as scary. Actually, I would find that more scary because you wouldn't be expecting it because it's just potatoes, you know? Be like, why have the potatoes harmed us? What have we ever done to you, potatoes? I'm trying to find which way was the snout. I know I have it like where it kind of sticks. I think this is the way. Because, like, the longer part is supposed to be the bottom part, if I'm correct. I have to, like, kind of play with it. There we go. Let me push this down just a wee bit more. I think this is our last decrease round. Yeah. I mean, see, we only put our plants in there when winter comes so they don't freeze to death. And also because it's moldy and disgusting. Blah! That's true. I would imagine, like, that would be a, just a place where you keep plants and stuff. Because, you know, plants do, like... I actually always kind of wonder how people kind of, like... They have their house really nice and pretty right, but they have a bunch of plants everywhere. And I'm just thinking, how much cleanup does that take? Because, you know, I've had... Because we've had, you know, house plants before, and they always leak and stuff everywhere. Like, water gets everywhere... If you put, accidentally topple it over, then, like, soil and water gets all over your furniture and stuff. And I'm just like, even though it's beautiful, like, how do they keep it so clean? Because I know real plants in real life are messy. <laughs> okay, unless maybe, like, the pots and stuff are, like, just built better these days, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe we just had cheap flower, <laughs> flower pots. Let me see, I have to take a midterm for a college class. I'll be back in a while. Good luck on your midterm! I hope you get a good grade. I hope you get a good mark on it. Because I know taking tests can be, like, stressful. I'm a very bad test taker. I always hated that. I would have, like, good grades in class and then bomb the test and, like, everyone's confused. Like, I just can't take tests good. Why am I yawning? I got like eight hours of sleep. I should not be yawning. Oh yeah, I think I actually, I was actually just thinking of the, like the what the quote, my yawn is my, is a silent scream for coffee or something. And then I remember like, where did I get that from? And then I remember, oh yeah, I have a nightgown with that on. I have like three coffee nightgowns that have like coffee quotes on them. Um, but the first one was like, today's good mood is sponsored by coffee. Oh, I should actually add that as a quote. Like, I should add those as quotes in my Twitch, right? Isn't that like a thing people do? Like, they add like, I've seen that around a couple times where someone puts like, I quote and just starts playing random quotes. I'm gonna put those in. I know, right? Uh, I was put in the small room when I done test due to anxiety. Well, was it, was it easier, I guess, when you get put into like a room like by yourself? Because that was another thing too, is like, being by everybody and also the meme is so true but like when your your class is taking a test and then some random kid in the hallway starts screaming or they bang on your door like I don't know what that is it's so weird how like you know when stuff happens and you just think that was just a random incident and then you just see these memes and find out oh my god this happens to everybody what the heck is wrong with humans <laughs> like why is that normal that that everyone's experienced that it's just the darndest thing
Okay, there we go. Now I can sew this up. Let me see. I don't really use Twitch at all. Only when you're streaming. That's true. I do I do want to kind of start trying to stream on YouTube a bit more. I probably actually will. Um, after I move. I think it's because, like, so, like, for YouTube. So, it's not, you know, like, Twitch, right? I can just hop on and start streaming. But for YouTube, you know, I need to, like, make a thumbnail for it. And it's actually usually better. Like, I think that's why this stream is doing... A little bit better than last time because usually I make the what thumb night the, the night before and I put it on on Instagram the night before like like six hours left to like stream basically I'm like okay I'm gonna get five hours of sleep and wake up and stream but actually I, it seems to work better for YouTube if you plan it ahead with a good amount of time so like this time like what two was it two days ago yeah I think two days ago is when I actually put that I'm gonna actually like I scheduled the stream that way people get the notification early and can like put ahead of time like, okay, oh, this is going to happen on this time. And I got, you got to make the thumbnail and everything. So it's a lot easier to like, if you plan it, but like Twitch is more, you can spontaneously, cause you don't have to worry about a thumbnail or nothing. I know, right? Humans are weird. They are. Some are weird in a good way. Some are weird in just a why bro kind of way. Let me see, this reminds me of the person in my class. There's a god complex. Oh my god. Oh no. Those kids are always very weird. And kind of scary too, because like... It's like the universe don't revolve around you, dude. Like that kind of thing. And they think they can get away with anything. They can just do whatever and like they're not going to get in trouble. Like, brah, we live in a society. You can't just be doing that crap. Oh, I still remember, like, in middle school, like, this one kid, uh, would kick my ch You know, like, did you ever have those kids who sat behind you, and they would kick your- the leg of your desk, or your chair, or whatever, like, they just kind of, like, kick, 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 and I'm like, I hated that. I mean, even the first time I actually polite- I just told him, like, like, hey, can you stop that? It's kind of bugging me. And he's like, what? Oh, I hate it when they have that kind of attitude, like, bish, I asked politely. So after that, I just went to the teacher, like, can you move me? I don't want to sit by him. Thankfully, though, not, not too long after that, though, I got, uh, pulled out to get homeschooled, and that was the best thing ever. Ugh, middle school would have killed me, honestly. They are scary. Yeah, man, there's, like, this kid a few years ago who just comes and, and wait, who just comes, keep coming in my class, and always says, I'm here to say bye, and he does it to every, he does it every day, what the heck? That's so weird. He just comes in to say goodbye? Does he have like a friend in that class or something? Or maybe is he talking to the teacher? Maybe. maybe like, I can I can see that maybe if like they knew somebody in there. Oh, he come. Okay, because I was like that. <laughs> Just imagine you come in the room like I'm here to say bye. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, then maybe he has a friend in there or he's friends with the teacher. Maybe. Okay, I because I've done that a few times before. Like I've popped my head and like um. Like if I'm in if I'm on my way to another class and like one of my old teachers that I really liked. I'm like passing by their classroom and if the door is open, like I'm not going to open a closed door, but usually the doors will be open while everyone's, you know, going in between classes. So I'd like pop in like, hey, so like, hey, Miss Owen or something like that. Oh, really? So even the teacher's telling him to go away? Oh, then he's just doing it to be a butt. <laughs> he's just doing it. Because we also had kids like that, like especially some of the popular kids would do that. They would just like bombard, like they would just come in. It was so weird. Like these like redneck guys would just like bombard through the room like, hey. And the teacher like, be like, I love you, but you gotta get the frick out, <laughs> you know. So they they were mostly coming in to say hi to their teacher. Usually, sometimes though they would come in to say hi to their friends. And then that was when the teachers would be like, Y'all need to get out. <laughs> Y'all ain't even even in my class. Get the heck out. And it would always be the same group of boys too. It was always weird. I didn't know all their names. I think one of them was Colton something i forgot it but yeah it was always one of those those kids uh let's see we told him to go away every single day <laughs> yeah he's just probably targeted yeah what if he does it i wonder if he does it to everybody actually like just any random like room he goes and just says hi it's like his daily ritual like i must say hi to some random people Okay, it doesn't look like much right now. 
But it will when I crochet. Actually, I'm going to make the jaw first. That'll be the easier part. Oh my god. We've been here for an hour and a half and I only barely got the... Not even fully the head done, just the head part. Okay, where is the jaw? Well, the jaw should be easy, though. I just make a square and then I go in the back loops and do a little bit of single crochet. It's more, it's going to be a lot of sewing. Oh, he just does it just to your class? Then he's, he's picked y'all as his victim. <laughs> Y'all are his target, and he's just like... Imagine if he just did, like, you know, like, to all the classes, they just, like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, And, or unless... Is it possible maybe there's someone in there he doesn't maybe know, but, like, maybe has a crush on? I can kind of see how some people would do that, maybe. Like, as a way to, like, kind of get their crush's attention. And my bro who takes the same transport as him tells me that he keeps asking whether he could touch her hair. And I'm like, what the heck? Oh my god, I see. I was right. He's got, he's got something. Whether it's a crush or an obsession. Something like that. With somebody. And touch her. Oh, is that like the teacher's hair? Because I didn't know who her. Was it her like another student in there? Or is it the, the teacher? Oh, that'd be so creepy too. Like the, the student just comes up to the teacher like, hey, can I touch your hair? Ugh. But that is creepy as heck. Oh, your bro's hair. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny, actually. <laughs> he just comes up and be like, I know, right? Especially on public transport. You don't want that happening on public transportation. Oh my god, just imagine you're just like chilling on the bus, minding your own business. Someone comes like, hey, can I touch your hair? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Well, I hope your brother has really, really nice hair. <laughs> They're like, oh, that'd be just too, that's too much. Well, oh, that reminds me of the time, like, when I would, uh, take the BART to go to the, to see my chiropractor. <sighs> all because, all because we swapped an appointment to be at 10 in the morning because of that. I had a stalker for the rest of my time. I had, I went to the chiropractor. And the worst part, it was a high school kid too. And I felt so bad because like, I think, I'm not quite sure. I, I think he said he had autism, I think. Cause I think he's the one who told me this. But yeah, he definitely had something going on mentally. And it was, I felt so bad. Cause like at the same time, I just know, like this is not a normal guy who knows he's, you know, this is like someone with mental health issues, so it's like, I don't want to be mean to them, because they might not be able to help it, you know? And, like, he would just always follow me around. I had to actually start taking a different route to the chiropractor. Like, I would get off the bus, and I'd go down a different street really quick to get out, like, and then, like, go through corners and stuff to, like, avoid him. Because, like, their class would get out, basically. Because, like, all the students would take the bar to go back to homes. Um, it's just like, ugh. What a time. And it doesn't help the guy was a giant too. He was huge. Like he was really tall. Really big. It was funny. I actually would not have thought he was a high school student. I thought he was a college student to be honest. But yeah, he was one of those kiddos that like really hit puberty early. Not early. I guess he was like maybe a senior in high school. But like they just look like adults, you know? Like they don't look like a kid. Uh... Oh, she's an introvert and makes her feel uncomfortable so that he keeps on asking every single time. Oh, no. I I would imagine, yeah. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did six already. Okay. But, yeah, like, is there any way they can take another bus, maybe? I don't know. Oh, because I would do that, too, sometimes. Like, so, I would actually sit back and watch the BART uh, bus stop. Not bus stop, but, like, the BART stop. And I would, like, watch... And wait for the kids to come out. And if I saw him. Because I mean he stood out like a sore thumb. He was a really big dude. And uh, like really tall. And so I just watch. And he got on that one. And then I would just wait. Finally when that would go off. I would just wait and um, get on the next one. Which really sucked because sometimes it took like 20 minutes for the next one to come. But you know what. I wasn't in a rush. So I would just be like. You know. That was at least the good thing. Was I didn't have to worry about like being late for something. Like, I at least had the ability to, like, hang back and wait for the next one. Let me see. There was actually a time I was actually on one early. He did. Then he got on last second, and I dipped off at the last second, too. I felt mad, too, because I wasted two bucks. 
Let me see. Uh, oh, wait. So, that, oh, it's a van that transport picks them up from their home. Oh, that sucks. I was thinking, like, it's like a. They just happen to ride the same bus or something or subway system. Um, they're the exact opposites. We all look like 14 year olds and we're almost all adults as seniors. I know, right? I actually. Because, like, I do. Like, when I was in high school. Um. And when I got to be a senior, like, I would notice, like, a lot of the kids, like, man, these freshmen look really young. I was like, did we look this young? Here's the thing, though. Whenever I would look through the yearbooks, though, the kids actually legit looked older. Like, and then when I, you know, and especially when I was younger, there, when I was in the eighth grade, there was this dude who I legit thought looked like a high schooler. And when I look back at that old photo, he still looked like a high schooler. Like, my perception hasn't changed. I do feel like kids are looking a bit younger these days. And, um, my mom did say, like, a while back, they used to put, like, what, hormones in the chickens? And I think they stopped that, and that's probably why kids are probably looking more their proper age now, actually. And that's why kids back then looked a lot older. Like, kids would hit puberty much earlier back then. And just looked, especially when you look at, like, 1950s, uh, like, yearbooks. Like, yes, on one hand, it, it is the style made them look older. But then when I try to really look at their face, their face just doesn't look as young as, you know, the kids these days. Like, they have... The kids these days have much more of a baby face. And I do kind of wonder, is, is it because, like, humans are, like, you know, we're living longer, right? So does that mean maybe the youth is getting extended a little bit? Which, actually, I would think would be a good thing. I would actually would love to look younger for much longer, honestly. Oh, you just turned, oh, you just turned 17 days ago. Oh, congratulations. Because now, I, well, I don't know. I know in the U.S. you would be considered an adult, but I didn't know, like, what... You know, some, I think, what, Korea is like 19? Though, I mean, technically it is 18 because they add the whole one year thing. So, the person is technically 18, but they, on paper, they're 19. You know what I mean? But, like, I know some countries have, like, different ages for, like, when you're considered an adult or something. But, happy birthday. Let me make sure I did. Oh, it's supposed to be only one single crochet. Let's see. I was about to put a triple crochet for some for some reason. Oh, Rebecca's like, huh? Oh, wait, are you meaning, like, the whole Korea thing? Like, um... Because, like, Korea... Actually, wait, I take that back. I think 20 is their adult age, now that I think about it. Oh, so it is actually 19. Because, technically, when you're, nine, when you're physically 19 years old, you're considered 20 in Korea. I know it's a whole mess of thing. It's, it's because they count the nine months you're in your mom's uh, womb, basically. They count, they count that, actually. Like, they count that as you are... So when you're born, you're technically already one years old. That's how they that's how they uh, think of it. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense in a way. Like, I mean, you were a living, breathing thing. It's not like you're not any of any age. But, like, yeah, you know, we consider you zero years old when you're born. Oh no, why is it hiding it? No, show it. Ah, stupid YouTube. No offense, but Koreans are strange. They do have a lot of weird stuff. That gets so confusing. Here's the fun part, though. You can use it to your advantage, though. When I was 20, so you know, like, 21 is our drinking age in America, right? Um, but I was considered 20. Well, their drinking, their drinking age was... 20 already anyway because their, their drinking age is a flat out 20 which i think that would be proper i don't know why they add the 20 the one more year for america honestly it's so weird like just make it baseline 20 right just make it a flat 20 that's so much easier um so when i was 19 i'm basically considered i can drink in korea basically so i was considered 21 when i was in korea so i was already a year ahead of being able allowed to drink and the best part is they don't care about um, the months or dates. They just care about the year you were born. And I think that makes that so much easier. Because, you know, like, when you, in America, you have to, like, hand your idea. They got to, like, check, like, oh, what month and day is it? Like, did you turn 18 yet? And Korea's, like, just the year you become that age, that's the year you can do that thing. And it's just so much easier to check, I feel like. Because, I mean, what's, like, say you're going to turn, what, 21 in a month. And then, you know, technically you're not allowed to drink, right? What's that month going to change? Not some drastic maturity is not going to come over you, right? Like, nothing's going to really change at all. <laughs> so it's kind of stupid. Uh, then it should be nine months. 
I know, right? No woman can be pregnant for 12 months. I know, right? There was also... It had something to do with, um... Also, the whole New Year's thing. Because also, that's another thing. In, in Korea, like, the Lunar New Year. Not, like, the regular unit, but the, you know, Chinese uh, Lunar New Year kind of thing. That's, like, the big birthday everyone becomes one year older or something. That's how... I think that's why they considered it. Yeah, that's a, that was a funny thing, too. Because, technically, if you were born before the New Year... It would actually be considered two years old after the new year. It's so weird, right? Like, you're just barely a baby, and you're like, yep, they're two years old. Like, it was really weird. <laughs> I don't know how they get away with it, honestly. Let me see. The drinking part doesn't affect me because I don't drink or smoke. That's true. I didn't really drink much either. But when I went to Korea by myself, I did want to try it out. Because, you know, like, I was one of those kids who never did any, like, bad stuff as a teen. Like, never go out drinking or smoking or whatever, partying. So I was like, you know what, I'm such an introvert, but I do need to try what it's like to be an extrovert just for once. And also, you know, you had to be like, what, that's the age to get into a club? Because I went through, the, actually the real reason I went to the pub crawls was because one was to meet a pen pal of mine. And actually the second pub crawl I did um, when I was staying at the hostel, uh, that was kind of, kind of, was kind of coerced into that one, actually. I wasn't going to even go because I already had my little drinking experience going what it's like to go to a club and I was like yeah that is not for me oh my god but the owner of the hostel like this is like this is their own thing they organize and he was like you should go you should really go and the only reason why I went was because my trip was ending soon and it had rained all day so I didn't go out anywhere I just stayed at the hostel all day so I thought you know what if I do at least I'm doing something you know as the last part of this trip right because I didn't do anything at all today because I felt kind of bad so it was just raining so much, I couldn't go out. <laughs> it was like right at smack in the middle of monsoon season. And actually, because of that, that's how I met Jung. So it's almost like a guardian angel was telling uh, the Mr. Kim guy, like, you need to tell that girl to go. She's got to go out to that pub crawl. She needs to go out to meet her future husband. That's what I like to think of as now. Because if I didn't go out, I would never have met Jung. Isn't that so crazy? I wasn't going to even go. I even told the guy, like, like two times, like, nah, I just don't really feel like going out. And then he just, like, convinced me, like, you really should go out. It's so, now what I think about it, it's, like, so funny. Like, oh, my God, was he, like, a guardian, secretly a guardian angel telling me what to do? <laughs> I know, right, what, uh, let's see. In the UK, you can drink at the age of 18. I don't drink or smoke it. What the, it's really strange. I know, right, destiny. I know, right, because if I didn't, I would never have met Jung. I would never have lived in San Francisco. And what else? I would, like, probably still be in Memphis, probably. Which, I mean, wouldn't be that bad because I would be with my family. But it would be sad to know I never met my boba. <laughs> and I probably would have never made this YouTube channel either. Or it would be very different, I think. I'm trying to think, did I make a YouTube back then before I met Jung? I was planning on it, but it would not have been that great, though. Because, you know, living in a big family, like, it's always noisy. There was really no spot to, like, be alone and crochet, you know, like. Which is not bad if I'm just, you know, crocheting for crocheting. You know, that's fine to be in the family. But if you want to be, like, like, make a YouTube video, right? You can't have a lot of noise and stuff. Why does it keep hiding? Oh, my God, YouTube, stop. YouTube is being cray-cray. Let me see, in Hungary, you can give permission to have the naughtiest <gasps> at the age of 14? What? Oh, that's probably why it held it for review. <laughs> Dang. And you even, like, spelt it differently so it wouldn't get caught. And then it still caught it. The heck? You can have the naughties at age pedophilia. Oh, that's awful, man. Because, like, they're two completely different things, right? That sucks how they think like that. That actually kind of worries me, like, then how many people who were just trying to love another person of their same gender got in trouble and got labeled as that? Like, that's awful. Let me see, my uncle is 20! Oh, that's, oh, that's right, is this the, the aunt you were talking about who had, a, like, a lot of kids? I remember you were talking about that. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Show. Oh my god. YouTube mod is like holding everything for review. Oh my goodness. I'm having to tap like show this, show that. 
I know they're on all dumb people, honestly. They all, yeah, that's like a dumb rule. Hopefully that will change in the future though, because it does seem like slowly over the world, it's like slowly getting more and more normal, I guess. Like not like thinking more rationally. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I would imagine that house would be loud. I mean, like, basically, every day is like a house party, basically, at that house of all 22 people. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, this is where I... Back loops. Eight times. Okay, single crochet eight times. Because this kind of makes, like, the upper part of the lip or something that I'm going to put the teeth behind. It will come once, I'm sure. Yeah, because even Korea is, like, changing, right? Like, Korea was really big against homosexuality for a long time. But now it's, like, things are changing and stuff. And, like, even one of my favorite YouTubers, like, would do interviews with, like, Korean, uh, like, drag queens and stuff. To, like, to show, like, hey, like, these are just normal people. They're just doing what they love. They're not hurting nobody. You know, to, like, kind of spread the message and, like, the culture slowly changing. And, actually, like, there's kind of, like, less tire parents now. Right? Like, actually, hog ones are a little bit more or less strict than they used to be. Because, actually, when my, uh, my husband said when he was a kid, hog ones is funny, right? Like, you're paying the school to teach your kid. They actually had permission from the parents to actually spank the kids if they did bad on a test or something. Or, like, did bad, got a bad score or something on their test in school. Like, what? Yeah, like, the hog ones would see what you did in school, like, the public school. They would actually see your test scores, and if you did low, they could they could actually punish you physically if they wanted to. Like he said, it was awful. Nowadays, they they couldn't do that legally at all. It was so dumb. I think, but it was really weird because for his school, they actually said, "Don't tell your parents." Like so, actually, his parents had no idea that was going on. Like some hog ones, they would ask the parents, would be like, "Yeah, you can do that," but others would be like, "They would just do it without even asking the parent." It was like, so freaking creepy, honestly. So, thankfully, slowly things are changing, though. <sighs> Just when we think things were getting more peaceful, Russia would be like, nope, peace was not an option. That was sad, too, because I actually found out about the whole thing with Ukraine. Um, Through a stream, actually, through Slummy Log. I think if you might remember, right? Uh, Stranger Danger, uh, they were the, like, the um, first people to, he was like the first person to raid me on Twitch. But yeah, I was in one of his streams, and they were talking to me like, one of his viewers is from Ukraine. He's like, oh, this was before it got really bad, too. Like, it was just at the beginning, like, just the, what, they were outside Ukraine or something, like, the soldiers. So it's, like, impending what might happen. So he's like, I'm really sorry about all the things going on in Ukraine. I'm like, what's going on in Ukraine? Because I, I don't watch TV, so usually most of my news I get will usually be in the YouTube recommended. Because usually when something, you know, national happens, I usually get it in, it'll be like the top part of YouTube, right? I got nothing. I have to like research, I have to like Google it each time because I, no matter how many video, news videos I've been watching, it's not showing up in any of my recommendeds or anything. It's really strange. It's almost like they don't want you to see it. Which is really weird because like, isn't that the whole point of news is like, to like, for you to watch it? I don't know. But my YouTube's being weird. I know, right? And, um, what do you call it? One of my, uh, favorite YouTubers, uh, I don't know, do you might know Rebecca? She's like the, I think her name is Carolina, I think. She's like the, uh, girl who does, like, the, all the, like, vintage stuff. Uh, like, the meme mom. I love her. She's so funny. Um, uh, but she's Polish. And, uh, a lot of people are concerned about, like, if, you you know if russia did take over ukraine then basically russia will be on poland's doorstep and i'm like that's scary like what if they try to invade poland next like how awful would that be like they better not honestly and i'm like everyone like you know like poland's just being a real mvp right now like man they're like just like taking everybody in with open arms like even if they don't have a passport i was really happy to hear that because i would imagine how scary that is like you know you don't have a passport <laughs> And you can't get over the border, but they're like, you know what? We don't care, fam. You you can come. <laughs> I know, right? He's the most hated person. Actually, it was funny. I saw like someone put like what a picture of a cobra in front of uh, Putin's face. They should have put a rat though, cause they kind of do low key look like a rat in the face. Oh, that's what I call him. I call him Rat Face. <laughs> I know. Something in wars that there's never winners. I know, right? 
All the people commanding this war are all, all safe and freaking cozy. And they're like little mansions. And it's always the, you know, it's always the common people who always get, you know, I was about to say bitten. <laughs> always get the brunt of it, basically, every time. They're the ones who suffer the most. And I know, right, like, we're only doing military buildings. And then you see footage of them actually attack. They're act they were actually targeting, like, what, the kindergartens and stuff? You know, and um, apartments and crap? Like, yeah, you're lying out of your, lying straight through your teeth, man. And those demands when he's like, if you follow these before he started super attacking or something, he's like, if you follow my demands, I won't do this. Like, I just thought, if they just gave him to the demands, he's gonna invade anyway. Like, it's so stupid. Did you think anyone would actually believe him? Oh yeah, because you're really close to that, aren't you, Stranger Danger? I know it's really scary with the uh, country next door, because I think Hungary is really close to that, right? Okay. Let's see, so the gel we put right there, but I need to make the teeth first, which is just... You just chain five. Actually, I want to do something a little different, though. I actually, I'm going to try to make a chain instead. Oh, yeah, I finally found out what this is called. Because, you know, like, there was the eye cord, right? The eye cord is, like, really finicky. But then there was, like, this other cool thing where you can use the tail. And make a cord that way. It's called the double chain cord. I finally have a name for it now. And better, best yet, I even found out the, uh... There was a name for it in Korean too, so I was really happy about that. Cause I always got worried about my when I translate, like what to call this. Like you know, I have like all the general terms and stuff, but I was always worried when it got to more specialized, like things like this. Like what would I call this? But thankfully, I found it. It's called um, I forgot what it was called, but it was like sasulduki something. Uh, basically the word for double, and then just sasulduki. I'm like, thank God. <laughs> Oh, it's right next to us. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Yikes. And I would imagine it'd be really hard to concentrate on school during this time. I know, it's really sad too. Like, you know, in the very beginning, right, they were just telling everyone to sit tight, don't leave. When really, they should have just been, they really should have just been leaving at that point. Because then, you know, you could have maybe brought more stuff with you. Stuff from your apartment, like... Near the end, people just had to, like, run out and get, like, they probably left, you know, precious things like photo albums and stuff, like, memorabilia that you can't ever replace. I hope people got to bring some of that with them, because that's, like, the more heartbreaking thing. Like, sure, TVs and sofas and furniture can all get replaced eventually, but, like, things like baby photos or, like, just family photos, family heirlooms, like, that can cannot be replaced. So I'm hoping people got to take as much as that they could with them, but I know some of them probably didn't. I know, right? I can't get enough stress from what school, from, from the school, like, I know, that must be terrifying. Oh my god, like a magpie just like flew near, flew near the window. Every time, so often, I'll think they're gonna smash into the window, but then they fly right upward, and I'm like, oh, thank god. And I'm like thinking, man, it's still going on? I, I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. Thing. Like meaning like it didn't get take over like yet like it wasn't like a swift quick takeover, right? So it does show there's resistance, but at the same time you would like be like, oh my god, is it done yet? You know? Like Russia, stop. Ugh. And it's even sadder too, is the people are super against it and they're getting arrested if you you know shout out against it, which is really scary. I think I'm gonna try to keep this a bit easier and I'm gonna just glue this in for today. Cause I usually sew it in, but it takes a while. So let me try to glue this real quick. Got my handy handy hot glue gun. I honestly don't know where I would Probably most of my stuff I would just not be able to make if I didn't have a hot glue gun, to be honest. Though, I mean, like, if this was bigger, I probably wouldn't need the hot glue gun really that much. It'd be easier to sew, you know, stuff on, but... When stuff is this tiny, it's just so annoying to sew. Okay. Hmm. 
Ah, shoot. I was, that's the problem too, is like these nails <laughs> are giving me heck. And why does my phone keep turning off? I hate that. Oh yeah, because Russians don't want to fight either, but they don't have a choice. I know, right? I know, it's the iconic Haku gun. Honestly, I should have made like a Haku gun emoji. I might do that for the future. Um, make for Twitch. Because I definitely do want to make some of my own emojis. But I thought, you know what? Because I was actually thinking in the future to make some Corgi emojis. But I'm like, I'm not very good at like doing animals and stuff. And, you know, since I saw this, I'm like, you know what? Let's just get them. Let's... Because I actually had no idea. I had a bunch of open slots. I was like, what? I had all these open... Because before, I only had one slot available, right? And I put my coffee emoji in there. And I thought it was going to take a long time. I thought I had to have 15 subs at the same time to open the next slot. That's how it looked, right? And apparently, no. I, have, I had four more slots open. I was like, what? I was really confused, and I have I even have one more. I have an animated slot open now too. I thought the animated animated emojis were for the partners. I was like, what? And or maybe like a really high standing affiliates. I do I did I did know some affiliates could get the animated emoji, but I thought that was like you had to be like a really high standing affiliate or something. Ah oh, crap! I have no hot glue. I forgot about that. I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, where is the lip? Gotta be quick though. Oh shoot, that like little tidbit didn't get any glue. I need to try to put some under there. There we go. Oh, this is actually easier than sewing. It was really annoying having to sew this on. Actually, before I do, I'm going to embroider the nostrils on. That way, I can know like which way is looking up. Because when the not when I like embroider the nostrils, I can kind of see better, like what's the up part of the face and what's the lower part of the face. So that way, I don't accidentally sew the jaw upside down, or like I sew I sew it upside down on the head or something. Let me see. I'm so close to finishing the space ring. It's so close. To be done yet so far. I know I was saying for this right, like this is what I've been filming for the tutorial, and it's like he just needs the legs, he just needs the the tail's really easy. I gotta do all this though, the panels and stuff. When oh, I gotta do the reins, but that's just a French knot, so that's nothing to really crochet. And I'm like, I'm almost done. But at the same time, always like I definitely do need to get a better way about filming. Uh, I do, I'm going to try to see to work with some of these angles of my thing to see if maybe I can get a better angle that way when I uh, make a crochet video it won't be so stressful. There we go, got the little snout. Yikes. That does happen sometimes. Ah, oh, see this problem is they kinda pulled this a wee bit too tight. 
I've been thinking about making a comic lately, but he he schools thing. I know that's true. I would I, oh my god, when I was younger, I would I thought <laughs> I thought I was going to make I was going to this you know like illustrate and write a manga that will help pay for school, so I wouldn't need to take out loans. Oh my god, my wishful thinking back then. Not to mention how much time it takes to make a comic. Like, yikes. But that, like, you could always maybe do, like, a webtoon kind of thing. Because I think, because I've had people, like, my favorite comics, like, they would might, you know, like, maybe they would have something going on in their life. So they would, like, take a break. And that's pretty common on, um, like, webtoon. I think. I think that a problem comes in is when you actually get what... This is the sad part. It's like when you actually start making money. Is when you get, like, what's sponsored by somebody, I think. And then you have deadlines. And then you have to panic. Um. I was also learning how to sew so I can make dolls for myself. Oh, heck yeah. Man, though, I hate sewing. <laughs> I know. That. But I have, I've actually heard some, though, um... Some, uh, like, some crochets actually do like the sewing part. Actually, to me, the sewing part was not that bad when it was bigger crochet. But when it's, like, small crochet, it is kind of fiddly because, you know, I'm trying to sew something and then I drop it. That's what I think I get annoyed about. But when I had actually, I actually wasn't that annoyed by sewing when I was doing, like, the bigger plushies, actually. Oh, wait, like, League? Not the actual dolls? <laughs> Oh yeah, that was you five years ago. I know, right? Oh, my naivety. I thought I like... Because people are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get a part-time job to pay for college. I'm like, well, I'm going to draw manga. And I'm going to have that pay for all my school. Like, even if I successfully made one, like, would that have been enough to actually pay for a school in America? Probably not. Oh yeah, lace making, yeah. I need to get into that, honestly, because, like, that would be really cool for some trimmings, because, um, oh, you're back, Rebecca, what's up? We finally got the jaw done, and we just gotta put it on now. Uh, before I do, I'm gonna sew in the eyes. Let's make the eyes real quick, because it looks really weird without eyes. The eyes are easy, though, it's just five single crochet in the magic circle. I know there's so many activities where there's only one me. <laughs> like back in the day, uh, when I thought in five years I'm going to write a book and be a great author. And now five years later, I'm trying to find a green nail polish to paint eyes for crochet. <laughs> but I mean, oh, that's right, because probably five years ago you didn't crochet, did you? Honestly, I would take that as like an upgrade though, because like, hey, you know how to crochet now. And, like, it's, like, our little, especially, especially, I think, when people do amigurumi, it feels like a little superpower, almost, because, like, I don't know, because there's some people who can crush, like, really beautiful clothes, and I'm just, like, oh, my God, like, when I go on Instagram, I see all these, like, beautiful, because, like, back in, like, what, the 2010 era, I tried also making clothes, but back then, anything I found online looked kind of weird or wonky, like, it did look like that kind of super homemade, kind of wonky, like, your grandma made, kind of, um, like crocheted crop tops back then were not that great looking, but now on Instagram I'm seeing people making these really gorgeous crop tops. They look like they could be store bought, honestly. I think partially though is because the yarn, because back then everything I was finding it was all done in like that Red Heart Save um, Super Saver yarn, and that really just did not look great for clothing. Not to mention it's kind of scratchy too. Well, some some of the colors would be soft though. It's really weird. Um. But then when you see, like, a really high-quality yarn, and you see, like, someone did, like, some kind of, like, I think it was the alpaca stitch. Like, I remember Devon Rose Knight was doing an alpaca stitch for her sweater. Or cardigan, I think. Yeah, cardigan. And they were using that same stitch for, like, this really cute crop top. And I was just like, it looks so professional. I want to make that. But I also don't have the patience to make clothing. <laughs> Let's see, I, oh, you just, you just started last year, right? See, you're up, you got upgraded, actually. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one more. Uh-oh, the phone's about to turn off. No, don't turn off. I don't know why it's like, 
because like the chat's rolling by so technically wouldn't that count as activity on the phone but the phone's like yep no we're gonna go to sleep <laughs> I was like, I wrote three books, just started my fourth one. Oh yeah, that's like my friend, my friend Elena likes to write, like writes a lot of stories a lot. She even published, um, because you know, thanks to Amazon, like you could actually start publishing. Maybe you could do that too, Rebecca, because I think Amazon, you can get stuff in Amazon right through, uh, in the UK, right? Oh, I don't, I don't think it matters about if you can get it or not, but like, they have this thing where you can publish books now on there. And that's how she published her first, uh, first book on there was through Amazon, actually. Like, it was a physical book, too. Like, it wasn't just a digital book. Um, I know, like, Rebe Rebecca's like, Well, Rebecca, you're on fire! Yeah, closing does take a long time. <laughs> I know, I love, to, I love design clothes on paper, but not interested in actually making them. I know, right? Like, there's a dude I watch his um, YouTube shorts. I think his name's Gunther. My god, the man's a sewing genius. Like, he's really good at it. But at the same time, I'm just like, when I watch it, when people, like, sew stuff, you see, like, the patterns, and it's a lot of cutting out of stuff, right? And ma making it work all together. Like, how do they make it so cohesive? Because when I used to try to do that, because my grandma would sew, and she would try to teach me how to sew, my stuff would look come out looking all wonky. I mean, to be fair, I was a kid back then. But at the same time, it's like, you have to, like, per how, like how do you get these things to all match up so perfectly? Because it's like... It was so hard to keep this, you know, thing really nice and even when you, um, so, I guess, you know, years of practice probably would help. But, like, always, when I see, like, man, hats off to those people. I actually used to think clothing in stores were, like, sewn by robots because of how perfect the seams were. I had no idea these were all from people, which actually makes me sad. And at the same time, it's like, man, those people have, like, a really good skill. Like, that, if they would just break out of that, like, they could probably be their own fashion designer maybe because they their sewing skills are so good they could be like a tailor or seamstress in another country and actually make a good living wage but nope they're stuck in their country doing like slave wages basically or sweatshop wages and it's just so sad because they sew way better than ever i could imagine i know right yeah you should start selling your books yeah see it because even if you don't want to publish like a physical book like you know most people read you know digital books these days because of tablets and stuff or just even on our phone like you just have to like put it all together in a pdf basically i know i need to get myself on that to just do that to my patterns that's my problem is this thing is kind of hard to take out there we go now let me do a f actually let me do the other eye first because that way I can make sure they're the same size because I've had eyes where like one was bigger and the other one was smaller which is not too bad for a Fortnite Lulama honestly oh wait I need it to be a magic ring and I kind of feel bad about like I haven't, that I haven't put the Fortnite Lulama, uh, pattern out, because now I feel like, I probably Fortnite's, little, I don't know, did Fortnite get a revive because of the new map? I need to play it too, I need to finish my battle pass, because I, I think, what, the season ends in the 19th, and I haven't played it for like a month, maybe a month and a half, actually. <sighs> I've just been, like, doing a ton of crochet lately so that's why i haven't even gone on the uh, computer and even when i stream i've been streaming some nautica <laughs> oh and i do need to get back to horizon zero dawn it says stranger danger i haven't really gone i kind of like dropped off a while back when was my last uh horizon zero dawn stream that that was was that even before the new year and i don't know i gotta recheck I like how people think crocheting is mainly clothes, and then they're just me who's sketching out the idea and crocheting a small gadding gun. I know, right? I know, Amagurumi just really, really helped give crochet that, like, extra push to, like, I think make it even more popular. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because, like, cause I think that's the thing. It's, like, even if you're really good at the making the clothes, like, just how many... I think if you're selling them, though, you can kind of endlessly make all kinds of different clothing, right? But it's so much cuter when you can make things for like like characters. I think this one it brings a whole new life to it because you're actually making adorable little characters. Like like my little cute penguins, right? Those are like my OC characters. They're so cute. I never made the camping ones either. I need to make that before I move. Actually, I think. Oh, <gasps> you got a 98 of 99. Heck yeah! Yeah, see, you got you got a good mark. 
I suck at taking tests. Let me see. Oh, has a second part now on PlayStation, I think. Oh, I mean, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, yeah. I know, I just saw that came out. I didn't know it came out already. Because when I was, um, one of my favorite crochet streamers is 9.5 on Twitch. And, oh my gosh, she's just like my sister Katie. Like, I know what my sister Katie's gonna be like as a middle-aged mom now. <laughs> but yeah, she's one of my favorite. And, um, just one night, she kept getting raided by people who were playing either Forbidden West or regular Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, three different people all in the same time. Like, she got raided... Three times in a row, not like, you know, bam, 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 right? Like, this person raids, and then maybe like three minutes later, this person raids, and then like, another like, hour later, this person raids, and like, it was all, the first person was, I think, regular Horizon Zero Dawn, and then the last two people, I think, were like, Forbidden West. It was like, dang, she's like, it was so funny, she's like, dang, all the Horizon Zero Dawn people be raiding me tonight. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm like, dang it, I actually, because I, I I think I had raided her that night too. I'm like, oh man, if I was playing her since they were done, I could have raided her. With that, but uh, I would. I think I was playing some. I can't remember. Was I crocheting that night, or was I playing some Nautica? I think I was crocheting. Yeah, that's. I think that's when I did the first, the first strawberry cow, or not first, like the first part. So I made it a two-parter. I know, right? We are doing. I know, right? Cause, like tests are always like. Can always be like very like anxiety ridden and everything. Uh, da, da, da. uh oh, why does this eye look funky? Okay, never mind. Just the back bump was like sticking out. I was like, what happened? How do they look in size? Oh no, this one's bigger. Let me do another one then. That one's. I would rather have a bigger eye than a smaller eye because, like, you know, he's got big. You know, buggy eyes, basically. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can make this one more of a similar size. Yeah, I think I made the other one. I crocheted it too tightly, so it was, like, too small. I try to crochet this one a little bit looser. Four and five. There we go. Oh, and I kind of want to play like what Dead by Daylight. It's been a long time since I played Dead by Daylight. Ah, oh, that was always so much fun when me and Tito would play Dead by Daylight. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I still like the time when he, uh, we both actually were. He sacrificed himself to save everybody, the team. And I actually went back to get him, and I actually got him, but then, um, he got, because of the other character, like, the other survivor, they freaked us over, and, like, they were, because instead of staying at the gate, they ran back for something, and he, they basically ended up bringing the killer toward us, and then Tito got downed again, and then I ended up dying, and I'm like, and then we ended up actually losing. Because the other survivor had brought the killer over to us. Like, we were almost done. All we had to do was just sneak out. Okay, let's get this one in. Plus, also, I haven't played Planet Zoo in a while. I need to get back into Planet Zoo. That's, that's definitely the one thing, though. Because, like, probably... Hmm, I'm actually thinking how long I probably... Because I'm thinking... If I do Sundays only, then basically, not next Sunday because that's when Jung visits, but the Sunday after would basically be the last live stream for here because then the weekend after we're moving. But I'm thinking I might try to stream during the weekday, I think. Because so I want to do a couple more YouTube streams before we move here. You know, when I stream on Twitch, I'm streaming at the computer desk, but when I stream on here, you know, I'm streaming at my, uh, my lovely crochet spot. And I think it's good to make more memories before we move. Let me have a quick sip. Uh oh, I'm getting low on coffee. Look at that. We're almost out. I'm going to make some more in a minute. Okay, now time to put the French knot. That's the best part. 
Wait, do you know the game Plants vs. Zombies Garden Welfare? I've seen that. I've never played it, though. I've seen, like, the... Because that was really popular a while a while back, wasn't it? Was that a computer game or a phone game? Because I would always see, like, the little advertisements on YouTube or, like, in, um... I think you did, but, you yeah, like, I think you asked it, like, a really long time ago. <laughs> but, yeah, I never played it. Uh, was it fun? I forgot what it was supposed to be like, actually. Because someone said it was, like, another... Similar similar to another game I've played. Wait, is it a computer game? If it's a computer game, maybe eventually I can actually get it for... And stream it. Oh, PC and console? Okay. Okay, so it's not a phone game. I don't know why I thought it was a phone game. Maybe because of the way it's all cutesy, I guess. It kind of looks like it could pass as a phone game. Um, but yeah, I wonder if people stream that. I'm gonna see if how many people stream that actually. Cause you be like, there be times where I think nobody plays this game anymore, right? And then you actually go and a lot of people are streaming it. Like, wow. And then there's a game that you would think people would be like, surely people are streaming this game, right? And then nobody's streaming it. That's another thing too. I think right now would actually be a good time to get back into Horizon Zero Dawn because all of a sudden a lot of people are streaming it. Cause before. Not many people were streaming Horizon Zero Dawn, I feel, I feel like. And I think because of the Forbidden West, people are doing, like, both now. They're doing, if they have Forbidden West, then they're doing that one. And if they have Horizon, then they're just doing regular Horizon Zero Dawn, which is what I'll be doing, because I don't have Forbidden West. I'm going to wait till that thing goes on sale. I am not buying that at full price. I never, I, we try to never really buy a game at full price. Oh, I think Jung said there's, like, kind of some kind of sale, though. Is it a summer sale? Uh, when does Steam usually have those big game sales? I know, like, they had one during Christmas, and I think they had one during Halloween. Yeah, that's how I got Devour for cheaper, I think, was during the Halloween sale. Oh, it is a phone game. Okay. It's a phone game, but it's also a game for PC. Oh, yeah, like Among Us, basically, because, like, Among Us is a phone game, but it's also a PC game. Which is funny, right? Because like the PC, like the PC one, you had to buy, like it only was just a couple bucks, right? It was like what three ninety nine, I think. But uh, like for phone though, it's free. And now we have, oh yeah, I we even bought Among Us, and I have yet to play that actually, or like stream it. I need to play that. Oh, but actually, if you want like a free PC, like Among Us similar type of game, a uh, Goose Goose Duck. Is really fun. Actually, it's like really cute too. It's like, like uh, I think there's like different like maps and stuff. But one of the maps is like in this like mansion, and it just gives me Clue vibes. I don't know if you've ever played the board game Clue, but it feels like it. But it's like basically Among Us play, and it's so cute. It's basically like murderous ducks and goose or something. I forgot which one's the killer. If the goose was the killer or if the duck was the killer, but it's really cute and it's free. They basically make their money. It's kind of like Fortnite, right? Like, it's free to play, but you... If you want to get extra skins and stuff, like little... Like little, um... Customizations for your ducks. Uh... That is where they make their money. I mean, there's some... But there's, that's the thing, though. They actually have some options, like some... Lower tier, like, you know, accessories that you can actually get by just playing the game, right? Like, you get, like, a... In-game... Currency that you earn from playing the game. And then they have the other, you know, the other currency you have to buy. With the real money. Wait, Plants vs. Uh, zombies without the Garden Warfare is the original game. Ah, okay. Oh, you don't like Among Us? That's what I mean. You might like Goose Goose Duck. I think it's called Goose. Yeah. It's like, you know, technically it's supposed to be like, what, Duck Duck Goose, right? Like the game. Like the old childhood game, but they reversed it. So now it's Goose Goose Duck. And yeah, I think the duck is the imposter, basically. But it was a lot more... It was actually really cute. And you can make your duck fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's so adorable. Uh, me and Tito played that with, uh, I think we played that with Queen, yeah, Queen's MJ, like, for her, yeah, during her birthday stream. Yeah, that was really cute. <gasps> oh, yeah, all the hype made you hate the game. I know, that sucks, too, because really, it's just some people who made, like, what, an indie game, basically, and it just somehow got popular. <laughs> But I think for me, well, the things I liked, though, about uh, Among Us was all the memes that came out of it. <laughs> so many del delicious memes came from that, you know?
And I think that's what I always like about like things when they do get popular is like all the memes. Whoa, what was that? I just heard a really loud pop. Uh, I might go check on that. I'm really hoping it was the door, because, you know, some it's been getting really windy lately, you know, when you have, like, a window open, how the door, like, you just barely touch the door and it slams, that's what I'm hoping that it was. Let me, um, I'm gonna go check on that, hold on. I'm gonna put, uh, this here, because I, I also have to use the restroom really quick, too. <laughs> Let me write out coffee and restroom break. I might as well make more coffee while I'm at it. And I want to check out what that really, really loud pop was. I'm like, what the heck was that? I just want to make sure nothing fell. I don't know what would have fell, fallen, though. Can I turn this light off? Uh, whoopsie. How do I change it? Get the remote. No, don't turn on the AC. Oh, my God. I don't know why this, this thing we bought at AliExpress, how does this remote control our AC? It's so weird. I heard like the little ding. Okay, well, I'll keep the lamp on because it does seem to help a bit. But I'll be back. I will be right back. Oh, I my coffee mug. And... But I'll be back. I'll, I'll try to be quick. I hope nothing fell.
slowly making my way back. I'm walking like a grandma so I don't spill this coffee. Ugh. Oh, and good false alarm. Um, it was just my purse. My purse had just fallen from the uh, our like little what brown shelf? Not shelf. Uh, what do you call it? Like little drawer thing we got, which kind of scares me because it's like that thing's right by the kitchen, and I've probably said on here a lot of times how I think we have a kitchen ghost. So I blame her. Cause she always messing it out in the kitchen. That's one thing I'm actually excited for. Is I'm hoping <laughs> when we move. All the weird crap that happens in the kitchen will stop happening. Because the ghost will stay here. <laughs> I mean I don't know if there's a ghost here. But I like to think there is. Cause there's just sometimes there's a feeling you know. Wait uh, things that are trending are Elden Ring. Horizon, Fair Dawn, ah, Horizon Zero Dawn Forbidden West. And... Oh, what is Sifu? I don't know what Sifu is. Ah, I feel like I've seen that acronym though, but I forgot I forgot what it stands for. But at least nothing valuable broke, just my purse fell down. Whee. Okay, which is the good side? Yeah, right here. Cause at least once the eyes are oh and I gotta do the ears too. Crap, I forgot. Well I'll do those next. Actually, usually the ears are the easier thing to do. This is always the fiddly part because there's like nowhere really to properly grab onto. Come on, go through. There we go. Perfect. I know poltergeist activity realness. I know, right? I just heard this loud pop and I, my worry was maybe it was something electrical because you know like how like that it's like similar that sound kind of but nope it was just my the sound of my purse flopping onto the floor for no reason <laughs> like um it's been sitting up there all night why you know all of a sudden there's no wind and i don't have any windows open because it's still a little chilly you know yeah sure yeah it's getting warmer but it's still cold um and i'm just like why? Why did you decide to fall? I'm thinking that kitchen ghost is kitchen ghost is angry. I'm not giving her attention. This is still a little bit too much left over. There we go. I kept that much. I'm gonna put just right now. Just come on. Why is it not coming out? There we go. I just want a teensy tiny bit just to like seal it in. And then I'll glue it on again to the actual face later. Oh, it's a game's name in uh, PlayStation. Okay, also it's not an acronym for anything. Sifu. <laughs> it sounds like seafood. Hmm, that kind of reminds me of that joke like so many middle-aged women would do like, The doctor put me on a seafood diet. If I see food, I eat it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. I feel like that is like, you know, like dad dad jokes, right? That's like the, like, mom's version of dad jokes. Like, mom jokes. I'm actually surprised no one talks about mom jokes enough. Because I'm pretty sure there's like a way, you know, like moms would joke. Uh, but we always see just dad jokes. <laughs> but it's always past 1 a.m. But I want to stay a little more. Well, I'll try to finish the head. Because the head is really the cool looking part anyway. So let me try to finish the head as fast as possible. So let me sew on the eyes real quick. That way you can see his little face. Because basically it's going to just be the long part will be doing the body basically. I might do the legs first honestly. Wait, are the legs on this page? Dang it, no, they're on the other page. Let's see. I try to keep it somewhat even. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I'm gonna pop that with some glue. Wait, mom jokes are a thing. I feel like, like that's what I mean. Like, I feel like not all moms, but like there's certain like it depends. I guess on the type of mom, like funny jokes, pe like moms would make. 
Because like the seafood one was something my uh, friend's mom would always do. Like the doc doctors put me on a seafood diet. If I see food, I eat it, right? It sounds like they're going to eat like fish and stuff. But no, they're just talking about seeing food. <laughs> and it's so funny. But in a corny kind of way. Let me see, wait. I've been there before. Uh oh. I missed on part of the channel. I don't know what they mean by I've been there before. Or do you mean like you've been there before, like with poltergeist activity? I saw that was a thing. <laughs> That's one thing I am waiting. To, like, I am like excited about the move. Is like I mean I'm excited about the move anyway, but I also have like the same time like I don't want to leave my crochet spot. At the same time though, the balcony in the new apartment is much because we're gonna we decided to make the main bedroom. Um, the, like, computer crochet spot, like, instead of the, the big bedroom being the regular bedroom, right? We're gonna make the small room the bedroom. Because we don't really hang out in the bedroom, actually. Though, the only reason why I chose this spot, even though this is the smaller room, I chose this spot anyway, regardless, because of the window. This, like, even though the other room's bigger. Actually, the other room would have been probably technically better, because it's really warm in there in the winter, because it gets so much sunlight. But this view is more worth it. <laughs> so I'm going to miss the view. But I am not going to miss the kitchen ghost. She can go to heck for all I care. Because she has been done nothing but trying to break all my dishes. Let me see. <laughs> oh no, the no to the past 1 p.m. a.m. thing. Huh? Okay, uh, not to the poltergeist one. Oh, uh, oh, just let me word it properly. <laughs> Let's see. Da, da, da. Oh, I know what you mean. Like, whenever I try to type in, like, YouTube ch uh, chat stuff, it's always so hard. Like, the I swear the keyboard actually intentionally messes up more when I'm actually typing in a live stream, I feel like. More like, specifically a YouTube one, on the phone. Not on, not on computer or anything, but always on phone. Like, it seems to want to bug out more. It's really weird. Let me see, I actually want to make a ghost-related moment in my life, but I've never noticed anything like that. More for me, like, that's why I call it the kitchen ghost, was because, like, I never had this problem before. But every time I was doing dishes in this apartment, I was dropping dishes like crazy. And it always felt like someone was yanking them out of my hand. That's why I dubbed her the kitchen ghost. I like to think she's an angry Ajima, like, yanking the dish out of my hand, like, you're not doing it properly, right? you gotta wash it this way, you know, like a angry mother-in-law or something. That's what I like to think of it. And, or maybe it's just, like, a child ghost who's just trying to be mischievous, maybe, but, you know. But, you know, like, how them, like, certain types of, like, angry moms could be, like, when you try to do something and you're not doing it right, they rip it out of your hand, they're like, no, let me do it, like. I was so glad my mom was not like that, but I've had friends who've had moms like that, and I'm just like, ugh, why? I feel bad for them. That's what it feels like to me every time I do dishes. And I never had that problem before. I never had that problem in San Francisco, because I've been washing dishes by hand for forever, ever since I moved to San Francisco, because none of our apartments ever had a dishwasher. And even the nice apartments here in Korea don't have dishwashers, which is sucky because, like, I mean, I think you, you can get one. They sell them. But, like, it's just not a, you know, like, when you're an American, you you have a, uh, well, well, I don't know. I guess San Francisco don't count, though. But, like, at least in my hometown, when you had a, a apartment, you had a dishwasher automatically, right? Like, it, was just, it just comes with the apartment. And not here and definitely not in San Francisco. They were like, yeah, you want a dishwasher? Nope. I think, though, for San Francisco, it could have been a water thing, though, because, you know, California has, like, the droughts and stuff, so that could have been why. But honestly, I feel like I waste more water when I wash dishes by hand, to be honest. All right, we got the eyes on. Let me sew on the jaw real quick. Uh-oh, there's a bit of glue sticking out. I know, right? Uh, let me see. I actually, oh, wait, uh, she means she's been there. Just 
thing, a uh, stream, oh, stream pass one. Not the polder guy, she says she's been there before. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, because Kershaw kept this day uh, here for a while, like, one, in one of my streams. I remember it was, like, really, really late for them. I was like, oh, my goodness, go to bed. Because <laughs> I know, like, it's daytime for me, but I know it gets really late. Oh, one of my new favorite songs they hit rocks well, made came on is on. I really like this one. It sounds so magical. And like but peaceful at the same time. Oh god, this is this is always the hard part, trying to sew the jaw on. Because I'm trying to like I want it to like not get screwed up. And it needs to kind of jut out a little bit. Cause he gotta look like a llama that is about to spit on you. And I right, oh, imagine. <laughs> Oh man, this is a problem with these uh, sewing needles. They're really great for like getting my yarn in there really quick, but they also can destroy the yarn a little bit. I really want to glue this on and just forget about it. Uh, but I do know it looks better if I sew it on. I mean, I'm probably still going to dab a little bit of glue so that stays in, but I need this part to be sewn on if it'll stay in place let me see oh no because the ads i see in tv everyone on our owns a dishwasher i know right I know, I actually thought it was really common for everyone to have a dishwasher. Because, like, anytime I went to someone, whether they had a house or an apartment, they always had a dishwasher. Like, my grandma always lived in an apartment in her retirement. And every apartment she was in had a dishwasher. So I thought that was just the norm. And, like, in San Francisco, I thought, oh, we're just staying, it's because we're staying in a, like, a low-rent apartment, right? Well, I should say, air quote, low rent. Like, I don't know, fourteen that like 1400 a month is low rent. But it was low rent for San Francisco. But I was thinking, oh, because we're staying in a low rent apartment. Maybe that's why we don't have a dishwasher. But even in Korea, when you stay in the, even like the higher class apartments, like really nice ones, don't have a dishwasher. Though, maybe in the future that might change. Um, um, but I think it's because most people eat out, I guess. I don't know. But, like, then there's also, like, pan I think the ones who do get dishwashers would be probably families. Because, you know, have you ever seen a Korean meal, like, a homemade Korean meal? They use a crap ton of dishes. A huge, like, that's the thing, too. Isn't it sucky? Because, like, that's the thing with Asian, like, food, right? They use a ton of, like, little small dishes, right? Like, the side dishes, right? Like, they put the whole thing out for each person, right? So, that's a ton of dishes to do. Yet, they don't have dishwasher. They don't really use dishwasher. Like you said, right? Asia, nobody owns a dishwasher. <laughs> Oh, just like in America, no one owns a rice cooker. Oh my god, rice cookers are the freaking best, though. I remember when I first started trying to do Korean cooking, we didn't have a rice cooker. So I tried cooking from, a like, a pan or the pot, right? I watched so many tutorials and follow it, and it just never worked out. It was just always was a disaster. It always became a gummy mess. I could just never get it right. And then, like, rice cooker, just put this much water, done. And you just... <laughs> Sit and wait, like, dang. Whoever invented the rice cooker needs a Nobel Peace Prize, honestly. They probably saved so many people from, <laughs> like, from just, like, going out with stress. Because it was just stressful trying to make rice. They've saved from so many people pulling their hair out from stress. Having to make... How did people survive back then making rice? I want to know. Oh my god. Imagine before rice cookers. That would have been miserable. I don't know what it means. We're poor or something. But it doesn't look like we're measuring it in dishwasher. No, because then in Korea, you can have a really nice high class apartment, right? And there's no dishwasher. So it's really just more of a cultural thing, I think. And Jong says it's really because, I guess if you are, especially in a high class um, apartment, like you're going to be eating out more or something and not doing dishes. But at the same time, I'm thinking... My god, though, if I if we're a family and we're doing, like, traditional Korean meals, though, that's gonna be a crap ton of, like, little tiny dishes to wash. That would just be annoying, I swear to goodness. 
Not to mention having to wash all the pots and pans and crap. Which, some of that you do have to wash by hand, right? Like, certain pants. But I would rather it just be that than having all that and all the utensils and all the little tiny side dish dishes. Like, oh god, that would be so annoying. Yeah, because, like, our... My in-laws live in, um, the nicest... I think the freshest, coolest of nicest apartments in Wanju, I believe. Uh, like, the Bella City apartments. They're really nice. I think they're like the most expensive part apartments in Wanju, and they don't have a dishwasher. And every time we come over to eat, I just see her sink full of dishes. And I just know after we leave, she's going to be standing there doing them all by hand. I'm just like, no. I've been actually debating if I should. Like, because you know, like sometimes I'm just sitting there all awkward. Out on a kind of honestly would rather just be doing the dishes while they all talk. Then I don't have to like be sitting there awkwardly just staring into space. Okay, it's a little crooked, but eh. You know what? The Fortnite little llama's a crook himself. I'm so salty they stopped having him have the materials though. Like what, now it's just shield and stuff? Though it does give a- oh, I need to put more glue here. Though it does give a good amount of ammo though, to be honest. I do like that. But I miss the mats. I miss getting the 500 of each mats. I really miss that. I do think they made the llama a little bit, because now the llama actually runs away from you now. Before, you just had to open it, right? Now he actually jumps up and starts making noise and running away. And I was like, oh my god, the first time that happened startled the shit out of me because I was not expecting it. I had no idea that was part of the update. Well, this was still with the other map. But my god. It, it was so hard to kill, too. Especially if you're playing solos. Like, it would just run, because it also times out if you don't kill it in time. Wait, I remember the BBC News can't cook rice, cook rice properly. I know, right? The rice we get in college feels like rubber. Honestly, it's so sticky and flavorless. I can't even... Oh, that's basically how my rice would turn out when, um... What do you call it? Uh... I think I, w I do want to glue this a little bit. When, um... I would make it... It, was, it would be, like, disgusting rubber and it would be a me glutinous mess. Okay, let's put a bit of glue right there. Look at him say, yeah. Because so we kind of just want it to where you can kind of see his teeth. Oh, he looks so angry. There we go. Okay, now I just gotta make the ears. I know, because really, good rice is like... Oh, for some reason I thought I forgot to bring my coffee. I hope it cooled down. It was a little bit too hot to drink. That's why I was like walking so slowly when I came back, because it would spill. But at the same time, I couldn't take- it was too hot to take a sip. To like, get it down a bit. Let me see, I should be drinkable temperature now. Oh, perfect. It's like the perfect amount of warmth, not too hot, not too cold. But yeah, you always need good rice. I remember when we first bought our first rice maker, I was like so happy with how beautiful it turned out. Oh yeah, because in Korea, like what, there's like the Cuckoo brand? Those are some expensive rice coolers. Those are like almost the same amount as a dishwasher. Like they go in the thousands. So yeah, I think that actually makes a good point. Like, sure, no one has a dishwasher, but they sure as hell have a really good, usually people would have a really good rice cooker. Like actually when we were looking at the other units, this, actually, this was a unit we almost thought about getting with this blue kitchen one. It was one of the older ones, but the people who live there had, did such a good job with their, like, furniture and stuff. It made it look really cozy. So, even though if we were like, oh, we're not going to move it, we actually saved the picture to, like, get ideas how to decorate the apartment. Because they just made it look so warm and cozy. And they had a cuckoo, um, like, a really big cuckoo rice cooker. I'm like, yep, that's probably, like, a thousand something bucks right there. Let me see. I thought the teeth was the other eye and I didn't understand why one eye was like floppy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god, that'd be disturbing. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I got, I got the eye on both sides. Now I just gotta do the ear. I know he looks kind of weird. He looks like an old man. It looks like an old alien face like, Get off my lawn. It looks more like the llama. Like once you add the ears, he looks more like a llama. Like this one. I think the I think this jaw turned out, yeah, it turned out smaller for some reason. Look at that. I think I crocheted it way too tightly, because I did the same as I did the other one. I 
I don't know what a rice cooker looks like. Oh, um, kind of looks like a crock pot, kinda. I mean, but usually they're like more round, while a crock pot's more like oval shaped. I mean, basically, yeah, it just looks like a kind of looks like a crock pot, or some. It just looks kind of like a pot full or a hot like what are, what are those things? Um, instant pot. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. Uh, those are different though. That's like more the pressure cooker, I think. I think they might have rice cooker, rice cooker though. But it looks like that. Like it's just like this big cylinder, and you just have a lid attached to it. I know, just the, t just thing of the most magical thing times by two. I know, right? Oh wait, why am I doing a magic circle? I need to chain because I'm doing the ears. Isn't that funny? I always catch myself accidentally doing like a slip slip knot. For when I meant to do a magic circle, and then when I meant to do a slipknot, I do a magic circle, and I'm just like, wow, wow. So let's see, chain six, yeah. Okay, this is um, I do want to try to go to the back bump though for this because I, I like to make the ears look really nice and neat. Come on, go through. I know, right, look. <laughs> Ah, shoot, the yarn's in the way. I can't see what I'm going to do. Okay, so I just increase twice. So increase in this chain and then increase in the next chain. Come on, go through there. Oh my god, how long have we... It's been almost three hours and this is all I got done. Oh my god. Well, to be fair, like, making the body will be easier because it's just make that box and then it's just single crochet from there basically like after you go in the back loops and then it's just like just doing color changes honestly okay there we go okay next is single crochet times two so just one single crochet in the next two chain come on this is always happens when i try to do back loop while streaming it's really weird like the hook just just does not want to go through the back, back bump. It's the weirdest thing. But when I'm like crocheting by myself, it's like easy peasy fine. Let me see, it's been three hours and a week and I'm still not done with the Primaris Aggressor Space Marine. I hope I said that right. Is it Primaris? Primaris, I think Primaris Aggressor Space Marine. I would imagine, but yeah. If you ever go out, like, yarn shopping or something, try to look for some, like, silvery, silvery yarn. Or maybe, like, embroidery floss. Because, actually, that's the thing. Embroidery floss, you can, like, you don't have to crochet with a single strand. Like, you can, like, add a bunch together to make it thick enough to however, like, thick you're working with. That'd be so cool for the weapon part. Because then it'll be, like, really glittery. Not, not glittery, but you know what I mean? Like, it'll have a sheen to it. Like, a metallic sheen. That would look so dope. I remember one time I bought this yarn, and it was so cool. It was, like, really metal looking. I got one in, like, silver and gold but it's one of those yarns that are knitted or something like it's like a tube right it's not wound up by a bunch of strands so i couldn't split it because it's like just this knitted tube that you're crocheting with yes oh sadly you looked everywhere oh that sucks i hope you come across it one of these days and it sucks because i actually have i have it somewhere i have the perfect one i wish i could just give it to you through the screen because it was it was actually from daiso it's one of the Daiso yarns. Where is not yarn, um embroidery floss. Where is that actually? Is that on the bag? Yeah, right here. It's actually like really shiny. And it was in there like it was the pack was like a dollar or something. Like look at that. It actually looks like metal. Like I wish I could give this to you to the screen. Like here you go, buddy. Cause like this, like you can like, oh, there's some red right there. Like this would probably be thick enough to crochet with. And it, this is a little bit thinner cause I've already used some strands out of it. So it's a little bit thicker from the beginning. I know, right? It's perfect. And it's metallic and everything. And it was so cheap. And I hope, oh, that's why I'm, I'm a little worried too. Like, because so far, that Daiso, or, or the Daiso in your hair, still, is still selling in Broadway Floss. I actually thought they would have stopped selling it a long time ago. Because they kind of, their art section tends to, like, really fluctuate with season. Like, so some stuff that would have been there is no longer there anymore. But they've been solidly selling that in Broadway Floss for, like, a year and a half now, it seems like. And I'm worried, what if the Daiso that's near the new apartment, what if it's not going to have it? So I'm kind of like, I think I'm going to go buy a bunch more before we move. Just in case. 
I'm going to probably feel silly if that other Daiso does sell it, but it better be safe than sorry because I have no idea where to get. I mean, probably I could. Maybe that yarn store would sell embroidery floss, but I'm not sure. Let's see. What did I do? Oh, yeah. Single credit times two. And then I think I increase again. I am going to need the hot glue to help fix up these ears, though, because they're looking a little bit janky. But don't worry. A little bit of tug in here and some hot glue there. Well, not hot glue, but like hot glue ironing. Oh, that's another thing. Um, <coughs> Stranger Danger. I don't think you were here when I, w when I was talking with Takayaki about my new method call I call hot glue. Hot glue gun ironing now. Where I kind of wipe off the excess um, hot glue. And, oh, where'd it go? Okay, I put three single crochet in the last stitch. That's hard. And I kind of like use the heat from the hot, the nozzle to kind of iron out some of my crochet a little bit. It does kind of give it an off-white color though on the back. So I usually just save it for like the backs of pieces. If I do it very little, then there's not too much whitening on the back. But, uh, or like whitening out the color a bit. But it works really good. It works good for my uh, flowers and stuff. Because, you know, sometimes you don't want a crinkly petal, right? You want a nice flush big petal. I know, right? That kind of hot glue is back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to make me a hot glue emoji, honestly. Because it is really iconic. It's actually honestly helped me with so many things. Like, you'll have something you crochet right and it just look, doesn't look as good. And I just use a hot glue gun to, like, smooth it out. I'll show you what I mean. So, I'm going to... I like to take... Like the cardboard I have it on, like just kind of wipe all the. Sometimes I will keep a, just a little bit of hot glue on there, like residue, because sometimes that will actually help if I want to help stiffen the back. But for now, I'm just gonna do like hot glue ironing. So see, it's like not that great looking, right? It looks kind of pukey. Watch the magic. Oh shoot, this is the only problem. I need something to hold it down, but at the same time, I don't want to, you know, burn my fingers or melt my nails because they're plastic, so those wouldn't melt. I actually had that happen before, like the tip of it accidentally hit my hot glue gun and it actually melted. I had to, I had to like, um, file it off and try to smooth it out. And also because of this, I can actually, it helps make this a bit more pointier. Like you just kind of pinch it. Yeah, golden metallic yarns remind me of the typical fantasy clothing that has all the golden edges and unrealistic, unrealistic stuff. I know, right? Like, oh, imagine if people actually started doing that, like, doing their crochet, like, cardigans and sweaters, or, like, robes or something. Like, a long, flowy crochet robe. And it has, like, the little, like, metallic edging. And I also like that I do this on the edge, too, because sometimes the stitches will, like, be popping out, right? Especially with this yarn. I've noticed it happens a lot with this cotton yarn. They'll kind of be poking out that even looking, and I just kind of use the edge, and I kind of smooth it out. Especially at the top of the edge, and then I pinch it to make it like a bit more pointy. Like, see, it's already starting to look a little bit better, but less pukey. And I just call it hot glue ironing. I do want to put a bit more on the edge so I can really pinch this. But I gotta be careful because if I go too close to my fingers, that's gonna not be good. Yeah, see, look how much better that looks. Yeah, so you can see the color is a little bit... Ow! Oopsie. I put that a bit too close to my hand. Like, it, you can see it's a little bit off. Like, it's got, like, a, this white cast on the back. So that kind of does suck for that. But I usually try to save it for, like, the less important part that no one's going to really care about looking at. So there's one ear. Let me make the other one. Oh, those are plastic nails. Yeah, these are $5 Daiso nails. I've actually had these on for almost a month now. They were actually pink when I first started out. I think Takayaki, I think... Did I do a stream where I had these as the original color? They were like a kind of shiny see-through pink, which was really pretty at first. Because they're, they're just press-on nails, so it's got the glue already on there. But the problem is, those kind, that kind of glue really just... The nails really pop off really easy. So I actually scraped off the leftover that rubbery kind of glue that it usually has for press on nails and I actually use regular nail glue and the problem is that you could really see through 
and it looked kind of weird so but i was like you know what let me paint these and they actually looked much more realistic when i painted them they do look kind of a bit chunky now because this has two coats no three coats on now and they're also my nail is growing so you can see that bump right before they were perfectly flush like this one popped up the other see how this one looks better it looks more realistic because it's like right at the cuticle but these are my nails are growing and it's kind of moving away because these haven't popped off in a long time and for some reason ever since i painted them they stopped popping off because even with the nail glue they would pop off at least one one of them would pop off at least once a day and i'll have to like re-glue it but something about the nail polish i think because a little bit of the nail polish gets in the crevice right now something about it like helped hold it down a bit but yeah, I do kind of need to pop them off though so I don't have that weird gap right there because that makes it look really bulby, kind of like bulbous at the top. Well, this looks better. It looks more flush against the nail. But yeah, though, the problem is this one actually cracked. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a line right here, but I did, I did paint over it so you can't really see it anymore. But actually, I was like opening the door and it actually broke. This nail actually broke. I think because I kept filing down here too much because this would pop off so much. And it kind of broke. So it's just like hanging on. But it's, it actually broke in half. But you can't tell. So I definitely do need to get some new ones. Because I mean these are supposed to just last for a week. And I've made these. La my cheap ass I made them last for a month. I was like I don't want to be spending five bucks here and there. Every time I just need some new nails. Because it would take me hours. Just to do my regular nails. Like I would grow them out. They would look really nice. And then bam. One or two of them would like crack really low and it would just ruin it you know if it, if it cracked a little bit and it was a little bit lower than the other ones that's not so bad right but they would always crack at the base like really, really low here and then like it would just ruin how my nails look and it was so tedious so i was like time for fake nails but not going to an actual salon because i don't got the money for that and i think even if i did i don't i don't really want to go have i don't want to keep having to go to a salon every like what Every other week, I think. How many times do girls have to go to the sal nail salon to get their nails done? Let's see, one, two. Let me make sure I put enough. Let me just chain again. I lost my count. <laughs> and they're so tiny, it's hard to see the how many there actually are. Let me see. So let me make sure. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Okay, good. I just gotta go through the back bump. And another problem too is that since they're plastic, I don't know, they don't really hold on to stuff very well. Like when I had naturally long nails, I had no problem picking up my needles and stuff. And if anything, it made it easier. It made it easier to hold on to my crochet. But with these, it's so blunt. I think thick too. On like a natural tapered nail. So it doesn't hold on very well. And I was, I guess because, I don't know, I guess your real nails have some kind of feeling to it. Like, you can kind of feel right when you brush something with your nails. But this is like, I'm not feeling anything. So it, has, it does have an awkward feel. And it's so hard to get, actually get scratches now. Like, when you have an itch, it doesn't work as good as regular nails do. So I definitely need to get me like a back scratcher or something. Let's see. So. One... And now to do the pointy bit. Oh shoot! This is about to die. How is this one doing? Okay, that one's at eight percent. So I will slide this over because we don't want the music to stop. Ah, my coffee's in the way. I can't see. Oh, let me check my actual phone. <gasps> Uh oh, my actual phone is at 27% and I only have one. You know what? We'll sacrifice the lamp. Yes, it's still good. My light. Okay, let me unplug the lamp. Well, it's really more like a like a photography light kind of thing, not really a lamp. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab the uh another plug-in so that way I can I can charge both my phone and the tablet. <laughs> I don't want them to both die.
because of yikers. That would have ended the stream if I if my phone just died. Usually it gives me like a little warning though. Though I have noticed if I am streaming or just even crochet or not crochet, videotaping, like filming, I will get like no notifications almost. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. I wonder if that's like a Xiaomi kind of thing. Cause I have heard people did complain about notifications not coming through on Xiaomi phones and my god is that true just sometimes I'll get a phone call and the phone will be like yeah you're not getting a phone call right now like I'm not gonna show you anything like nothing will pop on the screen and then I'll later say you missed a call like what and it's just the weirdest darn thing and it's not even just phone calls it's like whenever Joan tries to cacao me on FaceTime or like FaceTime me on uh cacao talk if I was like in the photo album or if I was like taking a picture of something it would actually not send no sound no notification no floating notification nothing and then I'll just like exit the app and then all of a sudden it said you had a missed FaceTime call like what ah <sighs> I hate how it does that but I googled it and apparently a lot of people who have Xiaomi phones have the same problem though so it's not just me I'm not just going crazy and don't get me started on it just deciding not to let the alarm go off. So I had to set multiple alarms because I'm so scared it's gonna not sound one of them because I've had that happen. I've been late for a couple of things because I'll have like one alarm set and it just never goes off. And it doesn't even say you missed an alarm either. Because usually it will, you will get like the missed alarm notification if you just like let it ring through, right? And that actually showed proof that I'd not, not even sleeping there. Like they'll be just set for things just to remind me so I don't, you know, I can keep track of my day. And just nothing would happen. I would actually watch it. I've done a couple tests where I watch to see if it's going to play or not. And sometimes it would play and sometimes it just wouldn't. Nothing would pop up on the screen. No sound, no nothing. And it was not on, you know, it wasn't on silent. The phone wasn't on silent or anything. And it just does that. And I googled that and apparently, yep, that's common too. Like, what the heck, Xiaomi? What the heck? So now I set like, f I even had one time where I set two alarms. They're like, okay, I'll just set one more alarm just in case. And they both didn't go off. And I was so mad. <laughs> so now I set like five or six alarms. And you know, sometimes the one will, the first one won't go off, but the second one will. So I set them like really close in time, like by a minute or two. And that's the only way to do it now. I have to like set multiple alarms just in case one decides to not want to go off. I heard like iPhone had like something weird like that. But that was more like if your phone updated, like your alarms wouldn't go off or something. Yeah, it is strange. But apparently it happens to a lot of... A lot of Xiaomi phone owners, so that sucks. I mean, it's still a pretty good phone, though, overall. Like, I love the camera. I love how I can film in uh, 60 SPFs now. Like, that's really made it nice for um, my crochet video, uh, uh, crochet tutorial. So, I gotta be careful, though. I can't, I can't film on the wood grain anymore because, like, the wood will start warping in the back. I noticed that with, um, what video was that I did that it did that? Oh, the uh, Christmas earrings. I was like, oh my god, the... Was it the Christmas earrings? Or was it... No. Yeah, maybe. I think I filmed that with the wood. But, like, especially when you speed up the clip, you can really see it. I'm like, oh my god. It looked horrible. But, I mean, like... But when I have, like, a solid color, it looks so good. Like, 60 FPS, right? Like, it doesn't even look like real life, honestly. Like, it's it's hard to explain, right? Like... Especially when I watch videos filmed in 60 FPS, it's like, it's so weird. Like, the mo the movement's so beautifully fluid, but it's not, like, real life either. It's, like, better. It's like if watching, what, real life in 4K or something. Oh, actually, this one turned out really good on its own, actually. Like, look at that. I did a better job with that one. So this one I probably don't gotta do too much to, except for a little bit of ironing to, like, straighten out. Also, this is good because when I do small stuff, especially any back and forth stuff, right? See how it's like all curled, right? Oh, yeah, you can't see. Like, it gets all kind of curled. It's like it's go bending this way. And this is like a great way to like kind of help kind of flatten and strain. It's basically like ironing. I love it. And sometimes it'll help things that were like too small look a little bit bigger. Because like it helps flat. Kind of like how blocking does, right? Like when you block something. It actually turns out being a smidge bigger than it was before when you crocheted it. The only problem is, oh my god, the, imagine having to block every like little thing I crochet for my characters. God, no, that would be too much. Because I would be having to sit around and wait so much just for this 
tiny little thing with pins attached to it. That'd, be, that'd just be too insane. I might actually use... Let me use this real quick. That might be better. Yeah, there we go. Much more control and I don't gotta worry about burning myself. I'm trying to get the tip a little bit so I can pinch it. But I don't know, did you, uh, y'all guys' phone, did you guys ever have any weird things happen with y'all's phone? Like how mine would be like, no alarm, like just the alarm just decides, yeah, we're not going to go off. <laughs> like basically like that. And sometimes the keyboard gets kind of wacky too. I've noticed that when it gets really low in battery, the keyboard would just start spazzing out and really messing up my typing. I know, right? This is so big brain. I know, right? Big brain crochet moment. I mean, you wouldn't really need this, though, for, like, regular big crochet. Because you don't really get that problem when you crochet with nice thick yarn. But, like, when you crochet with really thin yarn, it gets all curled up and tiny. Especially, if, I guess, from splitted yarn. But it's, like, my little secret. Well, it's not really a secret. I need to make this into a video. That's what I'm thinking to do. I want to make... I thought about making a bunch of small videos, but I think I'm just going to make one video. Because I think too many tiny videos, I don't know. No, I don't know. Maybe maybe the small video would be better. Like each little, I don't know, what, what would people rather have? Would they rather have one little really short one minute video talking about this tip? Or would they just rather have like a five minute video with all my tips in it? Because it's not going to be very long. It'll just have include a couple tips like the hot glue ironing. Um... Like, just whatever tips I've, I've kind of, like, noticed as things I do when I do small crochet. I'm trying to come up with, like, that. Like, a tip for tiny crochet, kind of. Oh, yeah, they really like the shorter videos. That's true, because I have, um, when I look at my analytics, like, a lot of people will, like, watch, like, out of a 10-minute video, they only end up watching, like, two minutes out of it. Now, that's the thing, like, are they just watching it and then clicking off? Like, did they get bored? And, or are they skipping through, right? Oh, there's a fluffy white doggy. Hold on. We must see the doggy. Do you see the doggo? Oh, my God, it's so fluffy. Let me see if I can zoom in on the doggo. Look at him. Oh, my God, he's so cute. Oh, he's gone. Oh, I gotta zoom out. Yeah, a lot of people walk their dogs through here. That's what I'm gonna miss. I'm not gonna be able to see that no more. Like, I'm, we're gonna be on the fourth floor, so. Uh, I'm gonna just be like, I'm gonna probably accidentally see people change, to be honest. Now I, I think about it. Well, actually, wait, no. Oh, I'm gonna be looking at other people's laundry, actually. Because, so, the kitchen is face. Those, that big window will be in the back. So, technically, since we're in the big, the, like, big room, that faces toward the back of the apartment in front of it. So, that means I'm gonna be looking at everybody's, like, washing room balcony, basically. So, I'm just gonna be looking at people's hanging clothes and crap. No, but my tablet's uh, screen glitches multiple times, like... The whole screen was a mess of colors, and I don't know why. Oh my god, that's so that's so awful. <laughs> yeah, so probably, so I guess shorter video is better then, right? Actually, let me make this one a bit more pointy. This one actually might need a tidbit of hot glue, like residue, so it, like, sticks a bit more when I pinch it. go see that's much better nice and pointy first i'll go first see you guys next stream bye takoyaki actually what time is it because i do know okay guys it's only 9 52 but i know like you're busy but i hope you have a good day takoyaki and have fun making the uh space uh marine i hope i said it right space marine 
Okay, let me just sew on. I'm gonna actually glue them on first. Wait, let me make sure, because I actually want the yucky part to face actually the back. Because, you know, when you look at the llama, you look at him forward like this, so the good side needs to face like this way. So let me have them facing... I think that's the kind of cool thing that when I do iron it, so I have it a slightly grayed out, like the color is kind of desaturated on the other side. So it's really easy to see what side's the bad side, actually, so I don't accidentally sew it on the good side. So let's take one. I'm going to put it right here. That would be faster before the hot glue cools down. I'm going to just use this just to be safe. Kind of push that up a little bit. And then usually what I do is I just kind of sew the rest up. But I'm going to glue the other one on already. Just a little dab of hot glue. And I actually found out like less is more. Like trying to use, I used to use way too much hot glue in the beginning. But now I found like. I've kind of gotten better at controlling how much to use so that I don't get that extra outer spill. I used to do that all the time. I would actually have to use this. Like this is those things you get in like those little miniature sewing. Um, like when you get the those button repair kits in the store like really cheap. I would actually use this to kind of like grab at the extra hot glue and like pull it out. Because it was really sharp so it kind of cut it at the same time and then cut around it. That's actually how my old scissors got dull because from cutting so much hot glue. really good so we're getting somewhere so now I just gotta sew this up I just really sewed at the bottom I mean if I wanted to be more seamless I would sew a little bit on the side too but you know no one really looks at the back side of the back side's kind of ugly anyway <laughs> and also I think a thing you know like this kind of covers that anyway when I uh, put the reins on Let me see. I have over 10 crochet patterns screened on my phone and 100 images and I need to write them down one day. Oh my god, I know that feeling. Oh yeah, actually I was just go I was actually cleaning off my phone. That's also why I kind of stopped filming yesterday because actually my phone's memory got filled up. I did not know. My god, I had 20 like I had like 25 gigabytes. Like the what I did film was 25 gigabytes worth of footage. Like holy crap. <laughs> I mean, it comes like that when you film in higher higher quality, I believe. So even just like short videos could be like two or three gigabytes, right? Like three minutes of footage is like, I think like a whole gigabyte sometimes. And like, yeah, it was a lot. I was like, crap, man. So I had to stop and empty my phone. And I decided to like kind of just go through and I actually thought it was a good time to start backing up all my stuff because I did have a like slight phone scare the other day. Um, YouTube had glitched out the app and then... I saw, I was like, okay, let me just restart my phone. And then it didn't want to turn back on. And I was super panicking. Because, like, I was like, oh, my God, all my pictures and stuff. And I hadn't backed it up. And I thought, oh, no, no. But thankfully, I, I went on to a tutorial and did the, what was it called? A force restart or something? Where you, like, hold it, you just hold the power button for a couple, like, what, 10 seconds or something? And thankfully, it restarted after that. Whew. I was like so scared. I was like, after that, I'm like, yep, I need to back this phone up. I know, right? That's a lot. I know, right? It's not even done yet. Though it's m the most bulk of it's done, I just gotta do the legs. And that's the best part is like, I just have to film doing one leg, right? That's what I do. Because if there's four the same, if there's more than one the same thing, I just show it once. And uh, then I just say, make three, and then just show a picture or a quick video of me holding all, all the items together when it's done. Because no one wants to see you crochet the same thing twice. I've seen some tutorials where it actually, like, they'll show the entire process. And the problem is, like, they're showing making the same thing over and over. And they're, like, the videos are so long. And I'm like, how does anyone sit through all of that? 
I had to like skip through it a lot. That's why I'm trying to make my videos shorter because I know people don't want to sit through too much of it, but at the same time, I want them to see the important part. And also, I kind of start a new thing where I just kind of keep the text. I used to make the text fade away after a little bit, but now I just keep it for the entire round. I thought people might not like, in the beginning, I thought people probably not going to like um, the text sitting there while they're trying to watch. But actually, like, there's plenty of room. Like, you still, it doesn't really cover any of the crochet. It's just in the corners, right? And you can still see what I'm doing. And I thought that was better. I think that was easier because, you know, if it fades, and especially if it's like a 30-minute video, it can kind of be hard to, like, pinpoint where exactly you want to see, or the instructions, like maybe you'll forget halfway through. So I just like keep it on screen now, and I just made it a lot easier. Also I have like that cool sticker that shows like what the round number is, so I really really like that. And I just gotta... I'm really liking this to, like I saw Louie was the one who did, I saw him do this technique where he like ties it and then he like sticks it back into the crochet i got that from him and I, i'm actually loving it i used to actually legit like sew everything so much so it wouldn't come out and then i'm like oh my god just tying it and then like having both ends come out the same end like tied and then stuffed back in there that is for it been working beautifully i love it it saves so much more time let me see oh rebecca's back oh I've been on the phone with my friend's husband who's Italian. Tell me my friend is off. What's for breaking spaghetti? Tell your. Oh, you mean like when you make spaghetti, you break it in half? Uh oh. You're f <laughs> that guy would hate me because that's what I do. I did it just the other day. I made pasta. I do that too. Um, I also have over 200 videos that I saved from TikTok. Oh, yeah. Like so many ideas. Yeah, I have so many screenshots. Oh, that's what I was talking about, too. Like, when I was, you know, cleaning off my phone, I found all these, like, screenshots of crochet patterns. Like, the visual patterns, you know, like, with little symbols. And I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot I had all this on here. So, I'm thinking I'm going to go through and, like, take those out and put them in a specific folder just called crochet patterns or crochet pattern ideas. Some some were just, like, pictures of things. Like, these really pretty, like, rows. Um, actually, one was a... No, one was... No, that was a sunflower. Sunflower bracelet. Like, a crochet sunflower brace, bracelet. And I was like, oh, my God, those are so pretty. And like this rose earring and I like stuff like that. I've screenshot so much. I mean the logical way is show me one thing once, I know, right? Yeah, I'm not telling her I'm not telling her also cut he can't assist his wife, not mine. I mean, what's wrong with break? I thought that's what you I thought that's what you were supposed to do. Oh, but then I guess because you know, when you break it you don't have to do the whole twisting thing. That's so much easier for me. Like, oh my god. You'd be, like, twisting your fork forever if you had, like, full-length, um, spaghetti. Also, how would the husband feel if he knows that I put... <laughs> I've actually, sometimes I didn't have spaghetti noodles, but I had macaroni noodles. So I just had macaroni noodles with spaghetti sauce. It's actually pretty good. I mean, I mean, it's the same damn thing. It's the same darn dough. But actually, I liked it. I know, I know Italian people don't like it being broke. Yeah. And also another thing too is because when you when you don't break it, you know, I always get spaghetti sauce everywhere. Like you know, when you slurp it up, it gets all over your mouth like a darn toddler. And I'm a 26 year old woman. I don't want to feel like a toddler, so <laughs> breaking it is just easier for me. But if I ever have any Italian friends, I'm gonna dare not say with that. I won't let them know. <laughs> all right, we got the head done. This is like the more iconic part, right? So we got the head done. I always like to put the rain last after I've like sewn it onto the neck. So I got the head done. So I think I'm going to make the feet first actually. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! I've been caught you guys. <laughs> Wait. Oh you don't break the noodles? I thought you broke the noodles too, Jongi. What? So I'm the only one who does that? <laughs> I've been caught. Yeah, it makes it easier to eat. Like, ah, but that, you know, but Jung, you have a bigger mouth, though. I don't. I have a tiny mouth, and, like, trying to fit all that in there is just too much. I know, I don't. You don't break the noodles. I mean, I, t I actually used to not break the noodles. Um, actually, you know, you know why I did start breaking the noodles, though? Because we had a pot, and I, you know, you know, you stick them on the side, right? And you're supposed to let it just go down. Well, that particular pot, the edging actually burnt the edge of the noodles like at that half part I was like oh my god why 
So that's why I started breaking them, because then they would just fit on the potted ones. I'm gonna go now, because it's already 2 a.m. 5, I wanna see you see a stranger danger! I can say, yeah, because I knew you would probably have to go after I made the head, because this was the important part anyway. This is like the most important part, probably, of the Fortnite Lulama. Oh yeah, that pot sucks. I know, right? I never had that happen. You need a stay in the still pot. Like, if I have a stay in the still pot, I don't need to break the noodles, actually. But, though, to be fair, it is a little bit easier to eat. But, <laughs> yeah, the, every time I kept trying to make spaghetti, the freaking pot would burn the edge. I'm like, ugh, it kept ruining it. Look how cute it is. Will you focus, camera? No focus. It doesn't want to focus. There we go. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh my god, I keep knocking this poor guy over. Ugh, I might need to get more yarn of that. That's all the yarn I have left. Like, split it, I think. Do I have any more? Let me double check. I might have more in here. Let me see. Nah, this is the other color. Oh, wait, actually, wait. Nah, see, they're different. They, oh my god, they look the same on camera, but this is so much more purple. What the heck? That is really weird. Uh, the lighting, because that's also, that's the, this is actually the Chinese yarn. This is the Korean yarn. That's how I know, because this is softer. Yeah. I think I may, maybe I pre-cut some off in here already. Let me check. This is my big tub. The, uh, my husband going crazy. Me, It's not your, I mean, the, hus the husband's going crazy. It's like, one or two in the morning, and they're making spaghetti. Ew, that's the best time to make spaghetti. Kind of like coffee. I always like, it's always, it's always a good time for coffee. Is this it? think nope this is also the Chinese yarn but I thought I cut some off of the Korean yarn in here to make it quicker I don't think I did nope nope yeah I'm gonna have to like it's in the it's in my big box of yarn I'll have to get that Ugh. that's a weirdo thing that made well, that sucks. I don't think I need any more. Yeah, I don't need any white yarn anymore, so I can put that away. Okay. Let me make sure this is actually charged. Okay. Okay, it's at thirty percent now, so that means it's charging. What about this one? How's it looking? Oh my god, that one was at 15%. So I need the gray yarn and the blue yarn to make the feet. I gotta switch the book over though because I need the legs and the legs are on the other side. Where are they at? Okay, right here. Alright, so same thing, just Oh, my dumb butt didn't put when I do the color change. Well, basically, basically after I do the, when I resume both loops, it's going to be blue, so. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this in joined. Basically, everything else, I think, is mostly joined rounds. Well, like, for the body. Like, the legs, the body, because it's all color changing stuff, so I do joined rounds, so it's more even. But yeah, I think, like, this is all, like, seem like, continuous round, but... Yeah, the body, for the most part, body and neck will be joined rounds. Okay, let's do... Six single crochet in the magic circle. That's the only problem I was having to work with. This fuzzy acrylic yarn. What is this yarn? Oh, this is the, the I just love this heart yarn from Hobby Lobby, I think. But my god, yeah, it's so fuzzy though. It's so weird. I got so used to working with the milk cotton that I got so spoiled. And then coming back to work with the regular acrylic yarn, I'm like, oh my god, how did I ever work with this? But at the same time though, I kind of sometimes do prefer how the acrylic and the cotton yarn, the full cotton yarn look. Because it does have a much softer crochet look to it while the milk cotton is a bit more of a harsher sharper look but that I mean that works for certain things though like I really could not do any of the flower patterns um if I was using this yarn because it was way too fuzzy it was just a fuzzy mess 
whenever you do um, any kind of flat crochet. So basically amigurumi is the only thing I could do this. I mean, I, technically I could like cut off all the fuzz and then like try to hot glue down the rest of it. That's so time. It took so long. Uh oh, that's stuck. And also you can't really, it's, this is like not good yarn for frogging. It's really bad. Like if, when I try to frog, it gets all knotted up and stuff. So the milk con is way better in that regard. Okay, let's do, so I just got a slip stitch. Chain one. At least I don't have to worry about how using a stitch marker at least. Come on. There we go. And I'm just going to single crochet in the back loops. Then I'll switch over to the blue. I'm like, is that, like, I hear birds, but I'm like, is that coming from the music, or is that coming from outside? But they don't, it doesn't sound like birds I normally hear, though. So I think it's coming from the music. Or just might add this to help push it through. I could zoom in a little bit. That way you guys can kind of see a little bit better what I'm doing. That's the problem with this is like, this is like so tiny so it's really hard to see what I do. Cause especially cause my thumb will be covering most of what I'm doing. Like, cause it's trying to hold on to this stuff for dear life. I think I reached. Yes, yeah, time to join. Now this is where I would do the color change. God, please don't tangle. <laughs> It's already trying to tangle on me. Okay, do I increase in this round or do I just... Okay, let's do another round of single crochet. Good. Because now I can crochet over this working yarn. Or the previous working yarn. So I don't have to worry about sewing it up. All right, there we go. Now I just gotta join. And I'm gonna, before I do the other round, I'm gonna cut all this extra off because it's just gonna get all tangled. Also, let me kind of push this out. Or also push the rest of the yarn down because I can actually stuff it. Shoot. 
There we go. Okay, I think I increase. Yeah, I just like slowly increase in this one. Okay, single crochet times two, then I increase. Alrighty. Let's see, I really need like an old crochet hook. Oh, I think I put them all away, didn't I? Actually, this might work. Let me use this. So I used to use the end of my older crochet hooks to like, because they were like those little thin stainless steel ones, and I could use the ends to like kind of help kind of shape this a little bit. There we go, that looks a bit better. Alrighty. Now, I just do, okay, got around a single crochet. That's good, that's easy peasy, so I don't gotta worry about counting. Put so everyone can see his little head. All right, I think I need to increase one more time. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so the final stitch count will be 10. So let's go single crochet times three. Then increase and just like repeat that one more time basically, since we're only increasing by two.
now. <laughs> okay, let me stuff them here first. Let me try using this. Do I do? Okay, I don't go anymore. Okay, I actually finish off here. So let me leave a good long enough tail for sewing. Okay, there we go. Now I just gotta stuff that a little bit. Alright, there we go. We got the first leg done. Now we just gotta make three more. <laughs> oh, that was your script? I didn't realize that. Let me have a quick sip of coffee first. Alright, so just starting with six. Seeing crochet in the magic circle. Can we pop that out? But yeah, definitely having a nail dotting tool really helps a lot whenever you do tiny crochet. If any like little, cause something small, then but blunt, cause if it's too sharp, it'll just like poke through the stitches. But I really freaking love these; they just really help so much. <clears throat> Let me check how the filament's battery is doing. Oh god, it's really going kind of slow though. I'm going to actually just go ahead and cut this really short and stuff it in there because this really gets in the way when I try to do the color change. Did 
Did I chain one already? No, I didn't. Good. Oh, I didn't join yet, but that's why. Okay. Okay, let's join. And add the new color. Okay, let me cut all this extra crap off. <laughs> it's gonna get it all tangly in a mess. Let me zoom out to the smidge. I think that's good. Uh, needed to focus though. It's like out of focus. <laughs> I keep it in my finger on there, but I push that out of the way.
I'm gonna break the camera just a smidge back. That way when I crochet, I'm a bit more centered. What is that weird sound? Oh, it's like someone's speaking on a megaphone or something. Let's see, I wonder if the, will the mic pick it up? I'm not sure. That sounds really weird. What are they talking about? I don't know if it... I'm not sure if you, the, my phone... Mike is picking it up, but that's so weird. Actually, wait, let me just stretch it out just a bit before I stuff it.
All right, I got the second leg done. Okay, I need to grab more of that gray yarn.
Actually, I think I'm gonna scrap this one. Something about it. Yeah, that hole in the middle is way too big. I'll have to fix that with the next one. I'll throw that one away. Yeah, I think I made the initial six single crochet a bit too thick. I mean, a bit too big. Probably also should have sh uh, sewn it up a little bit. I usually avoid that with the feet because it's like really tedious and like time consuming, but I think for this one I might need to do it. Let's see. Okay, one. Just for security, I'm going to go ahead and sew that little tip it up.
All right, one more leg lift. Oh my goodness. I think after I make the fourth leg, I'll take a quick restroom break. Also, what time is it? Dang, it's only 10.50. It's so weird because it actually feels like if it's like 2 p.m. kind of. Waking up really early will do that to you.
Ups, se la echó en el Vale, mientras va.
Oh, finally. Finally got all four legs done. My goodness. My goodness. I probably actually, the funny part is if you're doing this in like big crochet, this actually would be a lot faster to do. Okay. So, I'll just keep these here. I'll put them here to watch over. I'm going to go on a quick restroom break. I'll put them here to watch over everything. I will be right back. Alright, I am back. I'm 
put this away. Uh, uh oh, I hate it when that. I don't want this to attach onto anything, man. I've actually had that happen. Like, I'll be, um, I'll have some pieces I'm gonna sew later, and I just barely move, and they just attach to my sleeve, and then they fall on the floor. I'm just like, oh. Ow. Okay, well now, actually, wait, you know what? Let me get that yarn first, because I feel like I'm not going to have enough. Okay, this is actually the yarn I use. Um, at least some of it. Some of this is like a mix of other stuff. This is like my favorite milk cotton yarn. That and the Chinese one, Chinese brand one. I don't know what it's called. It's like in English they put like what T P P R Y N or something. So I don't know what it's for. But at least the cream one I know is called Milky Cotton, and I really like it. So let me. I want to get a good amount so that way I don't have to like rejoin because these are kind of small and I just know I'm going to have to like rejoin a lot and I really don't want to do that so I'm just going to go ahead and zoom out a bit. Let me make sure all four over here. I don't want them to like actually attach onto my sleeves or whatever. That should be a good amount. see how the battery's doing. Okay, 33%. That's good. Maybe I should just turn down the brightness. I do have the brightness up quite high. Oh, it's gonna get all tangled up in that.
Oh wow, the birds are really making a ruckus outside. <laughs> They're always cackling. All right, so now to start making the body. So let me pull it back.
I might have to do this part off camera. Just trying to go through the back bump as always. So annoying to do like out in front of me. So I'll just go through the back bumps real quick. All right, there we go. Thank goodness.
Now, I think I need that anymore. <laughs> I needed that because it was like really early in the morning when I started the stream, but it's pretty bright now, so I don't need that. Definitely don't want to waste the battery on it. I am here now. <laughs> yeah, it was actually really busy for the first like good three hours of the stream, honestly, because I started at six thirty in the morning. <laughs> That's when I started the stream. And what time is it now? It is eleven thirty. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me show you what we got done so far. I'm actually just start now starting finally getting to the good part, like making the body. Uh, but we got the head done. Like, literally, I think, like, two hours into the stream, I wasn't, like, I had just finished the head. More because, you know, I was talking a lot, so it's, like, hard to keep count of what I'm doing, so I'm always, like, super slow. But yeah, at least we got the important part done with just the head, and then I got, like, the little four legs done. Those will be sewn on later. It's okay, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, uh, we move on the 28th this month, so kind of getting prepared. Like, pretty soon I'm going to, like, start packing everything up. Oh, I'm going to miss this real spot, though. Did I ever show you what it looks like outside? Hold on, let me show you. Here's, like, outside the window. Oh, my God, this cord is about to yank everything down. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to this real quick. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's the tablet. But yeah, this is what it looks like outside. I'm going to miss this spot. I'll move to where? Oh, we're going to, we're moving to Busan. Uh, cause John got a new job. Because the old, the new hog, so when the old hog went owner, like, cause she basically gave ownership to the math teacher. Cause she's opening a new spot, or she opened a new spot in Seoul. And a little piece of shit, like, cut Jung's salary and expected him to work more. Like, he was actually working every day. Like, even through, like, on Sundays. He was making him come in on Sundays, too. It was actually, Saturdays and Sundays were, it was supposed to be more, he would come in a little bit on the side, like, even with the old owner, he would come in for a very short, like, couple hour class for the high schoolers, or, like, for SAT preparation. But, you know, then you would have most of the day, but it came, then it became Saturday was a full day, and then Sunday became that day he did, like, SAT prep, but it came longer than it, what it used to be, and he was paying him less, and it was just like, ugh. So now we just call the old math teacher shit face. Oh god, I hope he never subscribed to my channel. Because oh, we used he we used to think he was such a great guy too. He was really he seemed like a really nice guy. <sighs> as soon as he became the boss, all went to shit. So Jung went around actually Jung got this job like back in October. So we've been like living separately basically for six months. But he does come like every other week to visit, so this week he's not visiting, but he's visiting next weekend. And actually next weekend is his last air quote visit because the next time he comes is our move day. I know, right? His boss be tripping. He's like, I want you to work more, but I'm going to pay you less. And also, um, he like he also stopped paying me. Like there were things that I would actually used to get paid for, like little things. And he just completely stopped paying me at all. Only the old owner would pay me. So it was off. It was just like, ugh. Yeah, I used to, like, make at least, like, 200 a month for a little bit. But when he came into... when <laughs> It's, like, so funny when I say this. When he come in, came into power, 
that's when everything went to shit. I actually know what's funny is that this new job, so Jung works at a like a company, like a startup company, and it's selling microprobe systems, like really small ones. Because I think a microprobe system was like a lot bigger, and now this company sell like they design redesigned it to be like a lot smaller, like this big, I think. And oh my god, he gets paid way more, and also. He just got a raise right after the internship period, like the six month, no, three month internship period. They were like, hey, by the way, we're going to give you a raise at the start of the new year. And he actually, he actually works, it's like a typical nine to five, right? But he said it's, the workload is so much less than it was at the hog one. The hog one, he had no break. That's another thing too. When the old owner was in charge, they would at least have like a dinner time break. Because the hog one, you know, like after school. So it's like the lunch period, but it's like around dinner time. The math teacher got rid of that. He put a class into that time, that one, that one hour time period. So like Jong had no time to eat and he'd be like starving by the time he came home. And it'd be too late because he would get off at like 12 a.m. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that was normal even with the old hog one. Like most classes end at 12 a.m., which is freaking ridiculous. It's so insane. Like, yeah, high school students should totally study till 12 a.m. Like. I'm sorry, what? They need to be in bed. I'm um, sorry. They, and like, then they go home and eat dinner before going to bed. Like, God, this is, that's way too dang late, I swear. Let me see. Let me put live chat, but yeah. But how have you and Tito been doing? I hope the weather's gotten better. <laughs> I'm assuming it's warm there now, probably at least, right? Because like, it's finally starting to kind of warm up a little bit. Now it's just like a little bit chilly. And I'm loving it. I'm like, finally. Because it was just too cold for here for too far too long. But I hope everything's going okay. I haven't seen... When was the last time you guys streamed? I haven't seen the little notification for when someone goes live in a while. Let me see. Uh-oh, let me make sure I don't go over. Let me recount this. One, two, three, four, six. And so this is the last round, okay. I was doing great. Uh, Tito lives with me. Oh, that's hella nice. And it's so awesome you're letting him use the computer. Because I remember, like, when he told me that when he came back from. Christmas break, like, after he visited his mom, he turned on the computer and it's, like, the graphics card caught on fire. I was like, oh my god, I would hate that so much. But I hope he gets a new graphics card soon. And because we need to all play uh, Devour together. Because isn't the new map coming out soon, I think? The, what, the pastor dude or the, is he a priest? What is he? The, basically the old, the old white guy. <laughs> character i think it's supposed to be his map right i think like where he's the monster but oh my god i really want to play that it looks like so much fun oh let me also show you what i made just the other day just yet uh yesterday yeah yet, yesterday morning i was about to say last night but then i'm like oh wait i stream in the mornings now basically i've become a morning a morning burb i like go to bed at like 8 a.m i mean, I mean 8 p.m 7 or 8 p.m. and then wake up at like 3 or 4 in the morning. Actually, it's been kind of perfect though because um, I'm still getting that like night owl feel. Uh, feel? Not feel. <laughs> that night owl feeling like because it's still really dark for really, like at least 3 or 4 hours. And we made a strawberry cow. Look how tiny. I gave it like a little strawberry purse. I mean, it's not a real purse, obviously. It's just a strawberry. And I glued it on there, but it looks like a purse. Will it stop being fuzzy? I wish it would like focus on it a little bit better. Oh well. Yeah, I really like how it turned down. I gave it a little strawberry. I think that when I rewrite the pattern, I'm gonna actually skip the two bits right here. That way it fits in the ear a bit better. Cause it kind of, I mean not ear, this is supposed to be the horns, but it kind of spread the horns out so it looks more like ears than horns. But yeah, I just gotta, I basically it was like a design stream where I just basically designed something on stream. Okay, I think I finished so, because I did to round seven. So I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to rejoin and do like my little C 
single crochet edge, that's what I like to call it. It's like where I basically go all, because when you do like flat crochet, it's like all bumpy here, right? Not all nice and smooth, so. Because I want to work in the round after this, so I need like single crochet everywhere. Oh, it looks good, thank you. I know I really liked how it turned out, and I ended up ra raiding a guy who, called Oat Milk. Um, he's one of my streamer buddies, and oh my god, he's so funny because like his theme is like cows and stuff. So he was like the perfect raid victim. <laughs> like, because uh, I was like, by the way, we made a strawberry cow, and immediately it's like, oh, why you made a cow? Oh my god, I want to see like that. And apparently he's moving to Ger oh yeah, he's gonna move to Germany in August. So it depends on uh, because of the whole crap with Rona freaking the Korean post office doesn't want to send stuff abroad, so that's why I kinda haven't gone into selling stuff yet. I mean I will for Korea only after we move. So I'm gonna set up like a little Itis Itis shop, that's what it's called. It's like Korea's version of Etsy. And it's basically, it's basically domestic shipping mostly. I think it's a little bit international to some Asian countries, but it's very limited. It's mostly like a domestic kind of, um, online shop for just the, for the country of Korea mostly. And so I thought that would be perfect, but I do want to make a commissions page on coffee. That way I can like sell to, rather than opening an Etsy, because also the Etsy fees and crap. I don't want to deal with that. And the shipping fees and all whatever. Or the shipping label fee, or what I guess, whatever it is. Um, so I'm gonna, and also I don't want to be open to possible Karens getting my stuff and then you know complaining. So I'm gonna just make a commission thing. That way, people who like my viewers on stream and or streamer buddies who wanna you know commission something. Plus also anybody who's like a friend of mine, I give them like a big discount. <laughs> like uh, Queen MJ. Uh, my Dutch streamer friend, uh, she commissioned me those galaxy earrings. I can't remember if I ever showed you those. Uh, we finally sent them off to her because she turns out she... We were going to wait because we couldn't send to her. Because the shipping was going to be $33. Because the only way to do international shipping now... Uh, is like using EMS. Unless the country is in a part of some kind of affiliation program with uh, the Korean post office. Oh, uh, yeah, with Uchegook. That's like Korea's UP USPS, like the baseline uh, postal service. They're still sending to places like Germany, France, and a couple Asian countries. I don't know which ones are on the list. I need to see the list, actually. But yeah, those countries they're still sending to because they're part of the affiliation program. Sadly, for some reason, the U.S. ain't on there. I'm like, wow, you, gotta, you guys got like a whole treaty going on. Why is the U.S. not on there? I wish it was. I would make a thing. Oh, that would make crap a lot easier. That's also why I haven't sent my parents, like, anything yet. Because if a tiny little package, like this small, barely weighing anything, with, like, little crocheted earrings inside, it's going to be $33 to send to the Netherlands. I'd really hate to think what a nice, like, big package full of like, all kinds of stuff is going to be. It's going to be, like, in the hundreds, I bet. And I just, we're just going to play the waiting game <laughs> until Rona just... It wasn't, well, it wasn't because of Rona, it was more because Omicron, actually. That's why. Because of, like, the recent flare-up with Omicron, they kind of shut down international shipping for a bit. And I was just like, no! Because it was just when we were about to send the earrings, too. If I had actually had made them quicker and sent them a while, about a week before, we wouldn't have had to worry about doing this thing. I'm, glad, I'm really glad she found a, she has a streamer friend that lives in Germany. So the German friend, Chibi, is getting the... I don't know if that's their real name, that's like their streamer name, but like, Chibi's gonna be getting the, um, package, and then she's gonna send it to, uh, Queen MJ. So I am thankful for that. Put there, let's see. But, oh my god, so much things to do. Probably, I'm thinking, def I definitely want my crochet room to be like the last thing I pack up, because I want to... I want to use it for as long as possible. So probably the 23rd or 4th probably will be when I pack it up. It's going to be such a sad day that day. But we hope to make the... I mean, the new spot's going to be really nice, though. Because um, we're moving to this apartment. Um, and Sodong, that's like the name of the neighborhood. And it's near the... It's uh, like a 10-minute walk to Sodong-yok, which is like the subway system. 
I know, right? Oh, nice, yeah. Just the problem is, um, when Jong went to go sign, to one, to look at the units, because we were looking at several different units, and then two, to sign the, he had to go there like three, three separate times, no, four separate times, actually. Um, and he says every time he goes there, he's exhausted when he gets back because you have to walk. I thought it was just a little hill you have to walk up to the apartment. No, he said it's a mountain, basically. Like, you walk real up like this. It's like San Francisco, almost. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, those, like, really steep hills. My god, I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm in for a, a rude awakening, probably. Because the Daiso is near the subway station, so it's really close, right? So... If I, and we're gonna be on the fourth floor and there's no elevator so I gotta walk. I mean, we right now we live on the third floor so it's just one more flight of stairs. But man though, there are some days where I'm like so tired and after I've walked up the flight of stairs I'm like, God, if I had to walk up one more I think I'd go crazy and now it's that's gonna be my reality soon. I'm gonna get a workout in. Like, oh my goodness. Why do stairs gotta be the hardest thing though to do? Like, even people who are, like, pretty fit seem to get exhausted by stairs. Something about stairs just, like, really wipes it. Just really wipes you out. Let's see. Oh, I did the whole thing already? Oh, wow. Sweet. I just have to connect to this. If the luck let me go through the loops. I think I crocheted that first one a bit too tight. Get in there. There we go. And before I go any further, I'm going to, like, cut off these, like, loose ends I've crocheted over. Because they're just going to get in the way. But you're going to get to watch the magic happen. I actually have one, like, in the making right now because I'm finally um, filming this to make a tutorial. This is what it looks like before you put all the French knots because you got to go back and put French knots. I tried doing bobble stitches in the round. It just wasn't, do it just wasn't playing out nicely. So this, act, this actually looked better. And it was, you know, a little bit easier. Yeah, it looks so weird <laughs> before you put it on, right? But it makes it easier. I'm going to have it where his head is sticking out. Put him there so we can watch over. Let me think. This was my second... No. I can't tell if this is the second one I've made. Because when I first made it, I actually made two. I made one for Jong because it's still on his backpack. And then I make this one for me to like to sit in the window. So this is like, this is my third one. And this is my fourth one. <laughs> I am debating if I should give this to the kiddos when they're both done. They don't play Fortnite, but like the two kids, I kind of, I don't want to say tutor. Because like, we, I really don't tutor them. More I just chat with them for like an hour. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a little debate class. I mean, because they already speak really good English, you know. So it's really more just practicing English with them. But I kind of iron this real quick so it stays a little bit flatter. Because anytime I crochet back and forth, it's always all curled up and I hate it. I mean, that's just normal for crochet, but I don't have a whole day and something to like wet this with water and block it. That takes too long. So I just take out my trusty hot glue gun and fake iron it. <laughs> But yeah, but how's Tito doing? Um, I heard he had a new... He's work... Is he still working for Amazon? I remember he said he was working for Amazon a while back. But at the same time, he said he was trying to look for a different job. So I didn't know. And that was like... Was that two weeks ago when he told me that? I can't remember. But yeah, I would imagine working for Amazon would be a really exhausting job. Especially because I remember he was saying about apartments. And <laughs> we were just talking about stairs, right? Like, good lord. Oh, the thought of having to run up the stairs up and down all day. No, thank you. That would be way too much. Way too much work. Wait, how's my coffee doing? Okay, we're like halfway. Because I already kind of knew this was going to be a super long stream. Like, this might go into the evening. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to see. Or maybe late afternoon. I kind of wanted to... I'm going to be too tired to film. I thought I was going to try to film the rest of the llama today, but that might have to be for tomorrow. Oh, he's still working for Amazon? Do they pay good at least? I've heard like, I've heard really mixed review about working for Amazon. Like, on one hand, I've heard like really good reviews. Like, oh, they pay so well. There's a lot of benefits. But then I also hear they work you to death. And it's like, 
when they don't pay well, I'm like, it's really confusing, like, oh, he hates it. Damn, that sucks. What happened, like, is he not working for his dad anymore? Or is it like a slow, is it like the slow season? Because I didn't know if logging is like a seasonal thing. So I remember before he started working for Amazon, he was working for his dad. Because I know he's been working for his dad for a really long time, but at the same time, I do know some jobs are like... You only work a certain part of the year, and then you have to, like, have a different job during the rest of the year. Kind of like teachers, right? Like, I used to think teachers got a summer vacation. And I guess some do if they have a part, maybe if they're married and their partner makes a lot of money, they can, like, have the summer off. But then I found out a lot of them have to get part-time jobs. And that, like, made me so sad. Because I used to think being a teacher would be the perfect job because you still got summer vacation. And now it's like, nope, you have to get another job. And I'm just like, ugh. Ah, oh, so it depends on the apartment, okay. I do, cause I knew, I do know for a fact like the ones that were saying it was horrible were warehouse workers. So I didn't know if being the delivery person was any better. Cause it could have swore some of the good reviews came from working in the, uh, like delivery part. But then again, that could have been someone just speaking out of their butthole. Wait, no, he decided to go out on his own. Ah, oh, okay, so he doesn't work with his dad anymore. Oh, I'm kind of glad though because like that job kind of scared me especially when he told me about the time like when the really big branch The branch that almost fell on him. I mean he had a branch fall on him, right? But like that bigger one fell beside him like god that scares me I was always scared like one day I'm just gonna hear that Tito like passed away in an awful logging accident because that job is really dangerous and like that kind of crap just scares me. Kind of like when my dad used to be a trucker. Like we used to, I used to like feel sick every morning. He'd go off to work thinking like, is this gonna be the last time I see him? You know. Let me see. I think I gotta do two rounds of this if I'm correct. Yeah, in purple. Well, does the Amazon, I guess, at least pay better than what his dad did? Cause I didn't know how much. Because there were some times I feel like I wish his dad would pay him more. But then again, I don't know exactly how much his dad paid him. I would hope at least, even if though it's miserable, I would hope the Amazon at least pays more. But yeah, I definitely hope he found something much better. Because I work for Amazon just would seem like it's rough. Oh, yes, it is. So they do pay more. At least that's good. But still... It sucks being miserable though. Not to mention dangerous too. Cause I mean like just delivering packages, you know, you never know whose house you're delivering to. Or like, I don't know, have ever any like Amazon workers have ever they been held up before? <laughs> I know, right? They get paid the best, but they're treated the worst. Like why? Why you gotta treat people so shitty? I hate that. I would say though, it was actually, well, I don't know, because tenant, because a stockroom job is not the same as a warehouse job. But like, at Ross, well, I don't, except for the Memphis one, I would say that. But the San Francisco ones, actually being in the stockroom was the better job because you actually got treated better. Because, you know, the people working up at the front, they had to deal with the Karens and crap and the bullshit. And we had to deal with all the rude customers, but actually in the back, we were like all like this buddy team, you know, like, and not in that fake creepy buddy way, you know what I mean? You know, some companies that are like, we're a family, and they, that really, Chipotle was like that, right? Chipotle was like that, and I hated that, like, I could scent the, the fakeness right away, and I did not like that. But like, in the back, it was like, we were just, a, you know, like, we were just like, you know, joking past it, but we were still getting work done. And that's what I feel like a warehouse should be like, you know, like, you know, like, camaraderie you know with the other and like I had the best managers honestly they were really nice except for the Memphis one well the, the store manager was nice but he ended up leaving not too long after I moved to Korea so that really sucked and my mom hates the new manager so now both the soccer manager and the store manager are, are vicious let me see Tito makes more than his tree job but he hates driving the truck Okay, no, it's usually the drivers themselves stealing what's well, good. I, I couldn't remember if I ever heard about, like, UPS drivers being held up or something. 
came off or like FedEx drivers. I can't remember if I ever heard something about that a long time ago, especially like during Christmas, you know, I don't feel like, but that's good if it's, if it's usually the drivers and at least that would mean Tito's a lot safer. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of pizza delivery drivers that's like super dangerous, I think. Because like, when you deliver to the door, you know you have to interact with the people. And you never know when they're gonna be a psycho. And or it's a planned ambush. Like, I, I really hate that too. Like, why would you rob a pizza person? The person's working minimal. I mean, I, I know they're just trying to go for the money um, that they're carrying for the company, I guess. But it's like, this sucks. Like, you're, you're working a crappy minimum wage job, why would you put that stress on another minimum wage, minimum wage worker? I really always hated those kind of like robberies. Never set right with me, you know? Wait, is this the, oh, wait. Oh, I finished the round. Okay, I was like, why is this, I was like, why is this stitch all funky? I'm like, oh, because it's my join stitch, whoopsie. Well, I can finally go through both loops now, thank goodness. Oh my god, people still on PS5. That, I'm like, that's why there's a shortage. All the PS... I know, right? Like, all the PS5s that got shipped out. <laughs> they got the drivers got first dibs on them. Oh my god, I heard like a... Like a what? A, a, um, like the Reddit story where this kid whose mom recently passed away so he had to go live with his dad. And he bought like a PS5 for himself because he has a, he has his own part time job, right? And the father was like demanding that he put it in the living room so the his half siblings little half siblings could use it and stuff and like ugh. So he just ended up selling it. <laughs> he said, "I'll just like get the money back and buy it later when I move out." <laughs> but yeah, like good lord, those things are they worth it though? I wonder if they're worth it. I mean, I've never had a I've never had a PlayStation though. <laughs> I think what I got confused was like when like people like PC gamers were like going crazy over the PS5 because I'm like you have a top tier PC like why would you want a PlayStation? That always could unless are there like certain games you can't play on PC that you can only get on P uh, PlayStation maybe? Because that, that would be understandable I would totally get that if there were like only certain games you could play on there especially like any new and upcoming games. Not to mention game like any new games are getting harder and harder to play on a console. I feel like, or I'm like, well, I guess that's why maybe that's why they made the PS5, because like games are just getting so advanced now. I remember it was like a joke, like you would, like you're gonna start needing a pro PC built PC just to play any game in the future, probably with the way how games have been like advancing. See, I think this is my last round of purple, so what? Okay, I switch to the dark blue next. Oh shoot, you know what? Do I have enough teal? I might not have enough teal. Oh no, I got plenty of teal. I need to have this out for later. Not teal, it's like more like cyan. Hmm, <laughs> every time I think of the word cyan, I think of that funny printer meme where it's like, Low on cyan. He's like, oh, it's okay, printer. It's just a black and white. And then this <laughs> printer interrupts, like, fuck you, low on cyan. <laughs> Printers be like that, though. But you know they programmed them like that, so you just buy more freaking ink. It's so stupid, too. Ah, so there's like PlayStation 5 exclusives that are really, really good. Ah, that's why they want them. Yeah, I mean, I can understand like uh, like the average Joe, like who just has a regular PlayStation, like, oh yeah, I can see why you would want a PlayStation 5. But I was like the, I was like getting so confused when people like, you know, really high up their streamers, like, you know, like PewDiePie and stuff, like PewDiePie and Jack stuff, they, got, they were like getting a PlayStation 5. I'm like, you guys probably have like the best computers in the world, like best gaming PCs in the world, and like with the best internet. I'm like, why would you want a PlayStation Five? But that that makes a lot of sense if there's like some exclusive games you can only play on there. That's how they get you. Oh, 
Let me see. Dang, I've already been going almost for six hours. I knew this would be a long stream, but I didn't think it'd be this long. Oh, I think, I think I've gone eight hours before. I'm going to try to get it to, will I even reach it up at eight hours? I don't know. If I try to crochet a little bit faster, maybe. Oh, and I saw Horizons Zero Dawn Forbidden West finally came out. I really want to play it, but I heard it's expensive. So, like, we're going to wait until, um, what do you call it? Until it goes on sale. <laughs> oh, yeah, when is, I think John said something about, like, was it springtime or summertime? That, like, Steam has a big sale, usually. Is that summertime? I can't remember. I remember, like, back in, like, what, Halloween and Christmas they had those sales going on. Like, I think that's how I got Devour for a little bit cheaper, because it was on sale. I mean, it wasn't that expensive in the first place. It was like, what, four bucks? Or was the sale four bucks? I can't remember. Oh man, time to switch to this yarn. It sucks because this is the perfect color, but I hate this yarn. This is like really shitty yarn. And it's not that great. Like, it actually will disintegrate if I pull too hard on it, but it's the perfect color. That's really how consoles sell games. It's like through video game exclusive games so they don't get ported to anything else. I mean, yeah, if you think about it, eventually, probably the console culture con console culture would probably die if it wasn't for like exclusive games because like kind of everyone's kind of getting on making their own PC now. Like back then it was like a only pro gamers did it and now it's like a kind of everyone's kind of doing it now. Which I think is really nice because I actually think it's good to invest in good computer because you can do so much more else with it, right? Like you can use it for work and stuff. And they run really well. Let's see, one of the primary reasons I like Nintendo consoles is because, yeah, you can get only like Smash Bros. or Legend of Zelda on the channel console. It won't be anywhere else. Unless it's illegal. That is true, yeah. Like I can understand for handheld consoles because that you can take anywhere, right? Because like... That's what I like about the Switch and stuff. I think Emily, man, my sister Emily got a Switch. She was like, are you going to play Animal Crossing with me? I'm like, I don't have a Switch, Emily. I can't play Animal Crossing with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe in the future. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, but yeah, like that, you can take anywhere, right? Like if you are waiting, like if you're waiting at the doctor's office or something, or, you know, especially, actually, I really think... Yeah, this will be really good for moms and stuff, and parents actually, like, you know, when you take your kid to whatever after school thing they're doing, like, you know, in Taekwondo, right, they were kind of just stuck sitting there against the wall. Uh, my mom was, like, the kind who would go hide out in the, not really so much at Taekwondo, I think she would sit at Taekwondo, but, like, whenever she took, like, Emily to ballet or something, or Sarah and, um, Katie did gymnastics, you know, she'd sit out in the car and read a book. But until Candy Crush came along, then, then, then she became a Candy Crush addict so fast. I love how a lot of moms just unanimously, unanimously came like Candy Crush addicts. <laughs> like it became such a meme. But I think, yeah, I actually would think moms would love playing like, you know, um, cute like little games. Um, like Animal Crossing and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was intended. I know you're trying to say steam cells, but it came out of stem cells. If that was intentional, that's freaking hilarious, actually. The biggest stem cells are summer, uh, black, okay, summer, black Friday, and Christmas, and fall, usually the cell isn't, it, oh, isn't that great. Yeah, I think it was like really small, like Halloween kind of sale. I didn't really buy anything big though. I think, I think the only thing I bought was Devour, I believe. I think it was on sale. I remember I got it pretty cheap, like four bucks, but I'm like, is that the normal price for it? Was it? Oh, and I bought Phasmophobia. Yeah, I got that's another thing I got on sale. I forgot about that. I bought Phasmophobia for a little bit cheaper. I think I got Phasmophobia for like, I think it was eight dollars. I have to check. I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it, that is the normal price. It's just four bucks. Oh, then I guess, I, I mean, that would seem kind of dumb to put, like, a really cheap game that's already super cheap on sale, though. Ah, so I think it was Phasmophobia I did get on sale, though. Because I remember it was a week, I think, isn't Phasmophobia, like, usually $12, I think? I think it was, it was normally, like, 10 or $12, and I think I got it for, like, 8 bucks, and that was, like, pretty nice. I mean, it's, that's already cheap, right? But I was, like, 
at the time, because, you know, we were trying to save up for the move, so I was really trying to penny pinch. Let me see this. Oh, yeah, Stream Deck. How's that been working out? I haven't heard anything about Stream Deck for a while. That was a while back that I heard about it. But I would usually assume Nintendo would probably, cr you know, crush the competition in anything. Because they've just been in the, they've just been in the, uh, that industry genre for so long. And not to mention, they've, they've made, like, the most, like, memorable games, you know, like, all, like, the Mario games. Oh, I want to play Mario Kart on the Switch. I think that, you can play that on Switch, right? Is it Mario Kart? Or was that the Wii? No, that, uh, the Wii U, I think, isn't that what came out before the Switch was the Wii U, right? Basically, the Switch became, I guess, what the Wii U was gonna be, I guess, and then they made something even better. Oh my god, we still have our little old Wii. In the, in like the, uh, closet, I guess? Yeah, like the little tiny closet by the door. It's supposed to be, a, um, what do they call it? Shinbaldang? Yeah, Shinbaldang is like, it's a shoe closet. But really, we just use it for storage. Like, the little, the little bottom shelves we'll actually use for shoes. But, um, you know, I don't have that many shoes, so. It makes a really great storage spot. But yeah, our Wii's up in there. We see, we were actually able to use the Wii at the old apartment because the old apartment's TV had... Because they had a TV that's included with the apartment. And it had the... Because we have a we had to buy a Korea... Yeah, we had to buy the Korean Wii, I believe. It was really funny because I actually brought the American... Wait, no. No, yeah, it is a Korean Wii. Yeah, we have two Wiis. Actually, we have the one I brought from America. Nearly burnt the house down when I tried plugging it in. Uh, it made it, cause you know, like that big thing, um, in the plug-in that like, pfft, that caught on fire. And we were like, oh my god, I hope, I don't know if the Wii's okay though, see that's the problem. Like maybe if we're lucky, just that got destroyed. So we're gonna, the next time we get to go to America, I'm gonna bring it back. And hopefully, it still works. If it not, if not, then we'll just have to trash it. Because my family still have their Wii. Because actually this, the second Wii we brought was the one that actually my aunt gave us. Because like, um, what do you call it? I didn't even know my great uncle had a Wii. But apparently they bought it, played a few games with my cousins with it, and then never touched it again. And it just sat in the basement for years and they gave it to us. And we actually used it a good bit at my mom's home before we left. Because that was back, uh, that was like back before the pandemic basically. That was my last visit to America. Uh, May 2019, I believe. But, there are some things that are really fun to use on the Wii, though. That's, uh, the only problem is, though, is the Korean Wii has no English option, so it's like, it all has to be in Korean, and so, like, it's just like, ag. I mean, it feels like simply playing a game, but when they try to, sh like, tell you instructions or something, that is, that's when I'm like, oh, crap, I don't understand a darn thing. I think, what is after the cyan? Yeah. But, uh, man. I'm, like, excited and, like, slash dreading the move. More dread, just dreading, because I'm going to really miss this spot. Because even though the big, we're going to use the big room as, like, the crochet computer office area. Instead of making it the bedroom. Because uh, that, that room gets way too much pretty sunlight for it to be the bedroom, honestly. Because we don't really hang out in the bedroom very much. He's going to be more hanging out in the living room where we're going to put the TV. Actually, that apartment, the, the apartment's basically... I mean, it's a little bit smaller than our current one. But that's because this apartment has such a huge living room that we really didn't need. But he said the rooms are the same size as this one. So that's like the important part. We're like, yeah, the rooms are the same size. It's just a, like a little bit smaller of a living room, which is actually perfect, actually. It's the space we need, because this one was way too big and open. Like, there's like this big area, like for the entrance to the- in between the kitchen and living room, there's just this big waste of space, and I'm like- Every time I go through, I'm like, why didn't they just make the rooms bigger in this apartment? Like, it was just such a waste of space, honestly, with how they designed it. I mean, I guess it'd be good if you're like having a lot of people over. I guess it, this- I think this was meant to be a family apartment. So they made the communal areas bigger. But man, though, I, m I much prefer a bigger room. <laughs> but 
and hopefully it will turn out well. And uh, even though the window in the big room is really pretty, it's just the view though. The view is going to be basically the apartment building in front of it. I mean, I think then you can kind of see a little bit of the city on top of it, because we're on the fourth floor, and since it's on a mountain, so you can kind of still see a little bit above the apartment in front of it. Oops, knocked him down. But you know, I'm going to mostly, my new view, instead of like nice beautiful trees and neighborhood kitty cats sunbathing in the sun, it's going to be more looking at people's laundry. Because the those windows will be technically to the back of the building, which is where they put the... uh laundry balcony area where you hang your clothes and stuff so that's gonna be lovely but I don't know I haven't seen it and I haven't seen the window view yet so I can't judge until we actually go there and sadly John couldn't get a picture of it because the people at the time there I don't know if they've moved out yet they were still living there so he couldn't really take any pictures because that's rude I guess I mean, I would have been fine if someone... Because we've been having people come in and out of our apartment, too, lately. Because I really wanted to, like, start um, crochet alongs with, on my Discord. Like, weekly things. But I never know if someone's going to, like, call and be like, Hey, we're going to come check the apartment, right? Like, I don't want that to get interrupted. So I think I'm going to wait till after the move. And because they're not very good at giving us a proper time... Like, I was told they're supposed to give, like, 24 hours. The very first time, they only gave me two hours. And then the next time, they gave me one hour. And then, like, the third time, they legit gave me 30 minutes. Thankfully, though, after that, the other ones were, like, five hours, three hours, which were a little bit better, at least, you know. But still, I was so mad at, like, oh, tw you want 24 hours? No, bitch, you get two hours. I was really pissed at the 30-minute one, too. I was like, you're freaking kidding me, right? Like... You're not gonna even give me an hour. Cause you know, you gotta make everything all presentable and nice. Cause you know, you want them to, you want them to buy the apartment, you know? I mean, it doesn't matter though. That by the time we leave, um, we're getting our deposit back. As long as we leave by that time, like by that time. If we were leaving, if we try to leave earlier, or not leave earlier, but if we tried to like cut the lease earlier, we wouldn't get our deposit back. That's why we had to wait this long. We were supposed to actually move, like, probably, like, February. I'm kind of glad, though, because, you know, I got to spend more time in this area, in this, like, little room. Okay, come on, get on there. Get on there, thank you. There we go. I just gotta crochet over this for a couple of, um, for a couple stitches and I can finally cut it off. Oh god, I can hear the birds just cackling. I mean, I, pro I probably will still be able to hear the, hear the birds at least, maybe in the new apartment, but I'm gonna miss seeing them. Oh, maybe there'll be birds that will hang up on the top part of the apartment? That'd be nice. I hope they do. That's one thing I'm gonna really miss is seeing all the birdies. Because, like, especially this spot has a ton of magpies. And they're so pretty. But man, are they loud? <laughs> Oh my god, probably the best memory was like when I saw that poor cat. There was like a cat fight going on and this other cat ran up. I got a video of it somewhere. Um, but I think I took it on the old phone. So I gotta find it. And um, it ran, the other cat ran up the tree. And the other cat finally left. But the other cat was stuck up in the tree for a while. And he was like slowly trying to get down. And they, these two magpies came up to him on the other branch. Really close to a cat, right? Like why would a bird will, willingly fly near where like a predator is right and they were just doing their like <laughs> it looked like they were laughing at him i swear to god it was so funny i need to find that that was a hilarious video that's one of my favorite memories i think it might be in my google drive actually because when i got my new phone i did dump most of 
my stuff into Google Drive, I think. So I need to find it. Oh no. Okay. I hate it when it does that. Like it just like reconnecting. Oh, let me check the battery. Yikes. Like it's just ever so slightly slowly charging. Because it was like 27% two hours ago. And now it's 36%. Like, dang, that's some slow charging right there. I even turned down the brightness, so I was hoping it would charge a bit more. But I guess it's not strong enough. Oh, well. I probably should have made this stream into a two-parter. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to make this all in one go. I mean, once I've made the body, it's like the rest is not that hard. So it hopefully won't be too bad. How is this turning out? Oh, it's turning out so pretty. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, I think for... Was it this one? Let me feel. Nope, that one's soft. I think the one Jong has is the one with cardboard in it. Because I had put, like, cardboard at the bottom. But actually, I mean, no one's going to really look there. So it kind of doesn't matter if it's perfectly straight or not. Okay, one more row of this. Oh no, I messed it up. Oh, it was supposed to be dark purple. Oh no. I'm not undoing it. Screw it. <laughs> I'm going to put dark purple on top of this. I messed it up. Oh, I knew. Because I was looking from this angle and I thought, okay, blue. I forgot it was supposed to be dark purple. Because I just happened to glance over at this. And I was like, wait, that's where the dark purple goes. Eh. I'll fix it. Uh, this so next row will be dark purple. Ugh. Could I be so dumb? I'll just have that ready to go. Probably no one would really notice though. <laughs> Oh my god, though, just crushing up the milk cotton is so much better. Because actually, the original one, this is not the yarn I used. I, the only milk cotton yarn was actually this part. And this was, um, like, I think the same, yeah, the same yarn brand as this, like the Hobby Lobby yarn, this one. And then when I got the Chinese milk cotton yarn, because I didn't even have this yarn yet. This is the Chinese one. I got this, like, sometime last summer. And this I made two summers ago. And... I was like, oh my god, it's the same exact color. So it's really nice to finally get to use two milk cotton yarns in this in this pattern, finally. Because it's so much easier to work with. Like, look at that. No fuzz or anything anywhere. I can frog easily. Because this yarn right here is a nightmare. This blue. But I don't think I have a... Sh of, I don't know, do I have a yarn that shade? You know what? I might need to look... Relook at it now, actually. I might have a shade. Because I did buy... Um, wait, when I bought my second badge of this, I bought more 
more colors that I bought like a lot of blue so maybe I do have a blue that shade or similar I'll just see but at the same time it's like on one hand I want to slowly convert all to just milk cotton but at the same time though I need to use my yarn too I just can't let it sit and rot so I really do need to try to get back into using it so I have been getting so spoilt using just the milk cotton I'm going to have to switch to dark purple, even though this should have been the first one. Oh well. Oh my goodness, I'm going to make a third cup of coffee soon. I mean, I guess I should have known this would have been a triple coffee day. What time is it? I swear to God, it feels like it should be 2 p.m. for me, but it's like only like 11 something. Oh no, it's actually 12 now. Oh. It's no, and I'm starving actually. But I have nothing quick to make for lunch. So I'm going to need to wait. Though this yarn is actually not too bad. I actually did find out though, like with the, uh, this acrylic yarn, the Hobby Lobby one, is that actually I made a mistake a long time ago by having so much yarn already splitted and ready to go that after being in the bag for so long, they get really fuzzy like this. And it's actually just better if I like split it a little bit before using it. Cause I think I split it this just the other day. And I can see it's like a lot less fuzzy. So yeah, I definitely made a mistake of having all those little backies of yarn. I've already splitted yarn because they're getting all too hard to deal with. So I gotta find something to make out of them. I need to use them up 
I guess before they get beyond, before I can even use them at all. Okay, and I can't believe I fudged the color combo. How could I do this? Oh well. I just hope nobody notices. <laughs> like any Fortnite fans be like, That's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be purple, dark purple. I mean, yeah, I mean, here, it shows I did it before. This is what I'm filming. I'm like, sure, yeah. I put it here properly like I was supposed to, but I'm running on low. Well, I mean, not really low sleep. I mean, I got a good eight hours of sleep, but like, I started this stream at like 6.30 in the morning. So, yeah, yeah. I like my brain's getting kind of, well, I guess what's, what's it called? Streamer brain? Yeah. I got streamer brain, so I'm not thinking properly. Oh, why the music stop? Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's just lagging. I thought maybe the video was done. Actually, let me kind of switch up the music. This is, we've been having the same music play for the last, what, almost six hours. Let's switch to some our Aries beats. A little something to kind of pump me up. Where is it? I can't see. It's too far away. <laughs> Let me go to their playlist. Shoot, which one do I want? Wait, this looks like it's like, I think they must have made a second. Oh, this is a second channel. Oh no, I need the other one. Because I know the other one, for a fact, I can use on stream. Um... Because I was like, I was seeing things like pictures of Van Halen and stuff. I'm like, oh, that, that would probably get me copyrighted. Okay, Aries. Beats. I need the correct one. There we go. Yes, yeah, the one with the picture of like the dude in the front. Like it looks like a sim, kind of. Okay, playlist. Yeah, no copyright. That's the one I want. So I think some of their stuff could be copyrighted. Oh, they made a new. They made a new one. Let's try that one. And it's an hour long, so that's good. Oh, that's. I was like, I thought that was a song for a second, but no, it's just a commercial. Something interesting. <laughs> Might be a bit loud.
I'm gonna move the camera back just a bit. Actually, I probably should be using my yarn ring for this. Make it a bit more comfortable. keeps going through like half of it. There we go. It's like cutting through half my yarn and like leaving this icky fuzz on the side. I was like, nope, we're not having that. Sounds new. We had time to switch to purple.
attached it. Let me do this off camera real quick. This one's being stubborn.
All right, time to change to the. I guess it's like what is this like corn blue or something? We're getting there. It's basically after this I'll sew on the legs and then we'll start on the neck. Actually, I might make the tail before actually. Just get that over with because it's really easy. It's just a bunch of chains in a magic circle. And you just end up sewing that on later. Oh, I think I messed up. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. I thought I went to the back loop by accident. Just a bit too loud. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell though. Oh, this is a new song. Uh-oh, what happened? Yes, continue watching. Don't pause the video, YouTube. I really, I really hate that feature they do, where it's like, you're just trying to listen to a song, and they're like, the video is paused. Would you like to continue watching? Like, yes, bish, I was watching already. <laughs> like, there was no need to pause it. Oh, yo, what's up, Crochet Kit? Currently frogging the blanket because I need to make it smaller. Oh, because it ran out of yarn. I hate that. Oh yeah, it's even worse when I've heard people like, they were like, ran out of some yarn, they're like, I'm gonna go buy more of that yarn, and to find out it was discontinued, and you're just, you're just like, well, crap. <laughs> Here's our progress, um, so far, we, we're almost done with the body portion part, and I'm gonna work on the neck after we sew on these little, not phalanges, because they're little legs, like the, his little legs. So finally getting the bulk of this done. Oh, and I messed up the color change too. So the dark purple was supposed to be after the, the medium purple and I actually just went straight to blue. I'm like, I mean, I got it correct on the one I'm filming, thank God, but <laughs> I'm like, crap. Cause I'm supposed to crochet a purple, dark purple uh, box and sew that on top, but I'm gonna have to make it out of this 
Oh, the worst yarn ever. I hate this yarn, but the color is so nice. So fuzzy. Like, right now it's not doing too bad, but in the beginning it's like, this is like yarn is really frizzy. I actually don't know what brand this is. That's the problem. I actually could never buy this yarn again, because I think this is the yarn I got um, from my friend Catherine. Like, their neighbor was getting rid of a bunch of yarn that their grandmother had or something. And this is like really old yarn. <gasps> And I have to, now I just gotta find another yarn this color. But then again, I really hate the texture. It's like really crappy, frizzy, scratchy acrylic. I just hope I can find that. I mean, I'm surely, surely out there. There's like something in that color. But that sucks about your blanket. Uh, oh, I really, really hate. Because you know, in a blanket, right? Like you're just crocheting a lot. And then the realize have to, realizing you're having to frock it, that would suck. especially back when I used to try to make afghans and stuff that's how I got carpal tunnel because I would like just crochet on the couch all day long or like I guess whenever I had breaks like during summer or something or Christmas break and just like yikes that put a lot of pressure on my not I don't know what's the word pressure or just it just wore out the, my wrist basically The weird thing, it looks so nice though once it's crocheted, even though it's shitty yarn, but it looks really nice. Like, that is what I do like about the splitted yarns. Like, even though it's like sometimes shitty to work with, at least it looks nice when it's crocheted in the round. Just when you crochet back and forth, that's when it looks like puke. Which is, you're gonna see that in a little bit when I finish the top. I know, right? Yeah, it does look nice. Just it feels like crap. It sound, feels like sandpaper. <laughs> That's why I brought my yarn ring out. Because, like, I did not want this. Because, like, see, I have a I have a line from earlier. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm a dingus. I should have been using the yarn ring. That's what I bought it for. I mean, to be fair, when I'm making, like, the small stuff, there's really no point in using the yarn ring. It would just be a mess. But, not mess, more like I'm taking it on and off so much. But like for long haul stuff like this, like where I'm just doing nothing but single crochet for so many rounds, it's perfect. So sad that this probably would not work for chunky yarn if I, I would imagine. But then again, I guess you wouldn't really... Oh my god, how would I? I would not be able to crochet like this actually, you know where you have your finger up? That would be too much for chunky yarn. I don't think I've ever seen anyone crochet with their finger up when they're working with like the really thick blanket yarn. That would be too much of a workout for your pointer finger. Oh, you do like making blankets, so see that all comes together. Yeah, I'm so sad I never got to do my sister's other F. I wonder if I still have the original Afghan, because I was supposed to, because they had bunk beds, because each, because I have three other sisters, so, you know, me and Emily would share a room, and Katie and Sarah had the other room, and they had bunk beds, and I was, my mom actually bought the yarn for me to make them, um, like a nice Afghan to, like, just cover it, just for looks, at least, for decorative purposes, so it didn't have to be too huge, just enough to cover the bed. And I made the granny square one and it looked really nice. And then I was going to make a chevron stitch one for my sister, but that's also when I, like, I got just hit with carpal tunnel. I think I may have 
Did I tell? I, I'm pretty sure I've told that story a bazillion times. But yeah, I kind of regret. Now she, you know, she's all moved out, and her and um her boyfriend Dawson uh, have an apartment together. So, oh no, man, I like even if I was to make her a blanket now, there's no way I would want to pay for shipping. Oh my god. If I ever get to visit her, maybe I'll just make one while staying there. If I can get back into the speed of... Because I used to crochet really, really fast. But I think that's why the tiny crochet actually really helps. Like, I just never seem to get carpal tunnel from it anymore. And I think it's because I'm crocheting at a much, much slower pace. Unlike before where it's like, you know, like, really fast, right? Oh, I miss... I really miss crocheting in Spanish class. I was really lucky. Like, whenever we watched, watched a video, Senor Romero would, like, let me crochet. And I remember crocheting my grandma's, um, blanket, actually. Not blanket, um, apron. Why did I say blanket? Did I ever crochet a blanket in there? I don't think so. I never did anything big. But I was working on the, um, apron. It was, like, a dark navy blue apron with white trimming and, like, little daisy, um, thing. Uh, like, I guess, like, where you would see, like, the buttons for an apron. I put, like, little daisies there. Oh, I can make a really cool decked out um, apron now. Now that I'm actually really a lot better at making flowers. Because, like, those flowers look, like, really childish. Kind of, like, like, yeah, some kid probably. I mean, I was, like, 17 at the time. But, like, yeah, it looked like a kid crocheted it. Or, like, the flowers anyway. But, like, I could, like, deck it out with some, like, using the smaller yarn. And make some really more highly detailed flowers. And, like, decorate it. Like, oh, that'd be so cool. But at the same time, that would probably be an apron no one would want to actually use. Because then they don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> but I do want to, I do want to crochet me an apron though. That's what I'm really excited about the yarn shop near the, our new apartment. Well, it's not, it's not near our apartment. It's like a 25 minute walk. But I mean like in the, I mean, but it's by where the post office is. And I'm actually thinking if I ever get, if I really get good up on um, getting Idis running and going. I'm going to probably have to go to that post office a lot. And I'm thinking, oh my god, just imagine. I just go drop off some crochet orders, you know, make and bank. And then come back and I go to the yarn, I go to the yarn shop in the, in the Shijang. Like the little market area. We're just going to have to make a map of where it is. Because I definitely do not want to get lost for two hours like my husband did. He said he just wandered around there for two hours and he finally found it. I, we do know it's on the upstairs part, so that's good. Let me see, I used to crochet in class, but now I'm doing other classes during classes. Aprons are cute, but I would never use one, right? Now, maybe making a, like, a decorative apron. Like, you know, like, some, like, someone's not going to use it, right? But they hang it in their kitchen as, 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 like, kitchen decor? I think that might be a good gift, I think. If I did something like that and they made it really pretty and decked out. Just no, you, you just don't actually use it. <laughs> and probably for that, I would just probably make the pocket either fake oh maybe i guess it doesn't have to be a fake pocket because then you could actually like stick some like fake flowers in the pocket <gasps> that'd be cute actually or maybe like a make a tiny apron like this big you know and just hang like make it a wall decoration that would be actually really cute that way you're not like wasting a crap ton of yarn just to make it a deck well, i guess it wouldn't be wasting because it's going to be a decoration but like it would use a ton of yarn if you're going to make it like life size it made me making like a cute, oh my god, like those what, 70s um, crochet uh, apron magnets. Or like the ones they made for the soaps. I, I need to make that. I never made one. I actually could make that up with the yarn I have already, honestly. I'm going to stuff this. I need to make the panel to sew on top, though. In you go. We're finally making some progress. Let me see. Last we checked, my battery was at 27%. And it's been charging for, like, at least, I think, two and a half hours. And it's now at 39%. It's, like, slowly charging. I mean, that's how it goes when I'm streaming. Like, it's using so much battery power. And I, I turned down the, um, the what? Brightness. Because sometimes I, I usually do have it on max brightness, which I really shouldn't. But I like to be able to check. How I'm doing, because it is hard to see, you know, when it's really bright and stuff outside, like, your phone screen is really dark. But, I don't like, I think, if I just can see where my general area is at, I can just see. Just as hard to see if I'm fuzzy or not, you know, like, if it's, like, if, it, if it's out of focus or something, that's a little bit harder to tell. 
but I think I've been crocheting in a, in a general middle spot, so I don't have to worry as much. Let me see. Maybe I can lower the brightness a bit more. Yeah, I'm going to lower it just... Can I make it... Oh no, oh my god, it looks... If I take down the whole brightness, I cannot see anything. It's like pitch black. Because it's so, it's so bright in here. But yeah. I know, isn't that funny, like, doing classes in other classes? I mean, I guess I would kind of do that too sometimes. Like, doing... I would always do my homework. I actually even had a routine, like... I would do homework first for, like, chemistry or something during, like, uh, first period. I forgot what was my first period class, though. That's so, it's so weird. I remember what my first period class is for my freshman year, but I cannot remember what it was for my senior year. Oh my god, senior, I mean, if I think about it, I might be able to remember. If I think long and hard about it, but if I can't remember what it was. Definitely wasn't English, because I swear to god, every freaking year, Somehow, magically, my English classes would just fall around lunchtime. It was so bizarre. I, except for that one year where it was math class. That was, uh... Oh, that was my senior year, wasn't it? Yeah, it used to be always around my English classes. Yeah, for the first three years, okay. Not all four, so yeah, but for the first three years, always my English class was perfectly the lunch period class. Okay, let me crochet... This part. And probably when I make the neck, I'm probably going to barely sew it on, like here. Um, I sewed it on quite a bit, but, oh, you know what? Oh, no. Because this is blue. Would I'm going to have to change that? <gasps> I'm going to have to change this now. I'm going to have to swap this to purple, actually, because usually it's supposed to be right, like right here, right? It's supposed to be blue. I'm going to have to make that purple now. And that means this will not be teal, but it will be... Wait, will it? Wait, let me see. Corn blue. Oh, wait, no, this means... Oh, wait, no, this has to be... Oh, this will be dark purple. Okay, never mind. I mean, it'll still look good. I know I freaked out. I didn't realize how bad I freaked up until now. I'm thinking, oh, no, because it messes up the neck amount, too. Oh, yeah, like, this year my English class is during the lunch period, so it's an hour long. Yeah, I got really, really lucky, because, like, um, was it, yeah, my senior year? Um, they had made a certain, oh, they had made your fifth period? Was it fourth? Yeah, I think it was fifth period. They had made it, like, the longest period or something, and I got so lucky, and I did not get it in, um, I didn't, or it, it used to be your fourth period was your longest period. That's usually when I would have English class. And then that, that one year, they switched it to your fifth period to be the longest class. And I think we got English for that one. And my, my math one was my fourth period. And I was like, oh my god, imagine if it swapped. I would have had a really long math class and I would have been miserable. I would have been a very, very miserable person. <laughs> Let me find out if I can find a bigger stack of the corn blue. I feel like that one, that might not be enough. Uh, oh. Also, what was funny for like senior year was that my longest period class, even though it wasn't my lunch period class, it was still the longest period class. I actually had it as my study hall, so I had a really long study hall. I just ended up working um, in the, the uh, what do you call it? The main office? Yeah, main office. I was like, one, I was one of those kids that they would like just come into the class like, hey, you want to work for the main office? I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's basically like, oh, can you take to this page, you know, like this file to Mrs. So-and-so. It was basically just running around, not running around the whole time, because most of the time I actually just sat in the chair. <laughs> but it was like, and just doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing but like, you know, doing homework. It was a really great time to get homework done. I mean, that's what study hall was supposed to be like, but since it was such a long period, I got to like just sit and chill for like a, for like a good hour. And then like 30 minutes was actually doing work. <laughs> like, you know, you just go grab mail, go send, bring a package to a teacher or something. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This sounds Halloween-y. <laughs> I'm trying out a new, Aries Beats made a new um, playlist, I guess, with the newer songs they made. And <laughs> this current one sounds very like Halloween music. Let me see, I have two study halls in a row and I help on the library mostly doing like what you did in the office, but add computers. Oh yeah, I got really lucky. They didn't make me do computers. I really would have been. Well, I mean, it's so weird. Right? Well, it depends on what they make you do with computers, I guess, but I'm always like worried I'm going to screw something up. But yeah, and it was, I don't know, did, did your school ever like, like at the end of the year, did they ever have like a little party or something? Um, they didn't, I didn't get to do it the second time, because I actually got, because I worked for the main office two years in a row, like during my 11th grade year, and then I came back for the, um, my senior year. But the first year, uh, when it was just, just me, um, we had like a cool like, little, they did a little party for us where everyone had pizza and stuff. And I'm like, that was such a really fun time. For some reason, they didn't do it the uh, second year. Uh, maybe because budget or something or I don't know. Which was really sad because that year I actually got to work with a freshman kid who was really sweet. He actually rode my bus too. He basically looked like Harry Potter. Like he was just this little, little tiny kid who looked like Harry Potter. And um, it looked like Harry, you know, like Harry from the very first movie when he looked like as 11. But like, um, I hyped them up thinking, oh yeah, at the end of the year they're gonna do this fun party. And then they didn't do it and I felt so bad because I thought they were gonna do it. You know, like, cause they did it last year. So I had no reason to think they wouldn't do it this year, but for some reason they didn't. I guess maybe whoever planned it, like maybe just got behind or like had some personal stuff going on. I don't, I don't know exactly how they do it. Like who plans it, who pays for it, you know? So I felt so bad hyping them up. Oh. Uh, but yeah, he's act back when we were talking about like how high schoolers look so young these days. He's the one I think of because the reason why is because I saw him when he was about to. I saw him a couple years later when he was about to graduate. He still looked the same. He this kid, I swear to God, he looked eleven. He was a almost eighteen year old and he looked eleven. And a lot of the kids kind of looked like that. Like they just didn't look like adults and like they just didn't look like older teens. Like. I know in the movies they use, like, what, adult actors, but, like, even back then, the teenagers just looked older. But, yeah, he's one of the ones I think about when I see, like, some teens. I'm like, man, they just look so young these days, and they still look young. I was actually, like, he just did not, he just did not age. Maybe he was a vampire. <laughs> but I, I know, I guess, I guess for a boy that kind of sucks, because they're like, I want to look old and manly. But at the same time, though, like, bro, hold on to that youth, you know, because, you know, it's going to pass you by one day. I guess I know kids who always hate looking young probably hate getting told that. I mean, I mean one day. Like that's how my grandma was. She was always told she looked too young. Like when she was um in high school getting ready for prom, they told her, "Girl, you're too young for prom." And she's like, "I'm 17." <laughs> and apparently she looked like she was 13 or something. But then again, my grandma like even though she's in her I think she's in her about to reach her 90s, I think. I'm not sure, I gotta recheck. She's either in her 80s or her 90s. And she still looks like a 60-something year old, actually. Even though now, sadly, because of the dementia, she's, you know, not as good in the brain. But, like, when they dress her all up, she looks like her old self. It's really scary, actually. <laughs> Wait, not really, but I wish we did. I know, right? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, they didn't do it the second year, so... <laughs> But maybe we think it was um, because the other, there was another girl. Actually, oh yeah, there was another girl I worked with. But she kind of left like midway through. But she had told me they would do a little something at the end of the year. She told him that was like normal. But yeah. I felt bad for hyping him up. Oh my god, your dad's the opposite. He started having gray hair when he was 13. Oh man, that sucks. Was he stressed out? I wonder, like... I do kind of really wonder if like, you know, and they're like, oh, it's just genetic and really just that kid just happened to be really stressed out and that's why they got gray hair young. I kind of had a slight opposite problem too. It's like, well, except for my voice. That was the, that was the weird thing is I have a really young sounding voice, always have. And, um, but my face, I actually got mistaken as a, as a teacher a lot of times, especially how I dressed in high school because I wanted to dress 80s, but there was like, 
really no place to get 80s clothing, not even at the thrift store. Everything, everything at the thrift store was like early 2000s stuff that I hated, so... Nowadays, you can go to a Ross and find like, because now they're making clothes for that demand, because Retro's in now. But at the time, I would just end up wearing a lot of my mom's clothes. And like, just a lot of like mom jeans and a button up blouse, and that was basically it. And maybe like a cardigan. I used to steal her gray cardigan all the time. So I just looked like a perpetually 30 something year old. And I did my hair like Fair Fawcett. I mean, I still do if I can, uh, but not to the extent that it used to be. Just because I don't have the product, I don't have access to the products I used to use. That would make my hair super fluffy. But yeah. I even had one kid one time, he just saw me. I think he was ditching class and he saw me. He looked so scared and he's like, he actually, <laughs> he tried to duck and hide from me. I'm like, bro, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> All right, you've been in the same for a teacher so many times. I know, it's like, kind of, it's kind of funny though. Like, you could like abuse the power and like just... <laughs> Like, you can, like, threaten a kid, like, what are you doing? You know, like, get back to class, and they probably would believe you. And that was some fun time. So the problem is, like, as soon as I opened my mouth, though, then they'd be like, ah, yeah, you're not 30, are you? The worst part is, is, like, what if, what about when I am 30 and I still sound like this? That's gonna really suck. When will my voice ever mature? Will I just be perpetually stuck with this? Partially it's because of the lisp, though. I actually did not realize I had a lisp until I started hearing myself when I would rec record or listen back on old streams. I'm like, wait a minute, do I have a lisp? And it's actually because my overbite, I think. So I'm hoping that when I get braces finally, that will fix it. I know, right? It is so much fun. Like, and you kind of get away with a lot of stuff too. But yeah, I've been thinking of like a... Like, I don't know if I'll ever really get into making comics. I need to get back into drawing. But at the same time, I'm doing so much, you know, trying to do so much with crochet. So I don't know. It depends if I ever find the time to get back into drawing. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool to make a comic of, like, like a group of girls who, like, at school, they just dress like little old grannies. Like, they're just, like, you know, they look like nerds, right? They wear no makeup. They just wear their hair messy. But like a, like a sweet, like a librarian, basically, like, the cute messy bun. Have like the what big glasses that I've been seeing on um actually that trend's really popular here in Korea. Those really really big they're not quite circles like Harry Potter glasses, but they're kind of like like an oval shape and they're like very thin frames, usually like gold or something really delicate. Like wearing something like that. Wearing you know, wearing chopsticks in their hair, like cute messy buns, cardigans and sweaters and they crochet in class or whatever or knit. But uh by Outside of class, they're like punk rockers riding motorcycles, like they're like their their own like little gang. Like this takes place in the 80s. That's what my idea. They're like an 80s like um punk rock gang or something. But they like fight bullies though or something. You know what I mean? Like they're not bad people. They just look tough and it's like they live double lives. I thought that'd be such a cool comic actually. But I don't know if I'll ever get around to making that. But I thought that'd be cool. Like, cool story idea. <gasps> Yo, frick. Why is the AC on? Oh, uh, wait. I thought I didn't see it. I heard, a, I heard a really weird sound. I'm like, I hear air. I'm like, why am I hearing air? reason this remote to the little lamp we bought off aliexpress somehow controls our um <laughs> our air conditioner sometimes not all the time but sometimes and it's so weird and bizarre because i was like why do i hear air blowing all of a sudden i thought it was coming from outside like i thought it was windy but when i looked up i saw the trees are standing still they're not moving i'm like what's making that air sound i look behind me the damn air conditioner is on that's the last thing i need on at the moment it's still chilly a little bit, you know. Oh yeah, that would be interesting. I know, right? It'd be so cool. Because I've always loved, like... Maybe not full-on 80s guff, but like... I don't know if you know Sisters of Mercy. But like, someone like Patricia Morrison. Uh, I really like her style. Because I, I always thought 80s golfs looked really kind of creepy sometimes. But, like, when I saw her, I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. It's, like, a really good balance. 
Like, I thought she looked really dope. Because I've seen, like, whenever you, like, look up images of goths from the 80s, you see, like, people with, like, the, like, really thin, like, little spiky mohawk and, like, the very thin brown. Like, no, that, that's too much, you know. But Patricia, uh, Patricia Morrison looked a lot like, like a very, like a vampirist or something. Like, she just looks so elegant. But also punk rock at the same time. Or some of the outfits, like, uh... Uh, I think, I think her name's Susie, yeah, Susie from Susie and the Banshees War, like, I love music like that, and I thought that'd be such a cool, cool aesthetic, I guess, for them. But I would have to, that's the problem, though, I would have to get, I would have to get good at drawing clothes, and I suck at drawing clothes. Maybe one day I'll have the time. But at the same time, though, I really want to focus on crochet, though. Because so I do want to start, like, selling my stuff. So that's going to take up quite a bit of time when we move. Let me see. Another idea would be that if a student who embraces the fact that she looks like both a teacher and all the teachers love her. I know, right? Like, yeah, the person who's trying not to be the teacher's pet pet but like finally embraces that I am um, but I don't know because the teacher's pet can be different because like on one hand some people would label me as a teacher's pet but it's like all I was was just nice to the teachers like I didn't butt kiss a teacher you know what I mean I feel like a teacher's pet where those like uh I don't know if you ever saw recess like that 90s kids cartoon um uh what was his name it was a kid who um always snitched on everybody Was it Ronald? Ah, oh, I can't remember his name. But he was like, funny. Because he always snitched on everybody. Let me see, how many rows did I do? One, two, three, four, five. I gotta do two more rows. Oh yeah, same, yeah. And I had the ideas, the reason why, like, the, the group of girls who like, dress like little old librarians basically at school what one reason was because you know they have to wake up early so they don't really feel like putting on the leather jackets and all the makeup and like especially back in the 80s right you had big hair so that's a lot of hairspray like they just didn't feel like doing that at no at like three in the morning right and another reason is because they want to be you know they're trying to keep like a low profile in a way but at the same time, they're not faking it because it's like on one hand, that's like their true person. They do love things like knitting and crochet and like quiet time. But at the same time, they love like riding the motorcycles, being wild or whatever. Um, I do have them like not drink in, in the story in my head. I don't have them like drinking. Not because of like, oh, under underage drinking is bad, which it is. But like the, the big reason was because they're really good at fighting. Because like they all do like their own type of martial arts. So it's more like to keep them like at the ready. Because, you know, when you um, drink or anything, you know, you don't want to be incapacitated. So that's, like, their reason for, like, abstaining from alcohol, at least. <laughs> like, it gives a less less lame reason to be like, alcohol's bad, say no to drugs. You know, like, that, the lame, this, you know, because I know, like, it's the right message. But to young kids, that seems lame, right? But to them, they're like, no, we don't drink because we need to be f ready to fight. <laughs> Basically. But yeah, and it'd be even cooler if it could be turned into an anime. But oh my god, how I wonder. Well, I mean, I mean, they made animes in the 80s. So, like, I'm trying to think of, like, how would you design it, though? Like, in 80s, like, it's, cause it's gotta be 80s style. Like, hair and makeup and, um, clothing. Not to mention, like, the architect needs to be a little bit, you know, retro. Okay, I think it's our last row. Then I can just do a what I like to call a single crochet edging, where I just like rejoin with new yarn and like just go over the round and put like three single crochet in each corner to like make it actually you know what I might try actually wait no they'll mess up the stitch count though I thought about maybe I could just do two single crochet 
like and then chain two in between that that makes like a sharper point but I forgot that would mess up the stitch count and the, the only reason why I do three single crochet instead of doing like single crochet chain two single crochet that makes a nice because that usually makes a nicer point but I need I want to be able to like crochet in it like that's what I did for here so I can easily go through the back loops I need to pull this. I, I crochet this way too tight. Okay, now I'm gonna join. Oh, yeah, same. <laughs> I'm gonna join with the new one. There we go. Let's see, Mom got some cherry tomato sisters to cheer me up and they're amazing. The skin has a crunch like a snap. When you break through the skin, they're so sweet. Oh yeah, actually I just had cherry tomatoes uh, just last week. Like uh, my mother-in-law had bought some. Ah, I really need to get some more though. I got them one time for really cheap, but the prices have been kind of up a little bit ever since. Um, was it last summer? Because they're like... The price of tomatoes sadly went up for a good bit in Korea because of like just a bad harvest, basically. Oh, even like one of the pizza shops we liked going to just completely stopped using pizza sauces, the sauce. Like we just used cheese sauce only. Which is that's really funny because cheese is expensive in Korea. And the thought of like tomatoes being more expensive than cheese was crazy. Uh oh, did the music stop? I guess it did. I'll restart it. It's so weird. I just watched Lord of the Rings just last week, but I have the, I have the weird urge to rewatch them all again for some reason. So I think I might do that one more time before we move. But yeah. Oh, have you ever tried oven roasted cherry tomatoes? Those are so good. You like slice them in half, and there's a little bit of um. A teensiest bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt and sugar on them and bake them. Like, oh my god, they're so good. Ah, shrike. I just pulled through everything. I forgot this first one's a bit loud. Oh, I actually have not seen The Hobbit yet. I really need to watch that, though. I think The Hobbit is like Bo Baggins, um tale, right? Like, I I used to think The Hobbit was something that happens later, but then when I started reading up on it, I'm like, oh, so this is like the before story. And I'm like, that was like, that actually intrigued me. I was like, I don't want to watch it now. Because I, I feel like that would actually make more sense, actually, to watch The Hobbit first. Because, you know, since it's the before story, right? So, actually... Because sometimes when I watch The Lord of the Rings, especially when I rewatch it, because I haven't seen it in so long. Last time I thought I was, like, still a kid, actually. Um, and I finally have the... Tr I actually finally bought the... Tr the what, what? They had, like, a trio bundle on, um, Google... Um, uh, what do you call it? Google Play, yeah. On Google Play, and I had bought it. it just, I, I just haven't watched it yet, and I finally watched it last week, and I was like... A lot of stuff didn't make sense, like, it, it, cause it feels like you're jumping into a story that you don't know the lore to. And I feel like watching The Hobbit would help fill, cause a lot of people actually said when they read slash watched The Hobbit, it felt, it filled a lot of gaps in, into the lore, I guess. 
Let me see, how could you talk and crush at the same time? I can't do that, and yeah, the Hobbit is the before. Actually, I have crochet way slower, like, I probably would have been almost done <laughs> whenever I'm talking. But yeah, it's a lot- it was really hard in the beginning, actually. Um, where is it at? My first stream was making Mulan, and I had made, like, a little mistake, like, you can see, like, how the ears are kind of lopsided. Actually, it's kind of cute, though, but usually Mulan's ears are, like, perfectly straight up. This was what I made in my first stream. This was- and this ended up being a six-hour stream, I think. And usually this only takes me like th three hours to make, I think. If you count in the time, like splitting the yarn to get it ready at, at the same time. Um, but yeah, and it, it took me like twice as long. I'm like, oh my goodness. But yeah. But I've gotten, it does, it kind of takes practice, I guess. Because, you know, eventually Louis got a lot better at it too. Okay, I'm, Louis's a real pro at being it. Because he has to talk to a lot of people, actually, while crocheting like he has like a hundred people watching him actually i remember just watching him last year like usually he would have 50 to 60 people watching and i've noticed lately like at least a hundred now watch him so it's really cool seeing like that growth i'm like but i'm also thinking at the same time oh my god i don't know if i could keep up with that many people okay I will say though, doing regular single- that's why it was really easy to talk to during this, because it's just single crochet. It was really hard to, with that though, that's why I kept messing up a bit. It's like you have to like count at the same time. And it's a little bit hard to see the stitches from- from over here. Cause usually I'm- I'm like this. Usually in real life I'm like this, I'm like crocheting right up to my eyes. Cause not just for being able to see better, but like something about it, you just- I just had better control over the hook. When it's up that close to my face for some reason. And of course my elbows are propped on the table so that helps give a little bit of control. But when they're extended out like this, it's a little bit harder. And it makes me crochet slower too. But at the same time though, I really shouldn't be putting my elbows on the table. I used to think that was just a manners thing, but actually there's a little bit of health truth to that. Is that, um, you'll end up kind of pressing your cubital tunnel? Yeah, the cubital uh, nerve or something. That's what happened to me is like, I thought my carpal tunnel was coming back. Then when I googled what fingers were numb, I realized it was in di they were different. Because usually before I think carpal tunnel was like over here would be numb. But only like this side was numb. And I'm like, I don't remember being numb on that side. And when I googled it, it they said, oh that's cubital tunnel and it's usually caused by having too much pressure from putting your elbows on a hard surface. And I'm like, well that's exactly what I've been doing. So crap though actually if i get like a pillow or something that might help it honestly because that's what the problem is it's on a hard surface i need to get me some skater like elbow pads or something i wonder if i can find that would be nice or maybe i just if i can find some like little tiny decorative pillows and then like just strap them on oh god that would look so ridiculous though but, i mean as long as it's just by myself it really wouldn't matter I do want to start making, st I want to, that's another thing, I really need to try to see if I can make a studio vlog at least in this apartment before we move. Because that was one of the things I was really excited about at this apartment was I was going to make studio vlogs, but I never ended up um, selling stuff, so I always felt kind of weird. Uh, I did think about maybe doing it just as a, you know, oh I'm a YouTuber so this is how I film my video, but that then I realized I would need to film myself with something else while I'm filming me crocheting and I'm like oh god that doesn't work but since I am going to start Ida soon I can like at least I know I'll be doing studio vlogs in the, in the new one when I start to sell on there because that's like no different than being like an Etsy studio vlog basically I know that's the I know my arms like a t-rex I know right it's just so much easier I wonder if it's like a nearsightedness thing because yeah because I'm pretty near side and even with glasses on right like I can see but something about just being able to really see all the details really up close and have that control really helps a lot okay I might need to iron this out with my hot glue gun yeah but me and when me and Takoyaki were talking he said I should probably do because I wanted to do like a like little tips and stuff for like when you do tiny crochet and one of them is going to be hot glue ironing and I'm like should I just put it all in one video it's probably not going to be that long of a video or should I do really short like two three minute videos 
and put them in a playlist and he thought that might be better. And I guess so, to be kind of honest, because I think because of TikTok and stuff, people's, um, I, I mean, I'm going to sit with me too, our, like, attention spans have really gone away. But then again, at the same time, like, even young me, before I ever watched anything like TikTok or stuff, I would, like, kind of get tired of, like, those really long crochet tutorials, the ones that are, like, hours long, like, I just couldn't sit through them. I would, like, have to skip through. To be fair, though, a lot of times they would not be, like, speeding up <laughs> when they were doing something simple, like, or, like, just fast-forwarding. Like, they would just show the entire thing, and I'm just like, gosh, no. Oh, whoopsie. I like this new song. Yeah, this is definitely one of their new ones. Let me turn it up. This one, for some reason, was not as loud as the other ones. Okay, there we go. Let me do the edges a little bit. This is like, I don't know if you can see how fuzzy, see all that fuzz? I just don't get that from the milk cotton, but man, acrylic is fuzzy as crap. It might be good to do shorts and then put them in a playlist, but one video would be helpful if someone needed help because it would be all in one spot. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking because it probably would not, because there's probably, there's not that many things I have, I guess, to say, like that many tips, but I have a couple. Like one, using the nail dotting tool. Or two. Oh, that's the problem though, because if I make them shorts, then the problem is, is that uh, shorts, the watch time doesn't count. And that was actually my whole point of trying to make maybe short videos. Something that people will watch all the way through to help kind of, and something people be more likely to click on and watch the whole thing was to help build up the watch time. Because that's my only problem is I don't, because I'm still not monetized on YouTube because I haven't reached the watch time yet. I think I'm at... 1300 hours and you need 4000 hours and that's the problem is actually when I looked at my lifetime hours It was like 3000 so it's like almost there, but they only count 4000 hours in one year and I'm like uh, Actually, I had it up to 14,000 and it went back down to 3000 So I'm like, oh no any watch time from last year has dropped off like a hundred hours. I'm like crap So that's what I was trying to think of like small, but the YouTube shorts is actually really good for like uh marketing i think because that's what i've seen a lot of people uh do is like they'll have they'll make really good shorts and then you end up watching that's how i found call me chris it was actually because her youtube shorts and now i actually just watch her full-blown youtube uh videos actually because she's just such a fun person to watch that's why i'm trying to make my uh tutorials a lot shorter not so long even though that's the thing is i actually do fast forward and stuff and sometimes it'll still end up being like 30 40 minutes long and I don't know and at the same time I want to do part videos but at the same time I feel like people also hate having to go watch another video like it feels good when you have it all in one video but at the same time they probably don't want to sit through and watch it all <laughs> uh oh let's see get on there oh wait I forgot I have this which one should I use or how about this let me keep it on this side that way, if I run out of string or some, if this one disintegrates, I'll have like leftover string I can use. Or I'm thinking maybe make it one video and then make separate videos, like, and put it in a playlist, like, call it something like I don't know, quick quick tips or something. I don't know. <laughs> Main thing for sure is because you yeah, have the attention span. So if you made shorts inside a main video then you'll be able to have your cake and eat it too <gasps> oh that's true like maybe they'd come and see the uh main video like make a couple shorts of tips because actually yeah showing the ironing one might be cool and also like uh having a nail dotting tool because this is this has made life a lot easier oh and having like the pin shirt like these have made life so much easier because you know i can pull stuff through Maybe, and one tip could be, like, using the pliers to pull your, um, needle through. Because a lot of times when you're trying to sew, especially because you're using yarn, you need a slightly thick needle. And sometimes it just gets stuck and it doesn't want to go through. And yeah, I end up having to use that to pull it through. I actually got that one from just watching people's, um, 
Instagram uh, reels of crocheting. Yeah, I saw a couple different people doing that, using the pliers to pull their uh, needle through. And I'm like, gosh, why? I've, I've like, I have these pliers here. Why haven't been using that? Oh my god, I'm a dingus like that. <laughs> I was literally thinking like, why I didn't think of that. Oh yeah, that whole made sense. Oh yeah, it did make sense. Yeah, oh, it'd be so nice if the short, if the shorts watch time could count. That'd be so perfect. Oh, maybe in the future, maybe shorts will count because I feel like there's some channels that have nothing but YouTube shorts actually, and I'm like, it sucks to think that if they're not getting any kind of watch time from that, because a lot of the, and also that's another thing. Oh wait, I think I know why, because there's no ads on them. Is that ah? That's why this probably doesn't count, right? Because every time I've watched a YouTube short, one thing, they also replay a lot. And two, um, you don't get an ad. Ah, oh, shoot, that would all, so that would kind of mean if they did, if they were going to count it as, as watch time and you could make money off of them, they would have to mean you had to start watching an ad every time. And that would kind of probably mess it up, I guess. That would mess up how shorts work, so I guess that probably wouldn't work. But yeah, I think, because I think you can add, can you add a, I could put a link in the description, I think, right? YouTube shorts. Because, um, that was actually my original plan when I did the sunflower short. Was I thought I was going to have the sunflower video done by then. Um, and say, here, how to watch it. I mean, I did now. I linked it later. But I really should have actually waited till the video was done editing. Because that would have been a really good marketing thing. But I went ahead and just, like, did the edited the YouTube short because it was easier to edit. Because I wasn't done translating the, uh, what, the crochet parts to Korean yet? So I was like, ah, I don't want to put the video out just yet. Until I'm done, like, translating. But yeah, I definitely do need more, more tactful. Oh, I probably, that means I probably need to actually make a Fort, a Flute Llama, a um, 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 what do you call it, short. Before I upload my video. Or app, or right, oh, app, whoopsie. Or right after I upload my video. Oh my god. <laughs> These nails catch everything, I swear. Uh, I want to push the phone back down. It kind of popped out. No, 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 don't zoom. There we go. Yikers. Like, just the very edge of my nose. When I was trying to bring my hand back down, it caught the edge of my phone. Like, what the heck, man? Let's see. Oh, no, I'm getting low on coffee again. We're getting there. <laughs> oh, my God, though. It's going to take forever to do the French knot, so... But at least I can chill during that part, and I haven't had lunch yet. But I don't, that's the problem, I have nothing quick to eat, though. Everything I have, I need to, like, at least cook for, like, ten minutes. And I don't really want to leave the stream for that long. I guess the quickest thing would be to make would be eggs and toast really quick. I don't know. I'll have to see how that goes. I'll just see how I feel if I can hold out for a little bit longer. Man, this is like a moment when like microwavable chicken nuggets would do really well. Oh, I just realized I didn't fill this up enough. Well, I mean, that's fine because I usually fill it up completely right before I finish sewing it up because if I try now it's just going to be a mess this is going to be this, it always looks ugly too when you sew it but it doesn't matter because it's going to be all covered in french knots ow soon oh my god I'm like stabbing myself here ow that went deep I don't see anything so at least no blood came out that's good but hopefully these turn out really good I can like give these to the kiddos even though they don't play fortnite Oh my god, imagine if they actually discover Fortnite because I give them these and then probably their parents will hate me. Because they'll be like, dang it, now our sons are addicted to Fortnite, they don't want to do their homework. <laughs> but actually though, not many kids play Fortnite though, so I guess I probably don't have to worry about it. Because I think they'll like these regard, kind of like what, um, uh, like what, was it, who was it who said it? Oh, Stranger Danger, like what Stranger Danger said. They don't play Fortnite, but they would like this as a plushie. Like, I think kids will- kids like just the colors and stuff of the Fortnite Lulama, and it looks funny, and it looks cute. 
It just it looks silly. I just imagine though the parents are gonna be like, what the heck is this? Like, what is this? Where is this from? And I'll have to show them a picture. <laughs> like, it's, it's just from a game. Oh, and I need to... Oh, I can actually post this to my other Instagram. Because I have the other coffee and crochet Instagram. The one I made. I, I made it for Twitch. Because it's supposed to mostly be like when I go live on Twitch. For, game, for gaming, anyway. If it's not crochet. I don't know. Because it's not fully supposed to be just for gaming. It's supposed to be like both crochet and game. But only like gaming crochet. You know what I mean? Like if I'm if I crochet any video game characters, I will put them on, on both Instagrams. But like if I crochet, you know, like my flowers and stuff, I'm like, I'm not gonna post that on the other Instagram. I'm gonna keep that to my pure purely crochet one. But this would be good to put on the um other one. Uh, I need to stuff this in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the other one. Uh oh, I would wait for you to eat. Don't wait too. I know don't wait too long. Eating isn't important. I mean that's true. I mean my plan was uh I would probably like make pasta or something again. That was actually funny because Rebecca was just talk a little, but I was gonna say a little while ago. I'm like wait that was c quite a few hours ago. <laughs> was talking about like when you break the pasta noodles. I'm like oh I do that. Well then I guess after I finish sewing this up, I'll go on, like a quick. Oh, wait, we do have chicken. I can eat. Oh my god, I forgot we had popcorn chicken. I probably should. I was like, should I save that for Jong? Um, I think I'll just buy another pack. Because to be fair, it's like already two weeks old. I mean, frozen foods can stay for a while. But I'm like, it's like near the... It's like not that much left. And I'm like, I'll just buy him a new pack for when he comes visits. Uh, Next. Oh, this. Yeah, this upcoming Friday is when he's coming. And it wasn't that uh expensive. <gasps> Wait, I think I saw. I remember. Uh, Home Plus had a one plus one on their on their chicken, which that chicken actually tastes better to be, in my opinion. I really oh, but that was back in February, so the deal might be off. I don't know. They, they sometimes will have one plus one deals that go on beyond just one month. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope. I'll check tomorrow because that'll be good. Because that, that chicken's actually cheaper too. The one I bought it. Um. The Taybok mar market was a bit on the pricier side. But yeah. I guess another fast thing I could have made would be like oatmeal or something. But I already had that this morning and I don't want to eat oatmeal again. <laughs> More because it's like quick to make right but it's so slow to eat. I've never been able to eat oatmeal fast. It actually kept me like it kept my hunger down for a good long time. I know pasta and chicken are an amazing combo. They actually are like, uh, like I ran out of meatballs, so I used a little. I only used a couple of like the uh, microwave chicken. I forgot I, I thought I used it all, but then I remembered I forgot I saved some left. So what I think I'm gonna do, is I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make some toast, and because there's like there's like just a small handful right of chicken left, like it's just uh popcorn chicken. I think I'm gonna make a, <laughs> I'm gonna make a popcorn chicken sandwich. <laughs> Almost done frogging. Now I have to. Re <gasps> you have to recrochet the seven skeins of yarn. Oh my god, that's a lot of frogging. Holy crap. Uh oh, okay. We're near the end, so I can start stuffing this a bit more. I gotta be careful not to accidentally grab my working yarn. Now I'm gonna resort to this yarn scraps. Oh, such a pretty combo actually, like the pink, black, white, and um, purple. Kinda reminds me of pesto goth, goth stuff. My god though, imagine like, oh, frogging seven skeins of yarn. That's a lot of frogging. At least you can recrochet big. Uh, I guess it'll be a little bit faster though, since you said you had to make it a little, you had to make it smaller. So at least maybe I'll ho hopefully you'll reach your results a little bit quicker this time. But yeah, that's always like the worst thing. It's like, 
I think that's also why I've kind of gotten addicted to tiny crochets. I haven't really worried about running out of yarn. Because I, I just still have yarn I had since I was in high school. And it's like... I mean, eventually it will run out. But it's like... <laughs> I just don't have to worry about like, oh, I ran out of this color. Oh, then let me just go in like, uh... What do you call it? Uh, split it some more. Like, it's just ready there for me. Oh, okay, there, okay, I'm, I'm thinking of, like, super saver size skeins of, like, Red Heart. Thinking, like, seven skeins, because, you know, you said you were making a blanket, so I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Oh, the, uh, corner-to-corner -corner blanket. Ah, so they came out, like, because corner-to-corner, oh man, it's not, like, a, that's, like, a lot of color changes, too, I think, right? Oh man, that would have sucked after all that work. <laughs> Get the frog it. Okay, I want to stuff it just a bit more. I kind of guess it doesn't matter if it it looks kind of lumpy, but I think that's because uh, when I crochet on the string, everything looks lumpy. Kind of. I got like some rows I've crocheted way too tight, so it looks kind of weird when I stuff it. But then again, it's gonna look fine once I do the French knots. I think this is actually my fourth loop. Technically fourth. I mean, this is technically the third, but it's not finished yet. So I actually have another one I've made that's um, on my husband's backpack still, actually. And it was so funny because I, I always keep thinking I only made one. But then when, I, when he ever comes to visit and I see his backpack, I'm like, oh, that's right. I made two. I keep forgetting I made two. <laughs> I put a picture of yarn I frogged in Discord. If they, oh, it's all one color? Thank goodness. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that would really suck if it was like all, um, like different colors. Like if you're doing like a picture graph kind of like corner to corner. Because I know like, I think like corner to corner is like really good if you're trying to like do like a pixel art kind of picture. I think. Oh, that's another thing I've never done. I never got to do that kind of, uh, Afghan. Because I saw like, especially in 2010, or well, not 2010, to like, well, I guess maybe in 2010, but I, I got back into crocheting my 11th grade year of high school. Yeah. Um, but I remember, like, 2011, I was like, those, like, Mario ones were really popular, and I always wanted to make one. I never got around to doing it. Because especially because back then, I was like, I had no idea how to do that. And then I'll go make some popcorn chicken sandwich. <laughs> like it'd be good. Actually, it'd be a good time to also refill my coffee too. Make some more coffee. This is basically a triple coffee stream. Usually, I only have two coffees per day, and this is like, yep, I'm gonna be having three today. I mean, there there'll be some days where I have three, and then there'll be some days where I actually only had one. I'll make a second cup, but then I'll never actually finish it. Like, I barely take a sip or two, and I'm like, okay, time for bed. <laughs> so, and I'll end up drink. I'll put that in the fridge and just drink it the next day. So, it was technically a one coffee day. So, it, it evens itself out, technically, you know. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is when I make the neck, I'm going to just, like, I, I mean, I glued that one on, too. But I also went around and sewed it. But I'm going to actually just barely sew right here. And right here, and done, just to save time, because that, that took a while to sew. And I hate sewing, like, outward in front of me, it's so awkward. Oh yeah, it's cool for a pixel art, but there are so many ends. Oh yeah, I've seen that when they've lifted it up, and you just see so many loose ends, oh my god. Like, that's like, so, so much. Um, I've done one, and I don't want to do another one. <laughs> I know, the bane of our existence, like, having to sew all the loose ends, oh my god. Ah, this probably would suck for a blanket. But, like, actually, kind of what I've just kind of started doing sometimes is, like, if, um, I cut the end and I don't want to really, 
Like, if it's gonna be on the inside anyway, like, if something on the inside, I'll actually just cut it really, sh like, a little bit short, like, maybe, like, this, this much, and I'll actually just, just barely put a little bit of hot glue in it, it seals it in. And I actually got that idea because my grandma had brought over a dress that one of her friends had crushed it a long time ago, like, it was a really old-fashioned dress. And she wanted to show me that, and I happened to notice on the inside, there was, like, little bits of, like, hot glue smeared in some areas, and I noticed, oh, that's where the ends were. Yeah, when they did, like, a color change, so they just hot glued it so they didn't have to sew it up too much. And I'm like, I started doing that, and they, it never comes out, actually. Like, it's basically permanent. Now, I think if you were to wash it in hot water, but I think most people wouldn't wash their, like, yarn-made garments in hot water, right? Like, I think you usually wash it in cold water. Oh my god, this looks so lumpy. I think I sewed it on a little crooked. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It's gonna get French knot everywhere. So, I'll just leave that here. Let me get my... I guess I'll just take a quick restroom break for any people coming in. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's, that's what it's gonna be. So, I'll just put that there. Put the hat here. Not hat, the head. Here's his little legs. I know. Yeah, I definitely do it. You don't need that much. Like, just put a little bit. Wait for it to, like, kind of cool off and, like, press your finger on it. And you don't really feel it. Like, it's just a very little bit. It just keeps them in and just never wash, just never put the garment in hot water because the heat will make the hot glue like come undone, guess, or something, like get liquid again. But yeah, try that. It's really good. I will be back. I will make some, something to eat real quick while refreshing my coffee. Or not refreshing, refueling my coffee. My god, I cannot speak English today. I shall be back.
Alrighty, I am back. Oh, we got three people watching. Holy crap. I hope you guys weren't waiting too long. Oh, I technically actually went to go get something to eat really quick. <laughs> well, I mean, I had to use the restroom, make more coffee. I had it like all just all done at once. Alrighty, okay. I'm gonna just put this over here without hopefully not spilling it. Is it still a bit too hot to like drink? Oh, that's the only problem with <laughs> streaming with a phone is like I don't have but the little BRB screen or something, which really sucks. Okay, dokey. But it was tasty. It actually it pretty much tasted like those like little Tyson chicken patties, kind of. I kind of miss those, man. They're so bad for you, but man, they're so good. I don't think I've really seen anything um, like that, actually, in Korea. Mostly they'll have like donkatsu patties or something. But I've never seen just a chicken patty. But, I mean, they have chicken sandwiches, though. Like, if you go, like, uh, there's a place called Mom's Touch. It's, like, a fast food place. And I think they, they actually specialize in chicken sandwiches. And I've won. I don't think I've ever tried it. Um, I can't remember if I tried it once or not. Nope, currently feeding cats and enjoying the amazing weather. Oh, there. oh yeah, because you said it's 70 over there. Lucky. Ah, oh, that actually makes me think. I should put some Napoleon Dynamite memes on my Twitch. Definitely, because... That's like my family's uh, movie, basically, is, um, what do you call it, uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Which is really funny, because when they first, we all first watched it, they all thought it was weird. But then, like, you know, like the second time you watch it, it just gets better and better. And you're just like, it just becomes, like, what, a cult classic, I guess? It's just so funny. Okay, actually, before I do anything, I'm going to sew on the little legs. I think some of them, I think one of them I fricked up and did, let me see, one, two, three, no, one, two, three, hmm, I thought I did a round short by accident, but, oh wait, yes I did, uh, that's not a round, that's just the color change right there, yeah, see this one's actually shorter than the others, I forgot to do an extra round of single crochet. But, you know what, if these are going to be for the kiddos, they're not going to care. <laughs> they're not going to care, and they're probably not going to notice. Well, I don't know, some kids do notice and they love to point it out, but... I don't think they'll notice it about the feet. Because I had a similar problem, like, I think these were small... Not smaller, but, like, I crocheted them tighter. So I put, like... Oh no, these are the tighter ones. These were the more thinner ones, because I really tight stitched, and this was more looser stitch. You can actually see the difference in stitch size, actually. This one's a little bit bigger. So I put them in the back and I put these in the front so it kind of evens it out a little bit. Like, no one really notices it. Maybe they'll think it's intentional. So, let's see. This one looks... Which one looks most similar? All these actually look pretty similar. Yeah, okay. These will be the back ones and these can be the... Or actually, no, I'm going to make these back ones because it is shorter, so I don't want it to be too obvious. So this will be the back rest where the seam is. I mean, no one's going to really see it because it just, it just helps, like, point out where stuff's going to be. And also, to save time, I'm just going to really just pop these on with glue. I am going to sew, like, the other side, though. Just, like, through one stitch, and that's it, just to hold it on there. But I've never really had anything come off with hot glue. Like, you kind of have to really... Like, when I accidentally hot glue something, I have to use pliers to get that off. I have to cut it out to get it off. And I've never had something just, like, pop pop off. And the only problem is this for the kiddos. They're going to probably pull at it. But don't worry. These are not, like, these are not young kids. They're actually really, like, what, Jamie's, like, 12, I think. And, um, Jason's actually 13. I had no idea. <laughs> he kind of looks a little young for I thought he was 11. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So there's, these are not like little titty kid, like little bitty kids. Uh, let me put right here. If they were young kids, then oh yeah, I would definitely make sure that these were gonna be on really, really good. Plus, these are gonna be like more like keychains for them too, not like toys they're gonna play around with. I 
actually, plus I could always go back later and sew them up, but just for the stream, just to make things a bit quicker. Because no one wants to watch me sew on, like, these legs for like 30 minutes. I could just already tell this llama is going to look very cursed compared to that one. I feel like I did a much better job. Uh oh, which one was supposed to be? Oh yeah, it's this one. Any t like, I swear, anything I make on stream just always turns out wonky looking. Though the molong is not that bad, just the ear was a little bit wonky. But other things, they just did not turn out that great. I'll actually use a little bit of this yarn tail to sew through this leg too. <laughs> it has character. That's true. Okay. Let me... I'm going to put a little bit more glue on this one. I don't think I put enough glue on the other one. So I kind of need to sew through that one a bit more. Oh, this is a Halloween sounding song, I think. That was really weird. They just had a random, like, in their, like, synth playlist. They just have a really, not a playlist, I should say. It's all one video. Like, it's, like, a hour-long video compilation. And, oh, my God. Like, they just have this one random Halloween one in there. Okay, let's get through there. <laughs> oh, that's so Halloweeny. Oh, I know it's so weird though, because it feels like it was just Halloween yesterday. And it was kind of set to the last Halloween in this apartment. I mean, we only had one other one, but still. The last Christmas, last Halloween. I think because this this um, apartment truly felt like our really first apartment. <laughs> That's spooky. <laughs> I know, right? And it's so random, too, because like, you're just listening to synth pop, and then all of a sudden you get a Halloween synth pop, just for some reason. Maybe this, was, this must have been one they maybe made back in Halloween, I think, and they just added it to the compilation. <laughs> Well, to be fair, why it looks kind of janky is because I'm not sewing them in because these I actually sewed in. That's why they look really good. Using like the what invisible, um, that like by Planet Janet. I think that's her name. Wait, no, Planet June. Oh, Planet Janet's from the uh, Schoolhouse of Rock. <laughs> the little like 70s cartoon. I miss that actually. I want to watch that. Planet Janet was my favorite song on there. Enter Planet Janet. She's a galaxy girl. But yeah, the, by Planet June, <laughs> she has like that really good tutorial of like how to sew stuff onto Amigurumi seamlessly. But if I took the time, this we would be here forever, so. Uh, we will, I mean, I could always go back with extra yarn and maybe fix it up a bit. And probably once I put the fleece, it's not going to be that noticeable. I 
I do want to make sure this is the nice one because this is the front. That's the only problem. It's usually gluing on lens usually doesn't work out that great. Oh, I'll glue, I'll glue them a little bit just to keep it in place and then sew it. But usually it's not like other parts where some parts I can just glue and leave it like that and it's fine. But other, like, usually limbs though, I guess because they're so small, you kind of do have to like glue them on. Oh, that one actually didn't look too bad though. But some glue did come out and it's all over this thing. Let's see if I can cut some of that extra glue that came out. Oh, actually, let me try my other trick. Because sometimes when you use hot glue, I did find out, though, that, like, if you kind of just don't touch it and you let it dry, it dries clear, right? But when as soon as something touches it, it gets, like, that cloudy color. Let me try this. Because you can, like, that's the good thing is, like, if you did mess up, you can kind of remelt it just by letting it touch the nozzle and just don't touch it and let it dry clear. I mean, there, it will be a little shiny in that area, but I guess less noticeable. Oh, you notice I've been more active on Discord? Like, yeah, I've been trying to be more active. The thing is, actually, when I first started out, I was actually really active in the beginning. To even where people were questioning, like, why are you so active on here? I'm like what am i not supposed to be and apparently they said it's typical for like what discord owners to not be active on their discord i'm like oh really i didn't know that but i mean like uh with like getting everything ready and also when i start streaming i just would be so sleepy and i would like <laughs> not be able to like chat and talk as much as usual so i'm trying to get on there especially when i do actually work at the computer i find it a bit easier to actually like chat with people a little bit like, when I was video editing, it was much easier to, like, just pop on there for a little bit. I think because I usually prefer using Discord on the computer rather than my phone. Because I just hate typing on my phone. It's just such a nightmare. But I do find myself talking more to people when I'm on the computer because it's just easier to type with a keyboard. Because my thing is, like, ugh, it's like chewing glass sometimes whenever I try to type on my keyboard. It could just be because it's a Xiaomi ad, I'm not sure. I don't think I had this much trouble with the other, um, oh, you know, I think I know what my mistake was. I should have made these a little bit closer to the middle. Oh, well. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, and I added, a. Uh, I think, did you see the new emojis? I finally, it was kind of like the same problem with the, uh, like, Twitch emotes. It's more like, I want to make them all myself, but at the same time, I just never get around to it. So, I just went ahead and bought some emotes. I still want to hand make my coffee ones though, except for the coffee badges, I was fine buying it because it was gonna, those looked like something I would have made anyway. So I was like, you know what, why did, who, like, why does it matter if I make it myself, if they're gonna look like something I would have made anyway for the sub badges. And I'm not that good at drawing animals, so the corgi ones were perfect, so eventually I will when I get more slots available. I do want to put more, uh, twitch emotes that I've made, but I'm gonna like just slowly take my time and make one here or there and just have them ready. But the Discord ones, I just went and took some a bunch of Molong pictures. I did have to fix them up, though. Some were really crap. Because, you know, when you Google transparent background, they looked really good, right? And then I put it with a back screen to check it. And, oh, my God, it was, like, horrible. God, like, really horrible. Like, you could see the white fuzzy outline. Someone just did, like, a quick job. I'm like, oh, all these are not true, you know, Molong pictures of a transparent background. Someone, like, erased the outline and did a crappy job of it. When you see it against like a white background, it looks fine. It looks perfectly fine. But when you see it against Discord, you can see all like the little edges. So I had to clean them up a bit. Oh yeah, the new emojis are so cute. Yeah, I really like them. Because I, I originally also was going to make all my Discord emojis, right? 
I think basically only the ang basically any like kind of icon. Uh oh yeah, and I got rid of like the Etsy rivalry and all that those kind of icons because I realized um nobody was using them. And uh, I also found out actually when you make a reaction emoji, right? As long as I actually was able to delete the other emojis to make space for the Molong ones, and they're still you know you're still able to react with them, right? So I'm like, oh, if I ever want to make a reaction thing with an emoji, I just need to, like, remove emoji for a little bit, put that new one in, make the reaction thing, and then later remove the emoji. Like, I don't have to keep it there. I thought I was stuck having to have those emojis, <laughs> like the 18 plus emoji, right? That one, I just wanted that for the reaction role, really. Like, no one was going to really use it. But, like, I thought, I thought you had to keep it there. And I'm like, this sucks because you only get a certain amount of spaces, but it turns out you can just delete them afterward. So that's really nice. Now, of course, if I deleted the reaction roll and made it, I would have to re-add it again to make a new one. But as long as I don't delete it, it's good. Yeah, typing on a keyboard is way better on the phone. I know, right? Especially when the phone wants to be a wacko. Like, it's like, you would think I was an atrocious speller. when no, just my fingers keep hitting the other, like, it will keep hitting adjacent, um letters instead like especially when i try to type in a lot it keeps t typing on i'm like oh my god stop i mean to type in i'm i'll actually be looking at the thing press i and then i'll press O. Oh, and i'm just like I'm, i don't know if it's a xiaomi thing because i don't think i remember having this much trouble when we had the my other phone i used to have when we lived in san francisco back then we used a, a brazilian brand called blu and um, it was funny, right? Because basically when you say it, it says blue, right? So when I would say I have a blue phone, people would, they would think I had an actual blue phone, but no, it's a white phone. And it would just say BLU. So that was always funny. Okay, we got our little legs on. Is it me or do these look longer than these? I think because I, oh yeah, because I crocheted these so tight. It almost looks like I just did... Single crochet all around, doesn't it? I actually increased, but it doesn't look like it. See, you can see the actual increase here. Yeah, I think I just crocheted these just so tightly. Okay, well, this is the front part. But it's not going to matter because we're going to have that nice little fringe of all these French knots. So it'll kind of cover, maybe cover up this area make it look a little bit nicer. Oh my god, the top looks so ugly. <laughs> but then again, so does this one. Like, they never looked good. <laughs> I know, right? Why did they put the I and U so close together? Oh, and that's another thing, too. My keyboard just freaking loved autocorrecting when I type U, right? Like, that's what happened on Louis' stream one time. Like, oh, oh my god, there was a magpie who was carrying a little stick in his mouth. I was about to say mouth, his beak. Oh, it was so cute. He was, like, flying right straight at the window, too. But thankfully, he f flew up at the last second. Well, it's so cute. I've never seen one carry a stick in their beak before. But, uh, what do you call it, though? Like, one time... I was trying to say, I forgot, like, Louis was saying about being, he was a nerd, and I was trying to type, you're the coolest nerd, right? I typed you, and then I put R, the coolest nerd, and the stupid autocorrect at the last second, right? Because, you know, I was trying to type it quick and send it, because, you know, you have to type fast when you're in a chat room, you know, of, like, in a live stream before the topic changes, and it auto-changed to I, and I was like, so it said, I'm the cool, I am the, I are the coolest nerd, I'm like, what? No! Oh, it was stupid. It was so dumb. I'm like, I really hate that. I hate it when it... And the funny thing is, it doesn't do it all the time, though. It just does it sometimes, which is what really irks me. Like, I can, like, sometimes type U all the time. U, blah, blah, because I don't want to type Y-O-U all the time, right? Just typing the letter U is just quicker. And some it'll let me do it a lot. And then just sometimes it's like, yeah, we're not going to do that today. And I'm just like, wow! It's such a picky chooser like like we're just gonna do it sometimes so you never know when to expect it okay oh wait i was gonna make the tail first real quick because that's just something quick i can make um where is the tail or more like i just need to see how many times like how much do i chain and how many do i do i think i did seven Okay, I just chain 11. Oh, I, oh, I did it. Yeah, seven times. Okay. Yeah, this was like a good... I remember I remember when I was trying to... I think actually the tail was one of the things that gave me a lot of trouble. Because I was trying to figure out how to make the tail. Because I was trying to like so many different methods. Like I was making a bunch of individual chains. And then I was going to 
sew them together. I'm like, no, nah, that's too much work. And they didn't really stick together that well. Then I just thought, wait, just chain in a magic circle, like a bunch of them and slip stitch, you know, the way down. And it worked magically. Let me see. One. I done lost my count. <laughs> Hey, mine always auto cracks, but to buy even when I type but, oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> It'd be like, you'd be trying to say, but what about this? And it makes it, buy what about this? And I'm like, oh god, that'd be so awful. <laughs> yeah, I think just each Android phone does seem to have like their little quirk. Like whatever brand it is. Like, I wonder, do the Samsung ones act like this? I mean, eventually I do plan to get a Samsung Galaxy, but that's going to be, like, in the future, though. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be, like, when the Twitch... I actually start getting money off Twitch. I mean, I, I make money off Twitch, but, like, not... I haven't got a payout yet. <laughs> it's at 10 bucks, or I think 11 bucks now. It's at 10 bucks now, and that's after... That was starting from October, I think. Like, since October, I've made 10 buckaroos. So, Yeah. But I'm hoping like that I'll make pretty good money with the I with Ida, so I'm hoping. Yeah, oh, that's what I have right now. <laughs> I know, right? Wait, do you stream too? On Twitch? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Okay. Actually, I'm not gonna bother going to the back bumps. I'm just gonna go to the side like normal because I don't got time for that. Oh, big money. <laughs> I know, right? I know, but that's because it's like, because, uh, you know, you, they don't count the time you started. Actually, oh, wait, no, it wasn't. It wasn't uh, October. No, October's when I started streaming. I got affiliate, I think, after Halloween? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was in November, I think. That's when I got affiliate. Never mind, because they don't count. You don't get anything that you've streamed before. Like, you don't get any what you would have made. Well, I mean, because I guess... No, they they still play ads, though, I think, right? Yeah, they still play ads on your on your stream, I think. Do they? I can't remember if they play ads or not, if you're not affiliated or not. I'll have to see that. Though I did hear, like, what YouTube starts planning on. I don't know if it's happened yet already, but they start planning on having ads on everyone's videos, whether they're monetized or not, which actually kind of sucks because... That was, like, always that, like, telltale sign, like, if your video got an ad, you're like, yay, you're monetized, like, right? Now you just can't tell. Because <laughs> I had, like, there were people who, um, someone said, bro, I got an ad, they're like, oh, bro, I got an ad on your video, congrats. And the person's like, I saw in someone's video, they're like, wait, I'm not even monetized yet, you got an ad? So it's, like, kind of, like, false hope that you got monetized. Oh, nope, I'm having a, uh, oh, okay, that's what you meant, that's what you have right now. Okay, because that, that, the chat, because I know sometimes the, um, chat is, like, slightly delayed, I think, by a couple seconds, and it had popped up right when I said I had 10 bucks of Twitch, and you said, that's what I have right now, too, and I thought, oh, wait, oh, you have Twitch? <laughs> oh, you have a Samsung Galaxy, uh, stream might be in the future, but not right now, my, my brother streams, oh, yeah, I'm Phil, probably actually streaming on a Samsung Galaxy would be pretty good, but I guess it also depends on internet, that's the big, important part. But I would imagine, like, I mean, this camera takes pretty good photos, right, and pretty good videos, but I would imagine, like, it would be even better on a, like, the camera's probably even better on a Samsung Galaxy. Uh, the one I have right now is a Xiaomi a Note 10 Pro, because I have my, my other one was a Xiaomi Note 5, I think. And the camera was pretty decent on there, but then when I compared, uh... The videos I took with this, I'm like, oh wow, the quality is way better. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to actually not bother about being accurate. I'm just going to crochet a bunch of chains and then slip stitch. Because I, it actually kind of doesn't really matter about being perfectly 11 inches. That was just the desired um, length. But actually, it's kind of probably fine if they're all like different lengths, to be honest. It'll probably actually look more natural. So just for the sake of sanity, so I don't have to count, I'm not going to bother counting the chains. Just the hard part is trying to slip stitch without it falling out. Or like the yarn falling off the hook. Because that happens a lot. I kind of wish I was using the other one. But the other one is more for micro crochet. Let me see. I do want to make crochet videos through YouTube or piano music. I don't know which one first. I mean you could always 
combine them. Actually, I did kind of see, do you remember like the era of YouTube where everybody was like, all the YouTubers were making like completely separate channels, right? Oh man, that's what Hey Shady Lady did. She has so, she had like four different, I think three to four different YouTubes, right? And actually, that was actually really not a good strategy if you think about it. Because one, you have to wait for those channels to get monetized. And like all that watch time could have been going toward your main channel, you know? So I think it's actually just better if everyone keeps one channel. And just make a playlist, honestly. And especially, I think, if you do it from the beginning. Like, if you do it right away from the beginning, then no one's, like, surprised, right? Like, I can understand if you were doing one type of content for so long, then all of a sudden you start adding a bunch of stuff. How people might be like, yo, whoa, I, I thought I was only watching this kind of content. But I think if you do it from the get-go, because then that becomes part of what your content is. And I've actually been seeing a lot of people, like, start putting their vlogs on their main account. I think that's a better idea, because that way it can just all... Because you could have, like, a, another YouTube and it's, like, making no money at all. Even if just, like, a handful of people watch it. Plus, it wouldn't get promoted as much because it's still in the, like, you know, beginner stage. So that's why I almost thought about making a second YouTube for the gaming stuff. But I was like, no, nah, I'm going to keep it on this channel. But it's not going to be as much, though. Like, crochet will still be the main. Though I do want to make studio vlogs and stuff. I just got to get around to doing that. I think that's my problem is, like... I need to film myself, I guess. I don't know, I guess maybe I could do somewhere I'm not filming myself. That was always the big thing was, oh, I need to, like, everything needs to be perfect. Or, like, everything, like, needs to be perfectly clean. I need to be perfectly presentable. Like, and that was, like, what kind of took me back. It's like, oh, I just want to, I don't feel like putting makeup on right now. Like, that kind of thing. It's one thing for if I'm streaming, but it's another thing if you're going to, like, film a vlog every single day. That's true, I just chose a more generic name. Plus, it's a cute name, too, and you don't have to worry about... Because you actually got the full thing. Like, you don't have to, like, add a dash or anything. I know, that's why I got lucky. Even my husband was thinking about, like, when we started the Twitch, he kind of wanted me to change this YouTube channel's name. I'm like, no, I'm not getting rid of this name. If I get rid of this name, someone else is going to snatch it up in no way in heck. Because he didn't want me to... And plus, also, that would actually probably make me lose a lot of subscribers, too, because then they're going to... Because you know when a YouTube changes their name, you a lot of them don't, won't recognize? Like, probably a lot of people who used to watch me probably don't even know I'm the same person, maybe. Because, you know, usually you look for a specific name in your list of subscribe, like, people you're subscribed to. Because I remember... Uh, who were they called? I think it was called Next Stitch A Day, and I think they became Knitversity, too. Because I was trying to find their channel, and I couldn't, and then I found this channel called Knitversity. And I'm like... What is this channel? I'm not, because I'm not subscribed to any knitting channels. It turns out that was them, and they just changed their name to Knitversity. And I'm like, oh my god, because, and th their content's a little bit different too now. I mean, it's still like, knit. I think it's more knitting focused now. While before, it was like, they would crochet, they would uh, put a crochet stitch each day, like a new video. I don't know, I don't think it was each day, but like each week or something. They would have like a new cool crochet stitch to learn, like, I think that's how, that's how I learned the Bavarian Stitch a long time ago when I did that one. Was because their video. Yeah, because with a name like Crochet Cat, I feel like I need to do crochet stuff. <laughs> that's true. But like it, but it also like also is like a cozy name. So I think Piano would fit in there very good. I know, I had even thought about like, should I make a second channel called Coffee and Crochet Gaming or something? I don't know. But that's the thing, it's like, I don't think I'm gonna be like a like a jacksepticeye kind of gamer right like it's not gonna get that big and I want the crochet to be a really big focus of the channel and the twitch as well because I'm doing both gaming and t and crochet videos on there well just here I just do I actually was doing the gaming live streams on here for a while because I was I was um double live streaming I was using restream so while I was on twitch it was also coming in live on YouTube and that was fine at first, but then I found out when I became affiliate, I had no idea because I actually did a few times. I just happened to read somewhere in some articles looking at, saying, oh, by the way, you're not supposed, like, oh, re double streaming is against terms of service when you're a Twitch affiliate. And I'm like, oh, wait, it is. Oh, shoot. I'm glad I didn't get caught. <laughs> I could have lost my affiliation. Like, dang, just after I got it. So I got really lucky and quit that cold turkey. And also, I found out YouTube doesn't like if you stream too much, apparently. So, like, for Twitch, right, they actually like it when you twi you stream more, but YouTube, for some reason, doesn't like it. They, like, won't promote it as much, I think, if you do it too much. Like, once or twice a week. Maybe three times a week, I think, was, like, what they said was the 
best amount. So I just do it like once a week. If I was going to do another channel for piano music, would it be the music head? Oh my god, that'd be cute though. But I would also feel like some, like you got to check though because someone, that would feel like someone would have that name already. Uh, but like you could always uh, make a playlist that name though. That's the thing, I think if you make it known right away from the get-go, it's gonna, you probably won't have as much trouble as someone who was making strictly crochet videos, then they start adding piano videos, and then people might be like, yeah, I didn't sign up for piano music, but if you, like, do it from the from the get-go, there's, like, no surprise, like, oh, yeah, oh, she has piano videos, too, that's nice, like that. Kind of like, uh, like they said when you do Twitch, right, they said actually take, like, show that you take breaks early on, as to not like surprise your audience or something because there'll, there'll be people like when in the beginning when they start streaming they won't take any breaks so like won't even go to the bathroom for like hours on end and then near later when they start to, to to try to put breaks in when they finally i guess i guess made it in a sense like they're like higher on the twitch um uh what's it called leatherboard yeah leatherboard uh or leaderboard and then their community they, their like audience will complain like you take so many breaks now or something well, I don't know. Though I do feel like most normal people are more understanding of the person being able to go use the restroom for five minutes. But that's what someone's uh, tip was. So I definitely made sure to like, eh, kind of like, make sure I go for breaks off. Not too often, but like, you know, like maybe after an hour or so. Go like, get more coffee or go use the restroom. Which actually, speaking of coffee, let me, let me see if it's cooled down enough. Uh, the perfect temperature. Let me see, how many times have I done? I got four on there. Oh my god, this is taking forever. <laughs> but yeah, oh! Wait, you don't have a cat by any chance, do you? Because uh, if you did, like, the piano video... Uh, videos wouldn't that be so cute if your cat your cat was like chilling on top of the piano? Oh, I wish I had a doggo or a pet. Oh my god, my favorite um, what do you call it? My favorite cat on YouTube so far, besides Thurston Waffles, of course. But like as a short like a person who creates only shorts is um, meow underscore cash. And I think his owner is like a. I think a Chinese woman because I hear her speak Chi you know like Chinese to her kitty cat and it's like oh he's so cute he's like the most incessant like meowing kitty cat who wants your attention and I love him he's got like such a I think he's like a British short hair but he's so needy and he's so adorable oh he's just the cutest I'll, I'll have to post one of his like I'm gonna post one of their shorts in the meme page or something maybe uh because like I just love that kitty cat so much I mean, she's got, like, a ton of them, though. She's got one, um, another, another short, British short hair called Euro. Uh, that's a girl cat. Oh, yeah, because Cash is a boy. It's so funny she named, she named them, like, money names. <laughs> so there's Cash, like, the U.S. dollar Cash, and the other one's Euro. I think they're, like, a little kitty couple, I think, too. Because she makes so many cute, romantic, like, Cash just wants a kiss, and Euro's like, no, get out. <laughs> like, a, like, a little kidding scratching post thing. <laughs> it's so cute. I thought I could put crochet cats or emigre on top of the pan. Oh, that'd be so adorable. I do, but they're outdoor outdoors because my grandma doesn't like indoor pets. Aw, that sucks. Maybe, or maybe one day, like, when um you have your own place and you have your, like, kitty cat can just, like, rest and chill. Depend I, guess, I guess it depends on what breed of cat you get. Because I think some breeds are more playful than others, aren't there? Because, you know, as a kid, you think all cats are, like, Supposedly, like, they're this boring, doesn't want to do anything, just wants to nap all day on the couch kind of cat. Like, Garfield, basically. But, um, like, oh, when I, wa when I would watch Simon and Martina, like, on Eat Your Kimchi, like, I miss their videos so much. They were, like, my favorite people to watch videos about Korea. And they had a Scottish, um, I think Scottish Fold, was it, is it called Scottish Fold Kitten or something? Um... But, like, that kitten was the most playful kitten I've ever seen. Even when he became an adult, like, an adult cat. That cat is so freaking silly and adorable. He's like, has such, such a playful personality. And I'm like, I want a cat like that. 
I want a cat like either that or or um or cash <laughs> like that that cat is so adorable I think the lady also just got another cat because I saw she had like a little I don't forgot what they're called they're like those like skinless or no like skin cats like fur furless cats I almost said skinless cat I'm like wait that's impossible <laughs> like furless cat with the pointy ears I forgot what they're called um but yeah, she's got one of those. Uh, I was like, oh, that's new. I didn't see her have that before. So I think that's a new addition to the kitty cat family. And they have another, I'm not sure if it's also British short hair, called, another cat called Eleven. But it's it's called Eleven in Chinese. So I'm not sure if, I'm not sure the pronounce, pronunciation for it. But um, that cat always looks like, a, it legit looks just like an owl. Some, like the way their face is. It'd be so fun. It'd be like, she'll be like filming Cash and then like, 11 would be in the corner and that cat has the perpetual look like I've just seen some shit like that kind of face and it's so cute Yeah, I thought about color patterns that has slightly more effect on cat mirrorism Scottish folds are so cute. Yeah, so I, I'm guessing they're like a playful breed. I bet Because like you will see like and um actually I think Cash's um Personality is kind of similar to Thurston Waffles uh uh, personality because you know he goes yeah, like all the time right like incessantly trying to get the owner's attention and it's like oh but that's kind of how meow catch is he's like meh. And, like just all the time like in your face like just whatever <laughs> it's the cutest oh i just realized the music stopped oh no we can't test that i'll just replay it <laughs> there we go Oh, let me make it not so high, though. Because usually the first couple songs are kind of, like, really loud. That's the only problem with an hour-long, um... What do you call it? Playlist. It's like, it passes by so much quicker than you think. You know what? I think that is enough. Let me see. One, two, three, four. I know I was going to do seven, but I'm like, I don't think I can do one more. Okay, let me finish this off. Leave a good tail for sewing. But yeah, I think like a lot of like crochet kitty stuff would be really freaking adorable. And like you could have like a little mascot, like whatever Emma, like cat Amagumi make that's your favorite. That could be like the mascot. Of the YouTube. Okay, there we go. And see, it's like perfectly, like just a little. Yeah, six was enough. Like, sure, seven probably would have made it thicker, but I don't really care. But probably for the video when I uh film it though, which I'm gonna probably do tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna have the energy to film it. Plus, not to mention, where's my phone at? Is Oh, it's finally at 45%. My god, it's like just slowly crawling. Oh, dang, it's already- Now it's 2 p.m., like 2.38 p.m., so it's almost 3. That means I'm gonna get- I'm gonna start getting sleepy into it. I usually start getting sleepy around 5 p.m. now. Now that I've gotten up so early. So let's- Also, that it actually- Also, they don't last, though, because that needs to be sewn in after I do the fleece. So let's start the neck. Because once that's done, I think it's just... Oh, but I gotta do this part too. I think I'm gonna just embroider. I'm gonna... To make things quicker, I'm just gonna embroider um, an arrow for today. Instead of trying to make a mess with trying to crochet it. I wish I had some felt. Because actually felt would just be better. Just cut out a piece of... Get some brown felt. That'll just be way easier. Than having to like try to crochet an arrow. <laughs> Especially that tiny. Uh, would the idea of having one YouTube channel change if it was just uploading videos for fun or, or not to become a YouTuber? Um, hmm, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, probably if you were just, like, for fun YouTube videos, you could probably have a second channel. I think, I think so. I think that's one that's fine for a second channel, actually, if you don't really want to make money off of it or, like, have it affect, because like, that's what I was thinking, like, a lot of people were, like, trying to spread out their YouTube. But the way with how YouTube's been like, oh, you need to reach this amount. Ah, uh, you know what? It was smart back then, before they implemented the... 
that whole like I was actually making a tidbit of money from my old videos. I made like a dollar something after a month, <laughs> and I never got to get it because they cut it off and they made the new. You had to have a thousand subscribers. Cause remember, anyone could get money from YouTube. You just had to start uploading, right? But now they have that gatekeeping, like a thousand subscribers, then four and four thousand watch hour, which actually made me start thinking. What about people who were almost at the payout? Like maybe they had ninety five dollars, cause you know you need a hundred right to get paid out. Like, did that just all go away, or were they able to keep adding to that? Like, I'm wondering, when I do eventually get monetized, would I get that dollar something back, and it just adds to it? I'm really hoping so. I mean, it's just a dollar, so I'm not that upset, but I am upset for people who maybe were really close to the payout when they did that. Oh, that's so awful. But then again, I think if they were close to the payout, they probably already had enough to be considered monetized anyway, I guess. But if you're just if you're just like to, like a channel to upload for just for fun, I think that's fine. But it was when people were trying to like have all these different channels to spread it out. I guess to make money from all these different channels, I think, and especially with how it is now, it's just spreading it too thin. But for just a fun channel, I think that would work. Because then that would be like a cool like a you don't have to worry about what you're posting on there either because you're just putting it for fun. And then the other channel can be the bit more ta like tailored. To like, I guess the the brand you want to build. That seems to be what a lot of people talk about. It's like build your brand. So I'm trying to build my coffee and crochet brand. <laughs> I do sometimes worry though. Like, is there somebody already named Coffee and Crochet who's not a YouTuber, but like they have a business called Coffee and Crochet? I have no idea. I'll have to see. Like, because I know I couldn't have co regular coffee and crochet on Etsy. It wouldn't let me have it. Someone already took it. But then again, I don't really plan on getting big on Etsy, though. You know? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did seven. I meant to do six. Okay. I think this was, like, similar to how I did the face. I'm not sure. Wait, let me see. Oh, wait! Oh, it's not supposed to be in the round. I'm a dumb butt. I forgot this was also like a back and forth and I just like crochet around the edge. I keep thinking that was the, because I thought I just did like a circle, like or not like a square in the round, but I forgot. No, I don't do that. Okay, how do I chain? I chain six. Okay. Oh, I do like this song. This is like one of their new ones they came out with. This sounds like this would be such a good workout video. Like if I'm going for a walk, I need to listen to this one. Oh my god, that actually reminds me. I Actually, for a good while, I would do nothing but listen to uh, Jonathan's young um, Starship Velociraptor album when I would go walking. It was just such a really good workout, uh, like, workout video album. Not video, but, like, workout music album. Uh-oh, wait. Oh, I think I only crochet, I only chained to five, I think. I was like, wait, why am I only got, I'm gonna have four stitches? Let me see. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, because I'm supposed to have five single crochet. Cause it's, I'm going to basically make a little square. Like the first one is so hard. I don't know why. Always just going through a chain is so annoying. <laughs> okay. 
Do you know how many rows do I do? Uh, just five rows. Actually, I probably should zoom in a bit for this one because it's really hard to see what I'm doing. It is my firm belief that the more people crochet if the row into the chain was easier. I know, right? Because I, I think that's probably kind of why I kind of went into Amigurumi because I just hated crocheting in a chain. I mean, I guess, yeah, there's always the foundation chain, but that would have been too thick for like this kind of like kind of stuff I, I would feel like. And plus, and plus sometimes, you know, I'm just trying to make a, like a, you know, like detailing like this, right? It's like, I have to slip stitch into a chain. I probably couldn't really do that properly if it was like a, I guess I could have made it the, what do you call it? Like the double chain cord thingy. But then I would have to make a bunch of them and sew them together. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> Little whale. It's just what we gotta do. Well, to be fair, it's not that bad when I'm just doing, you know, up to my face like I normally do. But trying to do it with my arms extended out, that's when it got really hard. Like, trying to go through that back bump. Ooh, this is one I like too. Kind of like gives me a little bit like my ah oh, I need to watch more Miami Vice. I will say this gives me Miami Vice feels. So this is the last round, I think. Not round, row, I should say. Oh, now it's getting a little bit loud. <laughs> I'll turn that down a bit. Like, it starts off so quietly. Okay, that's five. I'm gonna cut this off and just now it's just time to crochet around it. I actually used to just continue on by like just putting three, but then I didn't like how it, when it would end. It was just easier to actually join them when they're both nicely in the center. So it's just easier rejoining with a new a new yarn to make it nicer and neater. Yo, it's been eight hours. Oh my god. I'm thinking I'm about to probably go past the longest I've streamed um, before, actually. I think I've never gone past eight hours. But it'll be worth it. I mean, I, I kind of knew this would be a long stream because this thing takes a while to make. I probably should have made it a two-parter, but I was like, you know what? I'm a challenge myself. <laughs> We're going to make this in one stream. <laughs>
Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. <gasps> Was this supposed to be cyan? Oh, frick yeah. I made it. I'm making it in the wrong color. Ag! Oh my god. Well, on one hand, at least that means... Oh, this was supposed to be the second color. That was supposed to be for here. I mean, technically it should have been this color, but I messed up the color combo, so I gotta do it differently. Ag! I can't believe what I was doing. Oh my god. But the good thing is, at least this is easier to crochet with. <laughs> I know it's been a really long stream. How much do you think you have left? I don't know. Um... I'm not actually, maybe I'm think maybe I should end it soon, because I don't know if I can go on much longer. Um. Oh, that's right, wait, Louie doesn't stream tomorrow, I think, right? But I might want to do this Tuesday at the same time, actually, though, because I have the kids' class tomorrow, so probably streaming during the day probably won't be that feasible. Um, because I have to, like, prep their stuff and everything. I think I might continue this on Tuesday, because this is, like, too much. Because there's still so much I need to do. Like, I would still have to, like, this would take forever. This is the longest part that takes. So, I actually honestly think we'll end it here. I mean, we got a good amount done. Like, I got the tail done. I got the head. Oh, God, that looks so funny. <laughs> like, what if I finish it off like this and, like, done? That looks so cursed. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm getting kind of sleepy. More is just from being streaming for so long. And it's already at, yeah, it's already at almost eight and a half hours. Oh yeah, I think, let me turn the music off. I think I'm going to end this here. Because I'm going to edit the title. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to have to change the title because I think I've maxed it out. Well, actually, I think after a stream, I think it, the title limit turns to 100. So then I could put part one. And I'll say part two later. But I'm probably not going to really advertise it like I did the other day. I'm just going to like just do it. Because like we got the big part done. I sure I don't want you to burn yourself or get really tired. That is true. That's actually how I burnt myself out was from doing too many really long streams. And it's getting on the late side. Plus like also I can actually start getting. I'm probably not going to film anything. Because I'm, I'm already so tired of crocheting in front of a camera. Because of the, the weird angle. Um. So I think I might work on editing the already clips. I, I put them on the computer already and put them into the, um, the what, the, the video editor. So I might do, just do that tonight. Something and chill and like watch YouTube on the other, because I got two monitors. Like, could you advertise it a little? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do, like, I'll, um, I'll schedule it. Like, I'm going to schedule it right away, actually. Probably right after this. Because, you know, I can use the same description and just, like, put part two. Um, and it'll have its, its own new link and everything. So, I'm going to immediately make a post. So, that way you can, like, put the little, uh, reminder. And I'll do the same thing, like, what I did in Discord. I'll put, I'll put an event for Tuesday morning. Probably it's going to be the same time, like, 6.30, I think. That was a pretty good time to start, I think. Because that, that's a, oh, wait, were, were you here? Oh, yeah, because actually, yeah, 6.30 would be a better time for you, right? Because it's, um, in the middle. Um, ah. Let me think. Because actually, that's the problem, is Tuesday would actually technically be Monday for you guys. Is that okay? Because I keep forgetting, Tuesday for me is Monday for you. <laughs> Unless I could do it Thursday, and then that will be, like, Wednesday for you. Because I also had the kiddos class on Wednesday. But it's, it's like in the evening, though, for you, I think, right? Or late afternoon. You said it was 5, I think, right? Yeah, you said it was 5 p.m. But, yeah. But, yeah, I'll put the little advertisement out. So, I will see you guys. Thank you for joining me. I know, right? Time so so. Because that's what I, that's the problem. Is like, yeah, when I'll start talking about days. And then I'm like, oh, wait. That day will be. Because, you know, then that person will think, okay, I just need to wait for Tuesday. And then it'll turn out I've already streamed. And they'll be like, what? You said Tuesday. Like, you said this day. I'm like, oh, yeah, that day, my time. <laughs> that's what I like about YouTube, though. It's like when you schedule it, it shows it in their time. And you get, like, the countdown. So, yeah. I think for... What do you call it? I know technically tomorrow would be better because it would be that's when it's Sunday for everybody. But I kind of try to avoid that because you know like that's Louis's um time. Even though I know he's not streaming tomorrow, but I don't want to get into the habit of that though. That way we can like both have like our own like little time. But I will see you. 
But yeah, I'll I'm gonna basically schedule it right after this because I can use the same thumbnail basically. <laughs> I might maybe I'll add like a part two in the thumbnail. Yeah, that might be better. That way it's like shows a bit different. But thank you for joining me. We got a lot done today. I mean, this looks like crap, but it'll look better <laughs> when it is the French knots. Well, have a nice night. I'll be able to. I might make it for the next stream then. Yeah, I hope so. Plus, I mean, the longer I stream that, that day, the more later in the evening it's for you. So you'll be most likely home anyway. So hopefully that works out. But I'll see ya. Bye. Oh, wait, let me zoom out so you can see everything. Let's see ya.